Welcome everyone. It's been a while. Apologies for my absence. If you didn't know, I was at um, ESA for almost two weeks, so I've been gone since then, but I'm back now, back home. Hope you're all doing well. Good to see you all. But yeah, um, to anyone who hasn't seen the first two episodes of this weird thing that I'm doing, this is SSSA or Super Sunshine Autos. How about your girl graduated? No one gives a fucking shit about love's graduation. Whatever. Everyone has a degree nowadays. It's not important. Anyway, back to the gaming stuff. So, SSSA is a challenge where you start a new game for three Vice City or San Andreas, and <laughs> Liv's here to come in. Liv, shut up. We're talking about important stuff. Um, and we've got to get all the vehicles to the lighthouse. Every single vehicle that is obtainable in the game without cheats to the lighthouse. Now, in 3 and Vice City, Vice City took me like eight hours, I think. GTA 3 took me three hours and something or four hours. It was quite easy. San Andreas is going to take me a lot of time, like over 24 hours, I'm pretty sure. So, of course, we're going to be doing this in segments because, you know, I contribute to society and have a job, so I can't play this game for 24 hours straight in the middle of a week. But I'll try and do it as much as I can. The reason it's going to take so long is simply because there are, like, double the amount of cars and obviously double the amount of content to get different stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be huge. And also, my knowledge of SA vehicles is so much worse than GTA 3 and Vice City. There are going to be so many things where I might have to look it up on, like, the wiki or just ask you guys what on earth a certain vehicle is and how I get it. But yeah, so that's, that's the long and short of it. Um, I'm using a tracker that you can see on the left-hand side to track real-time based on the save, this thing here, what vehicles I've collected and which ones I haven't. So, just got to do all 194 of them ac according to that, basically. Uh, but yeah, so also, if you've seen, like, Josh and a few other people race this mod in MTA, this isn't the same thing. So, there's an MTA map, or Multi Theft Auto map, which is like a big online multiplayer San Andreas thing. Basically, it... Basically, like, it, 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 like, spawns all of the vehicles on the map, and you've got to drive them to a certain place, Right? So that is like way easier to do. You can do it in like a few hours, like a day. But that's because you don't need to do any missions or anything like that. They're just on the map and you just got to drive them about. I'm not fucking doing that shit because that's cheating. So instead, we're doing it legit from a fresh, you know, boot of regular San Andreas. That's the plan. Where do they need to be delivered to? So that's a good point, actually, because it sounds obvious, but it's not. So there are actually two lighthouses in San Andreas. There's one in Los Santos, and there's one in whatever it's called, Bayside, I think. So you can actually deliver deliver them to either, I think. So depending on where we are, it might be more convenient to go down to LS, like all the way down to the southeast, or all the way up to the northwest of Bayside, I think. It's something like that. So, yeah, just to keep that in mind, there's two lighthouses in San Andreas because it's so big. So, yeah. All right, let's uh, let's do it. So regarding missable vehicles, I don't actually know which ones are missable in San Andreas. I've been told that it's not that many. One that I know is missable is the SWAT tank in End of the Line One, because that's the one that you have to go like all the way to the end of the game for, which is also why it takes so long because we need to do like basically the entire game. Aside from that, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I think... Are my binds even set up in this? I don't know. Some gang vehicles are missable if you get all their territories. Okay, I, I probably won't do that, so that's fine. I think this is fine. I don't think anything else I care about... We'll, we'll, we'll get into it, I'm sure, and we'll, we'll figure it out. Alright, let's go. Uh, timer as well. Timer. Alright, let's go. Oh, my fucking mouse is inverted. I forgot they do that. Uh, is my display setup good? No, it's set to fucking... Okay. Bro, I swear to you, I have a fucking set file, and it just... set to dumb shit anyway. Draw distance all the way up. 
There we go. The game should look a bit less shit now. All right. So my first plan is the same plan that I always have. I'm just going to go straight to the lighthouse, which is here. And straight away, I'm just going to go and deliver as many cards as I can. That's the plan. I'm going to put a marker on the map. Because the, the more we get down the list, the better. So that's the first plan. Fuck the missions. Just go and deliver a bunch of shit. I guess, technically speaking, it would be better to wait until you, like, do high stakes low rider. And then go ahead and do it, but whatever. Lighthouse is more to the east, I'm sure I'll find it. Nice cop car. Oh, cop bike. Yeah. yeah, you'll know if I've got a vehicle that I can hand in. Because as you see at the top left, it says vehicle is yet to be delivered, blah, blah. So yeah, the BMX is a vehicle. It's, it's every vehicle, so it's helicopters, boats... Cars, bikes, you name it. So yeah, I'll, I'll head all the way down south, and then I'll, um... And then we'll have a look out for the whole lighthouse. Oops. Get all baller and grove cars from beach territories. And sports cars from Richmond. I assume Richmond's an area? My, uh, my knowledge of fucking SA is so bad. Reminded that repeatedly hopping on the bike is faster to build bike skill. Do I care about bike skill? Yeah. Oh. Richmond is directly north from the lighthouse. Okay. Whereabouts is the lighthouse? I swear it's like over here, no? Down the area where you finish Snail Trail. Right. Because you finish Snail Trail at like the fun fair here, right? Oh, I see it. I think I see it. Yeah, I see it over there. So it's like all the way down in the far southwestern corner. Over here. Is there like a trail that goes to it? Yeah, there is. Does this mod remove wanted levels if you go to Los Venturas right now? No, it doesn't change anything. The only thing that it changes is this. So if you get a vehicle into the area and you leave, that's really loud. Fucking hell. Why is that so loud? Okay, that's weird. Uh, sorry, I guess we're gonna have to deal with that really annoying sound. Because I have no idea how to turn it down. Because I assume it's set to the... the game sound, but... Oh. Unless it's like, a separate process for the thing? I'll, I'll mute the Java thing. Maybe that's it. Alright, but yeah, now we literally just get in everything and deliver it. While we're here. Can we do this as well? Yeah, we can. Okay, so it mutes it, so... Yeah, you just gotta mute the, um... Just gotta mute the, what's it called? The the jar file, basically. Might need a swimming skill? Maybe. I might need a bit of everything, to be honest. No Alright, give me this fucking Yogamite, or whatever this thing's called. Yosem Yosemite. Yosemite. We actually get money for this as well, so we might be like a billionaire before we even start the first mission. Oh, the fucking thing I've just realized is like now cutting off the screen. I perfectly lined that up and now it's fucking dicking me. And it's like completely changed size for some reason. That's annoying. Okay, I get back in. Hello. You have to date all the girlfriends? I don't think I need to date all the girlfriends. I think I just need to date some for their vehicles. I'll wait until I've cleaned up like 10 or so more cars, and then I'll change the, uh... I'll resize the SSSA thing. Michelle is the only required one, okay. Good to know. Yoink. Ooh, Fadja. Kitty would be good for death warps, and Helena would be good for a fast bandito spawn, and that's it. Alright. Noted. Two and a half percent done in seven minutes, 7.5 hours pace. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the fastest time anyone has done this in, it was Menno and it was like 18 hours or something. And that was like a properly fully rooted thing. So. Yeah, doing this run back and forth will give us quite a bit of stamina, which is good. This is a regular mountain bike, right? I want this. Because this isn't a BMX. It's a different bike. Yeah. I didn't know mountain bikes would just spawn in traffic like that. 
Yeah, I'm not doing it a uh, single segment, Anti. I, I don't think I would be able to do it single segment. I think it's going to take me too long. It's probably going to take me like 30 hours or something daft to get everything. Because I, I don't know where like half the vehicles are, you know? So yeah, I'll just be like resuming the timer whenever. Uh, Cabby. This road also spawns a certain other group of traffic. That's why you just find a fad on a mountain bike. Well, good. More groups of traffic, the better. The more diversity we can get at the right of the start is really good. Sunrise. Ow. What happens if you deliver the truck in Monster? If I remember correctly, you can't deliver... Wait, did I already deliver a Sunrise? It's easy. not some way that I can use it. I oh, know it's because the pedestrian was in it. I can't deliver it when there's peds inside. Um... Yeah, what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, you can't deliver mission vehicles. So if I wanted to deliver the truck in Monster, I would have to, like, destroy it in a garage to make it mine, respawn it, and then... Well, destroy it in a garage, respawn it, make it mine, and then deliver it. So it's no longer a mission vehicle. Premier. I don't know how many vehicles we'll get here, but I'm hoping for at least, like, a good few dozen. There is a monster right next to the lighthouse anyway. Uh, you guys might need to show me where that is, because I have no idea where that is, and it's probably a very convenient spawn that I should make use of. Alright, the Yogamite thing we have. Do we have one of these? What is this thing? Primo, don't have it. Had just launching themselves. Right across the bridge in a little trailer town. Across the bridge to Flint. Oh, this way you mean? Over to like Badlands side? You need San Fierro unlocked. Okay. Good to know. Premier I have. Bikes I don't have. Dude, we've already got, already got 10k. It's huge. For the bike? I doubt it's just another PCJ. Landstalker I don't have. I know that for a fact. Rivera, I also don't have. This is where I, I've got so many vehicles now that I'm going to start, like, entering stuff to keep it. Taxi, I also don't have, but I've got two cars already. Do I have a bobcat? No. Okay, so now... Hold on. So now we've got... A bit more room we should in theory be able to move this down a bit it should stay that way now hopefully with any luck all right uh oh that's something that i don't know i'm gonna get this over to bf because i haven't seen this before and i've seen quite a few bf spawn keep an eye out for the bicycle that looks like a relay chopper i don't know what that is <laughs> so I'll try my best, but the comparison is something that I don't know, so. You can also save a replace so you ensure vehicles stay loaded. True. But do I care that much about, like, these specific vehicles? I mean, I guess I could, because why not, right? Like, that's another PCJ. Washington, I don't think I have. Like, currently, I don't have a replace, so I guess saving it of these, why not, you know? It's like getting nighttime. Like CJ spent like an entire day just throwing himself at the lighthouse over and over again. He's made 15 grand. I would do that for 15 grand, to be honest. All right, time to finally hand in the Landstalker. I think so. I think we have all this stuff. Once we get to a point where we're not really getting vehicles, I'll just go and do missions, and then we can come back here at some point. I'm not sure if there are any vehicles in LS that I really care that much about that I would need to, like, you know, grab it in a mission and then come and deliver it. I don't think there's any particularly rare vehicles that I care about. Oh, a buffalo. That's huge. Give me that. Where do I get a tornado from? I know that's like a Vargo's Gan car, right? This kind of looks like something I want. A oh, Sultan I definitely want. Intruder. I like how I want this. Is this guy gonna get out? There we go. 
Hello, officer. I want the Sultan. Intruder can be rare? Well, good. I've got one now. Near Vargas area? Okay. Good to know. Now, the FCR you get during a Tebow Mendez in San Fierro. So, I can definitely get that for sure later on. Oh, Horn isn't set to shift. That's one bind that I missed. There we go. Just so I can beep some peds out of the way if needed. You'd also get FCRs the same place you get sports cars anyway. Yeah. Anything that's on the list of, you know, the import export in the game, I'm not too fussed about because obviously they're not that rare since they're on that list so they're intended to be picked up pretty easily. I'm just here to see you drive a mower across the map. Yeah, I'll need to get those slow things. Washington I have. Washington I have. Clover I don't have. I assume the mower only spawns like somewhere in LS, I think, right? And it's like mega slow, so yeah, I'll probably have to do like a cross map drive for it. You could also do import export to get extra import vehicles if you need them. That's a good shout, actually, yeah. Could spawn some stuff in that I need. Do I have a elegant? Is this an elegant? I don't have a perennial. I don't have a flash either. Oh, it's just another premier. I have this, right? Yeah. All right, throw me out. I don't care. This guy's just gonna fucking troll me. They're both trying to troll me. You're gonna do import export anyway for Euros? Is, doesn't a Euros just spawn in like... Um... Doesn't it just spawn in like a Las, Las Venturas like hotel or something? No? Or do you need to do import export for that? Oh, that spawn is tied to import export. Okay, I got you. Yeah, because I know it's bugged and it doesn't spawn in traffic when it's supposed to. So yeah, okay, so I'll need to do import export anyway. I, I thought that it was there always, no matter what. That's good to know. Every car on the list has a unique spawn. Okay, got you. I would like that van if I can get it, the camper van, if another one spawns, but I'm gonna miss it, sadly. Oh, there's one. Anything else that I care about? What is that thing? This is like a club, right? I think it's called. I don't think I have that. 25 so far, doing pretty good. We're like an eighth of the way there, dude. I thought the mower had a fixed spawn in LS. Am I wrong? I mean, I can only assume I'm wrong by the guy you, the, by the way you guys are talking about it. Oh, that's a chopper bike. Is that what the person was talking about? Because this is different to the BMX. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Nice. Now I see what you mean about the chopper. Yeah. Cool. There's a mower spawn near Mad Dog. That's what I thought. Yeah. Low random plane. I wonder how you deliver the planes. Do you just like bail out and just like throw them into the lighthouse? Or do you actually have to land them? Why not? Yeah. Well, just in case you like miss or something, right? <laughs> just don't miss, lol. I got 40 grand already. I'm smurfing. All right. I think we're kind of running out of cars now. Do I still not have a taxi? I still don't have a taxi. Bikes, I don't care about. Taxi, I do. Anything else? Ooh, a blade. That's one I haven't seen here yet. AT400 will be fun. I don't even know what an AT400 is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it real with you. I don't know what that is. Don't need to deliver Andromeda. Yeah. Oh, the big passenger jet. Right. Yeah, as far as I know, some things aren't involved, like the FBI trucks and stuff, because you can't, like, realistically get them without, like, heavy game abuse or whatever. I don't know exactly how it works, but there are some things that technically are possible to get, but you can't really get them legitimately, so. Okay. Yeah, anything that requires glitches, yeah. Ooh, that news ban would be nice. But I don't think I'm gonna be, gonna be able to get it, sadly. Taxi Perennial. That's the news van, nice. This is pretty good. I don't know how rare this is, but it feels kind of rare. Is Rhino included on this list? I assume so. Yeah, it is. 
Yeah, Rhino has been on all the lists so far because you can get it. Can't you get a Rhino in Grove Street if you get like 100% or something? Obviously, you don't have to do it that way, but... I guess the best way would just be to get six stars and farm one, but... I guess that is a good possibility if needed. Washington Cabby, Club, Clover, Blade. I handed in the Blade, right? I'm going to drive up the street a bit and see if I can see anything. Oh, a police car. That's really good. Oh, and a limo. Oh, and a Broadway. There is so much good shit. I want that limo. That's an elegant, right? Do I have an elegant? I don't have an elegant. Yunk. Please spike. Please. I'm not really going to go for police vehicles too much because they're so easy to get. I can just spawn them in. Just by causing a bit of chaos. Doing a bit of tomfoolery. So, like, random spawns are much more important to me. Uh, right. I think we're good for now. Unless, like, another Broadway spawns or something. Don't really care about any of these cars. Um, I guess we can have a look on this street, maybe. So, do you think I should go, go and try and get a tornado now? Or oh, a BF? Did I get a BF? I don't think I did, right? Personal, but you I didn't. Yeah, we can definitely go and try and get a tornado. I don't know exactly where they spawn, though. Oh, that's a Huntley or something, right? That's a, that's a big vehicle. You can get this from driving school, I think, but much more convenient to get it now. Bro, can you fuck up? Yeah, I need to go into Vargo's territory, which is like... Isn't it like this part? Like these, these like northern territories over here? And then like east as well, I think, like over here? So it's kind of far, but... We can go and have a look. Northeast, yeah. We can go and have a look. That's like a Glendale or something as well. I kind of want that. Might as well just do that when you unlock gang territories so you see where they are. That's fair enough, yeah. Ooh, is this police bike might follow me down. Alright, huh. He's just asking to have it stolen at this point. Somebody should make the same challenge mod for GTA 5. Good luck getting 700 vehicles, yeah. Isn't it like technically impossible in GTA 5 because of like GTA Online stuff? Yeah, that they've like removed cars that you can't get anymore. I guess if you just did single player only. But yeah, even then that would be fucking awful. Even if you do it single player, it sounds like shit. Like, I think this this is the, the worst I would do, you know? Like, SA is bad enough as it is. GTA 5 is so much worse. I mean, maybe if someone made it, I, I'd, I'd eventually maybe do it, but... I would need a lot of convincing. <laughs> it would need, like, a lot of planning, I think, as well. Ooh, an Admiral. GTA 4 version? I don't know enough about GTA 4 vehicles to know if it would be good or bad. I have no idea. My knowledge is very much 3D trilogy only, basically. IV has 120-ish vehicles. It doesn't sound too bad. It doesn't sound as bad as SA, to be honest. I don't have this, I don't think. Previan. Let's go. Uh, why do I have this bundle? It's a nice, nice color as well. You need the Glen shit? What is a what is a Glen shit? Is that like the damaged one you mean? Where it like has all its windows broken and stuff? Um, I don't know. It depends if the game counts it as a separate vehicle or not. 
I think I need this as well. Isn't this like a Willard? Ow. Give me this. Or oh, Vincent, even better. It is a separate vehicle. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's called something else. Glendale. Oh yeah, Glendale Junk. I see it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we need so to get the ghost car at some point as well. Good to know. I think in the game files it's called Glen Shit. Nice. Almost as good as a cunt gun, which is the country rifle cunt gun. Very cool, Rockstar. We got 40 vehicles, which is pretty good at the start. I'm pretty pretty impressed with that. I was hoping for a couple of dozens, so. Go kart and vortex spawn after CTB or any way to get them before. Maybe races? Isn't there a go kart race, I think, that you can steal it from? That was an oceanic there, I think, but I wasn't able to get it. Oh, yo, that's huge. And get vortex from imports. Another oceanic behind me. Yunk. I think I just fail cut through a business and deliver it, yeah. I, I guess you could even drive it here, right? Because you you have cut through a business, like you get in the go-kart right here. So you could just drive away and deliver it right here. And then just restart the mission. You're literally right over there when you get in the go-kart. So you're just, you're just given a really convenient spawn. You don't need to do that because it has fixed spawns after that mission. Is the fixed spawn in this convenient point, though? Close, I guess. Hmm. Well, good to know that there's plenty of options. Savannah. I need that. Yeah, I need an FCR and I need a BF. BF spawns really easily. FCR I'll get later on. Yeah, this is a good find. Especially in such a convenient location, for sure. I don't know how rare savannas are, but I don't feel like they're particularly common here, so... Yeah, I'm just I'm just getting as many cars as possible without starting the first mission. Just so I can, like, thin down the list a little bit and make it easier to remember stuff. Because obviously when it's 194 cars that I need, it's kind of hard to remember stuff. Oh, yo, what the fuck is that? Banshee? Big. Banshee is huge. It feels huge. Again, you can get this later on in, like, San Fierro, right? But... It's very good to get it here. The other road that goes north can spawn sports cars. The other road that goes north? You mean this? This one? On the western side? I should move my marker as well. The marker should be here. Yeah? Alright. We can go up that road then. Try and get some good stuff. Regina? Big. 45. Big. Almost a quarter of the way there. What about Phoenix? Does Phoenix even spawn in traffic? I feel like I might have to do um, Home in the Hills for that, no? Alright, let's go up here and see if we can get anything cool. You can get doing. Oh, yeah, you can get it in a race, right? True. Buffalo, Clover. Some decent cars, but stuff I already have. Alright, we can start slowly heading back, I think. Now. If I see anything, I'll grab it. But we'll head along this main street, because it usually has some pretty good stuff. Club, club. There's a good chance I'll probably miss some stuff, by the way. Because I'm shit. Please ignore me. Another Sultan. Stratum I already have. Perennial, Sultans. Yeah, I already have all this stuff. What about a slam van? I don't have a slam van. That is definitely a potential rear vehicle that might be problematic. But yeah, it does have a fixed spawn. Is that a BF? I can never tell a BF from a PCJ. It's kind of hard to tell. But I'm pretty sure these are all PCJs because I'm riding one. So it's just spawning a load of them on top of me. The bottom seat is different. That's a change that I've never heard before. Is that Majestic? I don't have that. Yeah. Oh, I should go and get a Tornado as well. That's something I should do. 
We should go and get a tornado before starting the first mission. Actually, no, wait, I shouldn't. Ooh, Hermes. Uh, do I care about Hermes? No. They're too far away to run all the way back for it. I think. Yeah, I was going to say we'll get a tornado, but I don't really think I need it. Because as Paladinette said, we can just do it when we're doing um, gang territories. Can't you just make a replay of the Hermes? True. I could have done that in hindsight. You're right. Yeah, I keep forgetting that I can just make replays of stuff. I'll try and keep that in mind, but I, that's not a big deal. It's not a super rare car. I'm not too beat up about it. What's world record for this? It's like 18 hours or something daft. It's not on the leaderboard, so the bot won't tell you. Don't think it's worth an SRC category? No, definitely not. I mean, only a handful of people have actually bothered to complete this like single segment, so I don't think it's worth it. Play super safe and drive around here. I say super safe as I'm driving on two wheels. You know what I mean. Should we expect to see you in JDQ at English Ben? Should you expect to see me in a marathon that is 100% Joshimus and never has anyone else included? Probably not. That's all you got. If if I had to guess. All right, should we go and start missions or? I hope you know how to date Katie. I do. But my stats might be a bit fucked for it. But we'll figure it out. Even if I need to go and get like fucking- Ooh! I have never seen this spawn here in my life. Stafford. I know this has a fixed spawn, but it's all the way in San Fierro. So that might be quite a big find, I think. Oh! Dude! Hello? I feel like this is probably really good, right? On oh, an FCR right there. I'm making a replay. Bro, coach FCR Stafford. That's insane. That's insane. Just push the car. That's true. I could have done that, but I made a replay. So maybe we can get one. But don't they be? Don't they need to be able to like spawn in the area normally to get one hit on oh, ambulance as well? Yo, don't you dare throw yourself off! Come here, come here, bruh. Where are you going? I committed a crime over here. Oh, I killed someone over here, bro. These guys are trolling. Well, there goes the ambulance stream. Hey, look at that, a Stafford. Spawned in that other thing as well. Was there an LG too and an Esperanto? Damn, I missed so many good cars. We had like no cars for ages, and then all of a sudden I get a load of nutty shit. Look, a rainbow. Let's see if we can spawn in that FCR or maybe an LG or something. No way. <laughs> I played one replay and my game just crashed. So that that's all my progress just gone. Fifty cars. No way, dude. That is so fucked. Like, that's so much progress gone. That's like over a fucking hour. Dude, I don't want to do all of that again. Doesn't the mod save your progress? No, it's based on the on the save, right? It just reads the save. So if I start a new game, it's just going to reset it, isn't it? Oh, that is so fucking sad. Uh, that's so ass, man. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to restart. It's so stupid. Like, I knew SA would be shit, but not just like instantly killing all my progress. Shit. The only other thing I could think of to like make this somewhat fun to like redo it is maybe play with like quick save, so I can save the game like after you know every few deliveries or something. I don't know. Could you use a trainer that spawn them in and make a save after? That's actually quite a good idea. I could. Does anyone know a good trainer for SA that spawn unless we spawn in vehicles? I think what I might do is like call it here for now in terms of like this playthrough. And then I think Enzio's got a really good idea. I'll offline at some point 
I'll go through the VOD, make a note of every card that I handed in, find some kind of trainer that lets me spawn them in, and then, yeah, buy the safe house and go again from there. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, and then I'll be back. Honestly, that kind of fucking killed my mood a bit, so I'm probably gonna call the stream here, even though it's very, um, you know, very very short, and I do apologize. But I'll find a way to get us back into it, and then we can continue next stream, all happy and smiles again. Hello, how's it going? Uh, yes, hello. Welcome back to attempt two of the SA SSSA challenge. So to anyone who wasn't here for the for the last one, I got fifty one minutes in and I collected about fifty cars or so. And then my game crashed. And I hadn't saved because I didn't expect the game to crash less than an hour in. So <clears throat> instead of restarting from scratch, because fuck that, we got some good shit and I want to keep the playthrough going. Instead, what I've done is I've used a trainer, and I've I've started a new game. I've teleported myself over to the lighthouse, and I've handed in all the cars that I handed in during the playthrough. Technically speaking, I handed in an extra car because I forgot that the San Fierro police car and the Los Santos police car were different. So I just handed in a police car that was a San Fierro one, thinking it was a Los Santos one. They're different, but... The San Fierro one that is already counted, I'll just do it anyway and it won't count, but then we'll be even just so I can say that I've done them all anyway. Uh, but yeah, so it will basically be the same. I've bought the safe house as well next to the lighthouse so I can save and hopefully not lose too much progress again in the future. The only difference will be that like the time of day will be different and you know I won't have as much stats because I won't have as much stamina from running about and stuff. Aside from that, we should be pretty much good to go. I've also put the timer at 51 minutes because, you know, that was how long it took before it crashed. All good? All good. Okay. So if you look at the collection thing, I'll bring it up on my screen really quick as well so I can see it. So it was at 48. Now it's at 49 because it also has the San Fierro police car as well. But yeah. So we're in the... Oh, I'll start the timer as well. Cool. So yeah. We're... Pretty much where we were, the lighthouse is right here, got the safe house, haven't started the first mission or anything. And, uh, yeah, we just have one extra car, which is a San Fierro police car, which I'll deliver later. So then we're even. So the trouble is, since it's been, like, a little while, I don't really remember what I actually collected. So I might just go and start missions, to be honest. And then we can do stuff later on. But I'll keep an eye out. Maybe you guys can help remind me if I've delivered something or not. Did I clear the replay? I just have now. I've just pressed F2 right then. That's a good call because I don't want to crash my game again. It's a shame because that replay had an FCR in it, which I very much wanted, but... Oh. What does the replay do? Uh, it had an FCR in it, and if you play a replay with a certain vehicle model in, it will load it into the game, so then it's more likely to spawn in traffic. But it also crashed my game, so... Fuck it. Not worth it. Alright. I say we just go and start the first mission. And anything that we find that is interesting to us, we can take. And we can always deliver it, like, after missions. Is this a BF? That's a BF. I wanna hand this in. Uh, hello? I'm gonna save a replay to save a replay of the BF. But this is a big pickup. Because this is quite a rare vehicle. It does have a fixed spawn, but I don't remember where it is. So I want it now. This thing's engine's fucking loud. Let's go, the big 50. Well, technically 49. Now, can I play a replay without it immediately crashing my game with the BF? Is the question. Well, no, I can't. Okay, uh, that's a problem. Because literally playing replays just crashes my game. For no reason. Even with a completely fresh replay. Wow, okay. Let me, let me test some stuff really quick. 
Is it F1? That works perfectly. F3? F1. It's whenever I press F3 and then cancel it with F1, that just crashes the game. What if I let the whole thing play out? Nope, it still just crashes. That's so weird. I don't get it. Like, F3 replays just crash my game consistently. No. Back to back curse replays. There's no way, right? There's no way my game is that fucked. Right? If I save a replay now. Now it works perfectly. What if I cancel it with F1? It works. Okay, so yeah, I, I guess it was just those particular replays just crashed my game and now they're fine. Like, what the fuck, man? Okay, uh, well, because the one vehicle that I got is just a really rare vehicle, I guess I'll just do what I did before and just spawn it in. Hold on. Oh, booting this up is going to ruin my controls as well. Fuck's sake. No, it's not worth it for one vehicle. We'll just hopefully get a slam ban. I mean, there's a fixed spawn. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's. It, I'm not doing. I'm not redoing all of my controls for one fucking vehicle. Yeah, that's so dumb, man. I legit got like two replays that would crash my game, back to back, and now they're like fine. Yeah, if it was like a Euros or something, something that only spawns all the way across the map, then sure. But you'll just have to tell me where the slam ban fix location is. That's the. That's the what's it called? Like the, the compromise. If you tell me where to get the fixed slam van, I won't spawn it in. Sex shop in El Corona. Oh, it's an import export spawn. Okay, I can't get it for ages then. Oh, I don't have this. Hey Enzio, yeah, I uh, I took your advice. I'm pretty sure it was your advice anyway, of uh, using the trainer and spawn them all in on a fresh save. So that's where we're up to right now. And I just got a slam ban and my game crashed again, which is very epic, but I'm not using a trainer to spawn in one vehicle that has a fixed spawn. It's not worth it. Yeah, it, it was easy enough. Setting up clear was kind of a pain in the ass, but it's whatever. Did I get the quick save? No, I didn't, but I got the safe house over there. Did you go to Ocean Docks? Yeah, at some point I probably should, you're right. Spawn in some industrial vehicles. That's not a bad idea, actually. We're about to the docks, like here, right? Clover I have, bikes I have. Ooh, a street sweeper. That's a happy little accident to find. Airport highway mainly for trash master packer and bus, true. Yeah, good chat. Also, everyone keep your eyes peeled for slam vans, because I would like to be even on that. Because otherwise I'll have it in my head that I've collected it when I haven't. And then I'll be annoyed. When I miss it later. Because I might get a really good slam band spawn. And then go, oh no, I've already handed that in and ignore it. But I haven't already handed it in, you know? Is this even fast enough that I can bail out of it, I wonder? Or will it just, like, stop? No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually too slow to bail out of. Nice. Is this mod publicly available somewhere? I can find it on a quick search. If you go to, you know, Ethan's website, EH Games, and look for GTA MM, which is GTA Memory Modules, you can find it in there. It's built into it. Or you can um, go to, what's it called? Uh, if you go to GTA Modifications in the GTA Speedrunning Discord, it's pinned in there as well. Is that an FCR? Yo. Huge. That's a big pickup. FCRs are pretty rare, I think. At least I always struggle to usually find them. Huge. I'm gonna go and save after that FCR, just to be safe, because that's quite a big pickup. Alright, so we're heading to airport slash docks, right? Is that a cheetah? 
I almost just let that fly right on past me. I'm pretty sure that's also a rare car as well. And I just let it go right past almost. That's big. Oh, sorry, buddy. All right. Now can we make it to the industrial area without something huge spawning? Tahoma? I don't have that yet. Is that a Tahoma? Yeah, it is. We can get these gang cars. They're not super big spawns, but they usually spawn quite a bit to the east, so they're quite convenient to get now. I think, anyway. I'll be very amused if one of the sedans is one of the last cars. I don't even know what sedans I have left, to be honest. I think I have quite a few of them. Oh, a blister. That's quite big. I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna let this drive down a bit, so now I can pick it up. Um, I'll let it go to here, and then I'll run and pick up the Tahoma afterwards. I think blister's fairly rare as well. At least, at least compared to Tahoma, Tahoma's I can get anywhere. <laughs> but we can get both. Is that a voodoo as well? It is, but I'm never going to catch it, I don't think. Ah, oh, it's going to despawn, I think. Or maybe? No, it's it's gone. Oh! <laughs> wow, okay. As long as I keep this on camera, that Tahoma will stay. Alright. <laughs> I will take these free gang vehicles that are spawning right here. Hey, buddy. Fuck off. Move. There's nobody there. Well, if I keep doing these sprints as well, I'm gonna have to eat at some point. I'm gonna keep getting, getting thinner and thinner. I guess I could have taken that voodoo. Technically, it's a bit closer, but whatever. This one is also a bit closer. Take the second best one. I don't know if you've already answered this, but do you have any plans for if the game crashes again? I'll just do the same thing. If the game crashes and I lose substantial progress, I'll just spawn in the vehicles and hand them all in, in bulk. Because, yeah. There isn't really a better option. Right, to the airport road again. That seems to be the gold mine so far. So I've had all sorts of good shit spawn. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Does this spawn, does this road usually spawn fucking bunkers traffic like this, or am I just getting really lucky? FCR, Cheetah, Infernus, Super GT. That's nuts. Definitely saving after this. The Infernus, especially, I didn't even know that it could spawn there. Run and save before my game crashes. Quick, 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 go. The game's gonna crash any second. Hurry up. It's weird, because I'm getting, like, half poor traffic, like, gang cars and stuff. And then half of it, I'm getting just nuts traffic. Like, Cheetah, Infernus. You know, you name it. It's really strange, but I'll take it, you know? I'm never going to say no to those kind of cars. Because that'll save me, like, an hour later on handing them in from, like, San Fierro, you know? That's a BF, I think. Yeah, it is. Don't, you fucking bastard. The light was red the whole time. Asshole. Fuck off. Bye bye. So I think we're done for motorcycles now, at least. We obviously have the NRG to hand in, but that's a fixed spawn. And it doesn't spawn in traffic, I don't think. I think that's, that's it for bikes, though, I think. Is Andromeda actually possible to get without cheats, then? Yes, but, like, it isn't necessarily getting it without cheats is the reason why it's blacklisted. It's, like, it's only things that you can get legitimately. And by legitimately, they mean either without cheats or without heavy glitches. And duping stowaway is considered very heavy glitching, you know? It's not necessarily, like, cheat codes that forbid you from getting them. Alright, let's head onto this road again and see what we can find. Right, so where is the airport? Is this the airport road? The south road. Oh, have I gone Have I gone the wrong way? Was there a south road? I don't remember. Let me go back. One sec. So up here? 
This is the airport road, right? This is what you meant? Yeah, this one, okay. This one's gonna be kind of tough because everyone's very fast. Ooh, that's like a Boxville, I want that. Boxville, Boxville. It's going mega fast, look at it. Oh, fuck. Well, now it's gone. Oh, maybe not. Move, dickhead. There's no one there, but whatever. We'll get this one. Dude, look how fast these fucking things go. It's nuts. It's like the highway traffic or whatever, right? Alright, let's go. Back we go. Oh yeah, tugs can spawn here? What is a tug? Is that a car? It is. What the hell is a tug? It's like a baggage handler, but more boxy. Okay. Nice security car. Oh, fuck. I, I was reading chat. I'm no longer winning, I lied. I wasn't expecting a good vehicle so soon. It's not fair. You know the little vehicle you find in Area 69 in Black Project? No. No idea. Yeah, I don't think they were talking about the jetpack. <laughs> I know of the jetpack, considering it's like mandatory for the mission. I thought I was an emperor for a second. We're driving by a bunch of nebulas. What is a nebula? Is this a nebula? No, this is like a Previon or something, right? What is a nebula? That large boxy looking. S oh, this thing over here. This is a nebula. Bro, I am really not trying to crash into you, but he's just unlocking my ass. Bro, get me in. Bro, get in. What the fuck are you... What are you... What the hell is happening? Get in the fucking car, man. Holy shit. CJ just running laps around the car for some fucking daft reason. What an idiot. I also do need to look out for a Willard. Because I swear Vincent's and Willard's, I always mix them up. So I could have driven past a load of Willards as well, and I don't know the difference. I just know they're like shit cars. Driving skill plus, let's go. 60, nice. We're almost a third of the way there. Oh. What is this? Some kind of like utility vehicle. Utility van. Nice. That is just a forklift speeding. I don't think I was going to catch those in a million years. Somehow those forklifts are going like 60 miles an hour. What's my plan at the minute? I'm just going to the airport road and ocean docks to try and get like a different group of vehicles. Because I've pretty much exhausted all the vehicles here. So I'm trying to get like vans, utility stuff, oh, man. you know, that kind of shit. I feel like NPCs can drive forklifts faster than you. Yeah, you can legit drive the, it at like two miles an hour max, but they can drive it at 60 for some daft reason. If you see a pizza boy, prioritize it. Can pizza boy spawn here? My plan for pizza boy was getting it from Lost Ventures. <laughs> From the burger shot thing. Any mission specific vehicles in GTA SA? Yes. There's not that many, but the ones that do exist are a huge pain. Someone just knock on my door. Bro, I heard someone knock on my door. Um. Oh, the burger shot spawn is a Faggio. Oh, oh, fuck. Well, I hope I find one then. Uh, but yeah, like, one of the, uh, mission-specific vehicles is you've got to basically beat the whole game. Because it's an end of the line part one. You remember the big, like, tank that you used to smash through the wall? That's a vehicle that you can only get in that mission, so. Purely because of that vehicle, we have to beat the entire game. <laughs> Which adds, like, you know, several hours onto the run. It's pretty annoying.
There's a Pizza Boy delivery mini game. Is there? That's that's news to me. I've never heard of it. Uh, this is not good to get fog here because I can't fucking see a thing. Yes, there is an LV. I'm pretty sure you're talking about the one that I just mentioned. And yeah, that's for Burger Shot. It's not Pizza Boy. Yeah, there's also going to be any percent NMG. Yeah. I'm going to be doing the missions at some point. As soon as I run out of vehicles to pick up, I will start doing missions, basically. And we'll just deliver stuff in between when it's convenient to do so. I was hoping I would get... Hey, is this a tug? I was hoping I would get another, um... Give me that fucking feel. What's it called? Forklift. No, this is just a regular baggage handler. Okay. Oh, a tow truck. Is that right? I think that has a fixed spawn, I think. Go to the airport? Why? Tow the stairs? Wait, the stairs are a vehicle? That's a Saddler and I need that, but... A Remington. The stairs are a vehicle? Holy shit, they are. Uh, how the fuck do I get to the airport? I go this way, I guess. I'll be real, I have no idea how to get into the airport. Oh, right, I can't drive in here. Can I do the thing where I punch it and it opens? Or do this? Can't you do this? Can't you just do this and jump over? And then open it from the other side? Hold on. Hold on, I'm pretty sure I know how to do this. And then you can just open it from this side, right? Look at that, huge. Quick, before it closes. Let's go. All right, where the fuck are the stairs? Everyone keep your eye out for stairs. There are stairs. So you're telling me I just like... Oh, is it these ones, I think? These, these seem a bit more movable. Huge! I had no idea you could do this. Holy shit. I did not know that you can do this. I'm glad that you told me, because I would have had no idea. Bro, I really didn't break that. Why is the fucking fence completely indestructible? What the hell? Bro? No way I'm ramping this. Alright, now nah, fuck it, I am ramping it. Check this. This is the most insane USJ you've ever seen. Check it. It's fine. We got him over. Oh! Oh, so now the fence breaks. Why do they bounce? I mean, that works. Why are they smoking as well? They don't have an engine. What the fuck? I somehow jackknifed the stairs. They're now smoking. And they bounced back. Yeah, because the engine's fucked. Epic, dude. Uh, right. I'm gonna go the way that I know, because I don't want to get stuck and lose these fucking things. Alright. This is gonna be an epic drive back. So, I assume you can't drive the stairs by themselves. You have to tow them, right? Like, if the stairs is your last... That's not a Berkeley's RC van, is it? No, it's just like a regular advertisement. Because I'm pretty sure Berkeley's RC vans spawn really rarely in industrial areas. So we need to look out. Dude, I wish I could get all of these vehicles, but I can't. I'm scared that if I get out and get into a different vehicle and deliver it, that I'd lose both of these because the stairs are despawn or whatever. I don't know how, like, trailers work in terms of personal vehicles. Be honest with me. How many of you knew that you could do this, towing the stairs? How many of you knew that you could do that? Type me smiley face in the chat if you knew. I'll know if you're lying. I didn't. I didn't. Idiot. Yeah, there's not that many. What the fuck, dude? My stairs are gonna blow up because this guy just fucking comp- Oh my god! Dude, stop. I'm gonna have to kill this guy. 
Because he's legit. Th these guys are legit just going to stun lock me to death. Look at this. What the fuck is wrong? Stop, man. Bro. What the fuck? I, I was out of the car and he still just ran into my fucking thing. That's crazy. I thought when you got out of the car, they would still try and come after me. But they didn't. They just went straight and suicided after my car. Literally anything to just inconvenience me as much as possible. That's such fucking bullshit. Well, I guess we're going all the way back. Push the stairs on foot. There's no way, right? By the time I do that, I could just go and get another fucking thing. That's so annoying, though, that it's such a huge fucking waste of time. Just because of SA bullshit AI. Fucking dumbass game. You're gonna have to walk now, sucker. Whatever, man. I will just go and fuck myself. Oh, bro, come on, get over there. I forgot how fucking dumb this game is, and when you crash into someone, yeah, there's like 50% chance that they'll ignore you, 50% chance that they will just slam into you until you die. It's so ridiculous. Yeah, it is intended. It's just another terrible essay mechanic that just makes the game extremely not fun. Essay is full of them. Yeah, I had no idea that it was focused on the car. I got out because I thought that, it, you know, they would just start going after me and I could um, save the car. But they just ignored me and just rammed the car into the fucking ocean. That's so nuts. What is that over there? Is like a triathlon or something? Fuck that. I've never actually done those and I never will. Fucking dead content. They should be required for 100%. 100% the game, but don't actually do 100% of the content, by the way. Guess I'll just keep collecting docks vehicles, I suppose. Let's see how far this guy goes. There's only one place to deliver vehicles? No. But right now there is. Because the only other place that I can deliver it is god where even is it here i think so not the most useful thing no i can't use that it's too far away or anything oh an emperor i need that i'll drive alongside this to see if they go close to where i want to go i might even be able to push them or maybe even shark attack them i might even be able to force them to come near me one free shit you know there's only two on the map to my knowledge yeah, crash into- that's not a bad idea, actually. I was thinking about that. Thanks. Cost the one time I need them to be angry. We could try this one as well. This also is an effort. Hey, good looking. Hey, Bro. Bro, fuck off. She's got a fucking bat. She's coming at me. Oh, here we go. Yes, come this way. Let's go. Abusing shark AI. Yeah, I mean, if it's gonna, if it's gonna present itself constantly, I may as well make the most out of it, right? This is huge. Look at that. Oh, and now I can just steal it. Yoink. <laughs> Is there a limit to how many vehicles you can have on you at a time? It's two. You can have two personal vehicles before the first one despawns. So right now, if I were to enter another vehicle, then, um... Oh, you don't mean that. You mean Shark AI? I have no idea. I... Don't know. 
Don't know how many people you can have pissed off at you at once. No idea. That was a huge double pickup though. We, we can do that for quite a few different vehicles, maybe. All right, we'll go and save. It's been another 20. We'll save like every 20 minutes or so if we get some decent progress. All right, back we go. I don't have a stallion, right? Yeah, I don't. You know the cars I can make aggressive towards me? No, I have all this stuff. Wait, is that a Willard? Yo, anyone who knows cars, is that a Willard? Right here, this thing? This is a Willard, right? I need this. It is? Hey! Asshole. Fuck you. Um... But then, look, if I enter it, I might be able to spawn more. Well, oh, Remington. Wait, Remington is way better. I want that. Please be aggro. Bro, why are these people not aggressive? Remington's pretty rare, I think. Actually, I'm pretty sure I can steal this from, like, High Stakes Lowrider. Whatever. Okay. With any luck, I might find another Willard or another... Wait. Another Remington. If this guy's aggressive, I can swap back to the Stalin. I'm wasting so much time trying to do this. Bro, be aggressive. Dude. What the fuck? Hello? Be aggressive. Yes, let's go. Come this way. No, dickhead, don't get stuck. Come on, man, you can do it. Don't reverse over the barricade. Come on, let's go. Yes. All this to get two cars. I don't even think it was worth it, but whatever, it's cool. It's, a, it's an epic strat. I like it, so we're doing it. Yo, get out of the car. Let's my go. Bad, homie. Plans for my summer? Um, well, considering that for the last two days it has done nothing but rain here, probably nothing super interesting. But I mean, I've... I've already traveled to like several different countries and stuff this summer, so might want to chill out a bit for the rest of it, you know. Play some San Andreas all summer. Where did I travel to? I went to um, went to the Netherlands, went to Denmark, Sweden, been to graduations, weddings. Done quite a lot this summer already. I'm going to Birmingham tomorrow. Pray for me, please. Are you actually? I'm also going to Birmingham tomorrow. What are the chances? Ooh, that's what I want. Pick it all. Oh, and a moonbeam as well, yo. Yo, I want these things. Is that pick it all still there? Oh, that one is. Guys, don't throw me out, please. Fuck off. Well, there goes that pick it all. Because this guy decides to be a fucking prick. Yep. Rip. Minus one car, because that guy just decides to be a fucking twat. Wait, is that Willard? Willard, come back. One of my mates had the audacity to get married. What a knob. Honestly. In Birmingham, of all fucking places. Disgusting. This is a Willard, right? I need this. Yes, finally. The elusive Willard. And we should still have that moonbeam sat for us. I think it's a moonbeam. Any more picadors I can yoink? Ooh, a Virgo. I don't have one of those. Pick 
Yeah, that guy's also jumping. All right, now we can hand in a moonbeam. One day I have. Sadler, I don't have. Sorry, moonbeam. This moonbeam is just getting left kicked to the curb every time. But we're getting some good swans, so I'm gonna make the use most of them. Dude, they're almost at 70 vehicles. How exciting. Fucking pogging right now. Alright, the moonbeam is like more over this way now. Ooh, a picador. Come this way. Come this way to where the moonbeam is. There's a moonbeam right there. No, I want to get this one. Come on. Now we can hand in the moonbeam and then take the picket door. I don't want to lose the moonbeam. On a related note, any good bars in Birmingham? I don't think I've ever been to a bar in Birmingham. Yeah, Liv can tell you. She'll know. Honestly, I've, I don't know if I've been to any like pubs or bars in Birmingham. Uh, I'll, go, I'll grab this one. It's closer, I guess. Legit went out in Brum, you donkey. I have long repressed that memory. I don't remember where we went out. Where did we go? I remember going out in different places near Birmingham, but not in Birmingham. Are GTA SA speedruns on the Steam version, or are, they, are the speedruns on censored versions? Uh, neither. They're played on 1.0 or 1.01. Because you can't hold phone calls on the Steam version. After the theater, oh, I do remember that, yeah. And then we went home because we thought we heard gunshots. Yeah, classic fucking Birmingham. Classic. I remember that, yeah. Now you mention it, I do remember that. Good times. Average night in fucking Birmingham. Yeah, legit, like it wasn't. We don't exactly know what it was. We thought it, we, we assume it's fireworks, but it legit sounded like fucking gunshots. They were so loud. And we were like, holy shit, it's like something blown up. Someone like bombed Birmingham or something. So we were like, we should probably just leave. It was so loud. Leading out, they're bloody shooting at us. Chuffing Nora. Yeah, nobody was reacting. But to be honest, I get it, because if, if you live in Birmingham, you're probably used to, like, daily crime, so, yeah. But if someone, like, fucking throws a snowball where I live, everyone starts fucking running into their houses. But in Birmingham, everyone's just like, yeah, whatever. A couple of stabbings, normal. Yo, give me that fucking baggage handler. Come back here, you prick. It's so unfair that they can fucking drive these things so fast. Look at him go. I've legit lost him. He's despawned. Bro! Come back. This guy's legit smurfing on me. That's Fuck off, you nonce. Have I done any missions yet? No. I have not. Right, now I need to go back to the airport and we need to try and get the stairs again and not crash. Because apparently if you crash, you get stun locked to death. That's your punishment. Today I learned. Can I go this way? God, I hope I can go this way. Yeah, I can. Almost. Yeah, just about. Only people holding a valid yeah, yeah, shut up, you geek. Enter. Only people holding a valid pilot license may answer. Shut up and open the fucking gates. Wagey. I say Giga Chad fucking driving my baggage handler into the airport. No jump. I'll jump on the way out. Actually, no, I won't because I almost fucking banged the stairs out last time. No, I'm not doing any jumps. We're not, we're not pissing about, all right? I lost these fucking things last time because I was... Dicking about. We're, we're going full fucking tryhard this time. 
I'm going to hit these at full pelt and I guarantee you I'm, I'm going to break it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go. Right, and I know a shortcut on the way back as well. Bus and coach look similar. What do the buses look like in SA? Is it the same as GTA 3 and VC? Where they look like prison buses rather than like buses buses? Oh, almost a bit tall for that. No? What does a bus look like then? I have no idea what a bus looks like. Bus in SA is very similar to the coach. Fuck's sake. Does that mean I now need to enter every single fucking bus I find? To see if it's a coach or not. You have no idea how tempted I am to ramp off that thing, but I'm not going to. Coach but thinner? Regular bus has regular doors. Define regular doors. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't think bus spawns in this game. Well, that's unfortunate because I kind of need to deliver one. So, how do you propose I beat this challenge if I need to deliver a car that doesn't exist? I, I think I think the uh, developers would have uh, thought about that. I think it would be pretty silly if it was asking you for a vehicle that you couldn't hand in. Bro, what is that? No way, don't flip again, please. Fuck off. What is wrong with this game? So I can't go under here either? My god, why is it so fucking difficult to bring some stairs with you, man? Like, you would think that if you have stairs with you and you hit the fucking thing, it would just stop you, but it doesn't. You you do like a weird flip and then your stairs blow up somehow. Like, the game's so fucked. So dumb. Bus has the door on the front side and coach has it in the middle. Is that true? I feel like I stole a coach before and it was in the front. I don't know, man. You'll just have to tell me if I see one. Because I've been ignoring all the coaches, thinking that I wouldn't need them. So I might have seen a bus and not even realized. Fuck, man. This area is restricted to yeah, fuck only. off. He doesn't know that I blew up my previous set of stairs. I'm going to show you not a single bus has spawned so far. I don't know if that should make me feel better or not. Let's do a cool little jump. No way. This is why we don't do jumps, kids. There's a baggage spawn in the airport, is there? Where? Bro, why can't I fucking turn this thing? Oh, it's E. Where baggage? Near Shamal? Bro, no way I'm already on fire. I'm actually gonna blow up and die. Or not. Bro, that's also fucking dumb in this game. The thing sets on fire and then just immediately goes out. Like, what the fuck? What's the point in it setting on fire if it's then just go- Oh, a baggage. Get me down. Yeah, what's the point in faking fucking fire damage and it doesn't actually set on fire? It's just so stupid. Right, let's go. Third time's the charm, Copium. So we're, we're going to need to plan, like, a completely different route. All right. Through the fence, let's go. Right, how do we get back there if we can't go this way? I guess we go here, up north, and then join the road this way. Because we can't go under here. So I guess we do that. It might even be faster to do that, to be honest. You go around the tunnel, fuck out, committed now. If I somehow fail again, I'm turning the game off. Being very careful to not hit anything. I 
and also not flip the stairs because they're so bouncy. Look at them, man. What the fuck? I, w I legit was barely moving. Are they going to bounce back again? What the fuck? They got stuck in the ground. This game is such a joke. Like, why are they so fucking stupid? I I've never seen such fucking dumb physics in my life. Like, this is... This is like supposed to be a oh a cool thing you can tow the stairs, but then it's just completely ruined by the fact that the SA physics are so fucked that they're just impossible to move anywhere because they just do ten flips and blow up. Idiot. It's so daft, man. Holy fuck! It would be quicker to get Andromeda. Yeah, it fucking would. And ironically, I really did not expect fucking stairs to just be so fucked. Right, the game will crash again if I breathe wrong. Don't worry, it's already crashed this session. So we're we're not due one. I would be surprised if it crashed twice in one session. Just, you know, driving cars. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why the stairs blow up. Like, yeah, bicycles and shit don't blow up when they're upside down. But the fucking stairs do. Like, so dumb. Right, fourth time's the charm. So now we've got to do all that again, but we can't turn a corner too sharply, because if we do, the stairs will blow up. Fuck me. But I think the route that we had was good. It was pretty painless. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Oh, not again. Okay, good. Alright, stop pissing about, Ben. I know you're trying to be entertaining, but just get them delivered now. Stop messing about. Stop goofing. I'm I'm trying. I just get bored driving these extremely slow vehicles the same path every single time. You found respect for airport workers, yeah. Thank you for not letting the stairs blow up when I'm walking up them to get my flight. Thank you, airport security or whatever the fuck they are. Not airport security. You know, the, the guys who drive baggage handlers, what are they called? Like, just airports crew or whatever, I guess. I don't know. Isn't the person driving the baggage handler technically the baggage handler? Because they're the ones handling the baggage. It's a thought for you. It's a deep thought. Alright, chill. Yeah, I guess you would be a baggage handler handler, yeah. That's that's their official job title. Baggage handler handler. So my next question is, is how do I even deliver these things? Like, do I just detach them and drive away? How do I detach things? Please don't flip. No, dude. Yes. Oh, let's go. Okay, thank fucking God. I just got lucky there and they just bounced back again. But to be fair, after all the shit that I've just been through, I fucking deserve that. Bro. Fuck this, I'm edging out. I'm being a shitty driver. I'm edging out until they just let me through. Thank you. Alright. Move. If I sink these things now, I'm gonna cry. Exit vehicle. Is it going to hand in both of them or will it just like despawn the baggage handler? How do I detach the things? How do I detach? Anyone know? I don't want to lose my baggage handler. Don't. Did I get both of them? Hey, those better shoes make your feet look big. Baggage box, baggage wagon. It didn't... It just fucking despawned my baggage thing, man. It counted? But there's still two baggage things on there, no? Wait, so there's also baggage, baggage box, and baggage wagon? Oh, fucking hell. 
Okay, it did count as two. Okay, thank God. I was about to get a little bit mega upset. So you're telling me that I need to get another baggage handler and I need to t tow another item twice. Fucking hell. It's not as top heavy, I guess, I guess. Where do I find them? At the airport, I guess? Like, are they just sat in the airport somewhere? You can chain them? That would be huge if I could. Uh, I should go this way. I think it's faster. San Fierro Airport only? Are you serious, man? I have to fucking drive a baggage handler with potentially two items? All the way from fucking San Fierro? Oh my god. Shoot me now. You can deliver NRG. Is there a convenient NRG spawn that isn't here? Or where even is it? Like over here? It's miles away, right? In the parking lot? Which parking lot? Like at the airport? Uh, I guess I'm gonna do it like the dodos and stuff. Holding a valid pilot's license may enter. San Fierro Airport. Ah, yes. Let me just, instead of using the spawn in LS, let me just go all the way to San Fierro Airport to deliver a bike. That's a fantastic idea. <laughs> let me just turn this 20 hour playthrough into a 30 hour playthrough, real quick. What other vehicles are here? There's there's a Dodo and the Shamel, right? Those are the two planes that are here. Is there even a Shamel here? Extra content. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean, Frostwolf. That's where I was playing to get it. Is there a Shamel here? Oh yeah, there is, right there. We can deliver the Shamel as well. So how do I hand this thing in? Do I actually just bail out, I guess? Kind of fling it at the lighthouse and bail out early. This is going to be interesting. Let's go. Huge. Insane skill. Welcome Raiders. I hope you love driving. Because that's <laughs> that's basically what I'm doing. Is this suffering yet? It's been long suffering, let me tell you. Uh, but yeah, we're doing a challenge where I have to get every single vehicle in San Andreas and deliver it to the lighthouse. Well, one of two lighthouses. So it's very much kind of luck based, you know, seeing what you what you get on the road. But then it's also like getting some really niche vehicles. Like I I just delivered a set of stairs that I tied to a baggage handler and it took me four tries to get it to the lighthouse because I kept blowing them up somehow. And if you're then going to ask me, Ben, how on earth did you blow up a set of stairs? Don't ask. But I did it three times. Somehow. And I don't want to talk about it. Alright, let's go and get the shovel. Why are stairs vehicles? That's a fantastic question. But yeah, this set of stairs here is a vehicle that you need to hand in. And not only that, but they also apparently have a have an engine. So if you damage them too much, the engine blows up. Which I didn't know. But yeah, pretty epic. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna take off this way to be so. Get up. Yeah, it's technically because it's a trailer, you, you can tow it with the baggage handler. So I also need to hand, it, hand in like boxes of luggage and stuff as well, because you can tow those. Did someone actually root this? Yes, but I'm not using the root. I'm just winging it. Because I'm not a sweaty little tryhard. 
But yeah, the world record for this is like 18 hours or something ridiculous. It's gonna take me way longer. Ah, no! We're at 75, we're, ma we're making solid progress. Pretty happy with my progress so far. If you think the bag box is a bad, just wait until you need to get a tractor, drive all the way to the desert to tow a farm plow and then deliver it. Ah, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Alright, I guess we'll head back to the docks now and just keep seeing what, what we can get. Ooh, a Broadway. I know this other fix spawn, but whatever. May as well take it now. Are the bridges open at the start for this mod? Uh, no, I will have to do missions to unlock them. Not only will I have to do missions to unlock the bridges, but I'll also have to do missions to unlock certain vehicles. For example, there's a tank in the final mission that only spawns on that mission. So I have to beat basically the entire game as well for this challenge. On top of all the vehicles. So that's why it takes so long. Can you grab the stairs under the vehicles with a magnetic chopper? Fantastic question. No idea. Absolutely no clue. It's the the <sighs> Alright, 76. Oh, you know what? Actually, I want to try and go south again onto that road and try and get another forklift because that was something I forgot to get. I still don't have it. Well, I didn't forget to get it. I just never had the chance to grab one. It was never a convenient time. But I want one now. It was in the next little underground section here, I think. Was it? No, it was this next one down here, I think. Yeah, it was. All right, everyone keep your eyes out for cool shit. Specifically, ideally a forklift. There is a disturbing lack of forklifts right now. Where my forklifts at? They spawned every single time I couldn't grab one. What a piece of shit, man. Oops. All right, fuck him. Ow. I looked away for one second. I don't remember forklifts spawning here. Neither do I, but then they did. Ooh, this is a tug. This is what everyone was talking about, right? Tug. Yeah. Okay, so can I tow anything with this? Like, is there anything convenient that I can tow? While I'm driving this slow ass fucking thing back? No, okay. I'll just drive it back then. Ooh, Trash Master. Actually, I probably, the tow is probably better than the Trash Master, I think. The tug, even. Dude, this thing's fucking zoomy. Wait, hold up. Yo, check this. Check this. Let me try that again. If I can aggro this guy, I can make him drive with me. Asshole. Get aggressive. Shit. Yeah? No, he, he doesn't give a fuck about me. Understandable, have it. I am so sorry. I don't know why I just, oh, now this guy's gonna, no, no. I need to, I need to deal with this guy. <laughs> Otherwise, he's going to fuck me up. Ideally, not when there's a cop right there. Alright. Wait, it's still... What the fuck? Yo, let me out. Fuck you. All right, let's uh, let's let, let's cut our losses and just get back. Yeah, I, I shot the wrong guy. <laughs> Bro just got a stray fucking shotgun to the head. It it happens, honestly. You know, you're driving around in America, you want to expect a few shotgun shells flying your way every now and again. That's all I'm gonna say. Sorry, officer, I was trying to murder somebody else, you know. 
I was trying to murder somebody else who, in my defense, was aggroed at me for no reason. The only reason was because I pulled out in front of them. Bah, ma'am. Oh, I am so sorry. Yo, put that fucking bat down, bro. It doesn't go fast enough to despawn any traffic, which is the funniest part. Usually you could do this without worrying about cars spawning in front of you, but you don't have that. Just the sound of running over innocence. Sorry. Alright. I still want, um... I still want a forklift. I want a trash master. Those are the two things that I want right now. It's a pony, right? I'd already have this. Yeah. Oh, ZR, yo! I'm pretty sure these are fairly rare right now. Kinda want this. Maybe I can even aggro one? Aggro? Is that guy aggroed onto me or not? He is. Why is this guy aggroed onto me? This guy, come after me. Do I have a rumpo? I have a burrito. Do I have a rumpo? No, I don't. So it's just burritos. I have a utility van. I'm having to look out for all vans. What are they? These are rumpos, right? Bro, fuck off, officer. Come after me. Every fucking person I don't want to be aggro to me is aggro to me right now. You. Yeah? Good. Let's go. Come on. This way. Let's go. Is that a trash master? What is that? It is a trash master, I think. Yeah, I want this. Be aggro? I think it's aggro. Let's go. Is it aggro or not? I, I legit can't tell because it's just stun lock. It is, let's go. Yes. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Hey! Bro, what the fuck? He just stopped caring about me. Oh, no, he didn't. What the hell? What is bro doing? All right, now he's coming after me again. What the fuck? He just, he just got really confused. Dude! This guy just won't drive in a straight line for some fucking weird reason. But now, look, now he's, like, right up my ass. Ah, yes. <laughs> From lightly smoking to instantly on fire. Good game. Don't flip, please. I don't really care about the ZR because it's easy enough to get. I want this. Actually, I should just steal this because this guy is fucking me off. He's going to flip before he gets to me, look. Just give me the fucking truck, man. Give me that fucking Jesus fucking Christ. Whatever, at, le at least I got a trash master out of it. But I would have liked to keep the ZR, but this game's just fucked. Looks like you still need a Solaire? What is a Solaire? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, Pony, I know. I was driving a ZR, no? A ZR 350 or whatever. Or do you mean the car that I picked up after the ZR? 
Oh, I didn't even pay attention to what that was. I had no idea. So I, I have no idea what it looks like. Because I picked it up and I wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> no idea. You ain't gonna cry. Brick shaped station wagon. Okay, another question for you that might sound a bit more dumb. What's a station wagon? What does that mean? It was just right there right now. For fuck's sake. I don't know what it looks like, man. I don't know what a station wagon is. Think of a Volvo? Okay, that helps a bit. Like this? This looks like a Volvo. Yeah. Rasmus, my boy. R Rasmus, Rasmus knows me. You're all like, ah, oh, yes, a station wagon. I don't know what the fuck that means. Rasmus comes in clutch. The Volvo. Almost at 80 vehicles. What station wagon in British English? I don't know because I still don't know what a fucking station wagon is. <laughs> like, I look at that car, it's just like a big car. Like a, a big family car? Like, I don't know. A state? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know cars that well. So you guys could be talking bollocks for all I know. I have no fucking clue. Alright, let's try and get some more vans. Because, yeah, I need a pony. I need a rumpo. And with any luck... Like, this makes me think, should I go and get this? Because it might be a bus. So this is this has a door, like, here. So you're saying that the buses have doors, like, here. At the front, right? And they have bigger windows, I think somebody says. Something like that? Yeah, okay, I'll keep, I'll keep an eye out. Oh, the coach has the bigger windows. Okay, so I need smaller windows and different door placement. So that's still a coach, that looks the same as the other one. Yeah, and door, doors in the front, smaller windows. Got you. Not to be dramatic, but if I don't get a forklift right now, I wanna fucking break down. Forklift has a fixed spawn in the docks. I don't want that spawn, I want this spawn. Like six of them spawned here before. I know they did, I'm not going nuts. Oh my god, dude, fucking move, you clown. But now they just don't spawn. I don't know what vehicle I was in to make these fucking things spawn. But they were so common in whatever I was driving. Maybe the baggage handle? Oh! Mummy! Come back here. Never seen a forklift here, Heather? Well, now you have. Get your ass fucking back here. Yeah, you slow down. And look, now that is fucking loads of them. And by loads, I mean one. Let's go. Yeah, it's a fast forklift. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, you can only really drive this thing like 20 miles an hour. But the AI, if it's on like the big road, it's... They can drive it like 100 miles an hour. It's so dumb. Alright, let's try and not flip this thing. Because this thing is actually kind of easy to flip. It's kind of like bouncy, as you can see. And it's very easy to spin out as well. Did CJ get his forklift certification in Liberty City? That's a great question. A any law masters? Can CJ canonically drive a forklift? Get a tug and lift it up with the forklift? Bro. I end up just like dropping it in the ocean or something. Something dumb. He's really good with the forklift. Hopefully that forklift skill comes in handy at some point. Yeah, hopefully. Whoops. Oh. Big 80. Alright. Uh, what's next? What else do I need? There was something else that I wanted to get near the airport. Aside from the bus, obviously. I don't know what it was. Do I have a sabre? I don't have a sabre. Yoink. I already have a tug. I did that. Excuse me.
up to three hundred thousand dollars for starting the first mission. Real shit. This mod gives you too much money. I'm pretty sure if this was GTA 3 with 81 vehicles, I'd already be done. And PC, I'd be pretty damn close to. What's the referred route to get a hot knife? Gold, driving school, or vigilante? I want to avoid vigilante as much as possible because it's just. It's too luck based. Like, there's so many different cars. Sorry, uh. Wow. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> well, luckily, I'm not submitting this to the leaderboards. Because I am not fucking doing that again. Somehow, I inputted a cheat. I don't know what cheat it was. Hopefully, it was just like a weather cheat or something that doesn't... Um... You know, something that doesn't actually impact the game. Yeah. To anyone who doesn't know, if you're playing San Andreas perfectly normally, it is entirely possible that you can just input a cheat by complete accident. Because this game is really good. And yeah, like certain combination of cheats can be activated with just W, A, S, and D. So, yeah. Hopefully that didn't fuck with my game too much. It's definitely something to do with these, look, because all the peds are in beach attire, look. Yeah. What I'll do is on the next car I deliver, I'll save in a new slot and I'll, um... What am I going to do? I'm going to save in a new slot and I'll restart the game to get rid of the cheat effect, hopefully. You're gonna need to disable that. Is it gonna fuck with the weather, I guess? Under the weather, the, the spawns? Like the cars? Do you think? It fucks with the traffic? Um, when was the last time I saved? What did I, what did I deliver before I saved? I think I didn't deliver the forklift or anything, right? I guess I'll just go ahead and... Restart the game. Does it stay with the save? Like if I if I save and restart the game, will it still be beach traffic? Ah oh, fuck. Well, this is why we save often. I guess. May fuck with the files, oh, maybe. Yeah, five minutes isn't too much. Actually, yeah, I should just I should just load. You're right. It's not that much progress lost. What did I lose? I lost the forklift, I think. No, I didn't lose the forklift. What did I lose? Saber? I think I just lost a saber. Everyone have a look at the list and see if there's anything that else that I lost. I'm pretty sure it's just a saber because it was 81 and now it's 80. So that's fine. A saber is surely fine, right? Like, I can surely get a saber somewhere. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty common vehicle. Life's a beach, how did you WASD this? So, the way it works is that SA cheats are actually hashed. So, when you think of life's a beach, there isn't actually just one way to enter that cheat, which is typing life's a beach, right? There are actually like dozens of ways to enter every single cheat. So some of the cheats, such as life's a beach, have a hash that you can enter the cheat, like a substitute, that is just WAS and D. It's just all fucking stupid. This game is wank. Yeah, so if you think of Iso Yam, which is like the, oh, you get like 250k full health and armor, that is just a hash. The actual cheat that you're supposed to and intended to type in is I need some help. But he so yam is just the hash that everybody uses, but it's not the correct cheat. It just happens to be the one that everyone remembers. So yeah, it's weird. 
All right, everyone keep an eye out for vans and stuff. I need vans. My voice keeps cracking because I'm... Like, my throat hurts so much. I don't know why. Ooh, a tanker. Or whatever this is. Lime runner or whatever. Yeah, I have a box fill, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I just don't have the burglar on. Holy shit, my voice just won't stop cracking. I'm like a fucking prepubescent teenager, man. COVID symptom? If that's my only COVID symptom, I'll be happy. Now my, my voice cracks pretty pretty regularly anyway, to be honest. Like, anyone who knows me well will know that my voice cracks pretty frequently. And it's so weird, because it never used to crack when I was actually going through puberty. It's only now that I'm, you know, in my 20s that my voice cracks all the fucking time. It's so weird. It's like I'm going backwards. I'm so paranoid with SA, yeah. In hindsight, I should have, um... Did I just get myself stuck? Bro, fuck this place! I need to stop driving through here with fast vehicles, man. I keep forgetting. Again, like, it shouldn't let you halfway through. You should just hit it, but you just clip through it and get fucking stuck. Because SA. Like, in a normal game, that wouldn't be a problem. And how did I get under all of these but then get stuck on the last fucking one? For fuck's sake. Yeah, I was gonna say, in hindsight, I should have set up AHK to avoid WASD cheats. But I couldn't have possibly predicted that I would have input a fucking WASD cheat within two hours of playing casually. So you get that same truck with a trailer. That's kind of a good point, actually. You know what? You just made a great point. All right, I'll ignore big trucks then and just go for vans. I need a pony and a rumpo and a packer, actually. Oink. All right, I guess we go on the outside. Yeah, I think we go on the outside for this. Because apparently you can just go along like the gravel around the outside, so let's have a look. You can move the ramp thingy on the packer? What do you mean move it? How? Oh, I can just go this way. Hopefully. Oh, nice. Yeah, if we got a tall vehicle, I guess just do this. With the forklift controls? I'm pressing the forklift controls. Nothing's happening. Unless it's... No. Doesn't do anything. I'm pressing numpad. Hydra controls. Yeah, which is numpad, right? Yeah, num 8, num 2... Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Oh wait, is that doing it? Oh yeah, there we go. It actually was moving, I just couldn't tell. Because I was just pressing it. Yeah. It was moving the whole time. I just couldn't tell. That's cool. I didn't know that you could do that. You idiot! You can just lift it up this way, I think. Yeah. Wow. Don't flip. After 20 years. Yeah. Be honest. Who knew you could do that? Which ones of you knew that? Be honest. I'll know if you're lying. Type me smiley face in the chat if you knew. 
You guys were pretty honest before, so. You guys have been honest. The last time I asked something like that, I shit you not, literally every single person in my chat was like, oh yeah, I knew that. I think it was like a random chainsaw spawn. It was like, oh yeah, just everyone knows that. Like, no you fucking don't, you bunch of liars. But this chat is, uh, is full of truthers. I respect it. Moonbeam I have. Do you need an Andromeda? No, I don't. Because you can't at obtain that legitimately without heavy glitches or cheats. The same reason you don't need an FBI truck as well, because same reason. Is that Hermes? Do I have that? I don't have a Hermes. Yunk. That's another burrito, I think. Dickhead. Wait, no, that's a pony, right? Is it? Did you steal your license? What is this van? Any Noahs? This might be a pony. Either way, it's coming with me. It's a burrito? Fuck. Oh, well, it's coming with me. I didn't see anything better, so... I'll probably just beat it eventually if I keep driving. Yeah, it's gone. I swear I heard another AK then. I, I don't know if I'm going nuts or what, but twice now when I've been through this area, I can hear somebody shooting an AK. And I feel like nobody else is hearing it and I'm going fucking mental, but I swear to you. AK is an ambient sound. So you just hear random AKs? So it is literally that I'm hearing things, because it's not real, it's just like ambient weird sounds. I'm literally just, just making it up. That's messed up, man. It's always in the same area too. Which is like what proper freaks me out. I'm not even sure it's worth me looking out on this specific traffic anymore, because I feel like I have everything. Like, I don't know if anything could even spawn there that would be useful to me at this point. So I'm kind of paying like half attention, but also kind of not. A bus? Well, I, I definitely pay attention if something that looked like a bus spawned. But I just mean like, you know, regular cars. My hope is that I've, if I get into a burrito, it will spawn more vans. That's my, it's my idea here. Just more box fills. Bro, I just need a Rumpo or a Pony. I saw so many of them before and now they're just not spawning for some weird reason. Don't know why. And there was also that one as well that has like the... I don't know how to describe it, but if I see one, I'll point it out. It, it's a van that isn't like any of these vans that I'm... Oh, a Rumpo. There we go. That's what I want. Yeah, it's it's a van that has like it basically looks like a car, but then it has like an extra bit on top of it. It's kinda hard to explain. Oh, man. But Rumpo is good. Yeah, when I see it, I'll point out the van that I'm talking about. And Benson, that's it, yeah. There were Bensons as well that I need, but I haven't seen one in ages. I'm pretty sure it's a ben Benson that I'm referring to. Yeah, that thing over there, I think. Either Walton too? Yeah, I do. Did you get the Moonbeam? Yes. Can I get this guy to aggro to him? Yeah. I think I need this, right? Is this a Benson or is this something else? Whatever it is, I think I need it. This strat is actually so huge. It's saving so much time. Don't push me into the water, you bastard. Fuck you! Oh, you fucking dickhead. I was just saying about how good the strat is, and then I fucking eat my words immediately and lose both the cars. Unbelievable.
The strat works so well until you get stun locked, and even though you're hitting the brakes, you just can't stall. Yeah, and the peds do absolutely everything in their power and even die just for the sake of costing me time. Insane, man. Well, there goes like fucking 10 minutes. I just need to start slowing down way earlier, I guess. Because that worked fine every single time and then all of a sudden that guy just would not stop. Like he just perfectly driving into me to stun lock me all the way into the water. God, I wish I could catch up this van. That would be awesome. Unfortunately for me, he's going literally fucking 600 miles an hour. I need that shit you drive. Is that a Wayfarer that I just saw? It is. Since when do Wayfarers spawn here? I mean, I'll take it. I feel like that is a very rare spawn. I, I haven't seen that at all. Yeah, Convoy. Those are rare, right? I'm pretty sure. Those are pretty damn rare. I want to make the most of that. That's a good pickup. I'm actually quite happy about that. Now will we finally get the Rumpo? Stay tuned. Hey, look, a saber. Fuck off, man. I wish I can get another early spawn like I did before. Like that. Thanks, lady. The coach, I think. Sorry. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Cheers. Thank you. Sorry. I couldn't really do a lot about that. I couldn't turn across in time. This car's too fucking slow. Yeah, sorry. M missed the exit, yeah. That's another burrito, I think. Yeah, highway traffic is fucking cracked, man. Yo? This is rare, I think. I'm not even going to risk messing about with fucking... I'm growing this guy. I'm just gonna drive it. I think this is rare enough that I should just take it. I feel like I so rarely see security cars on the street that this is a very nice pickup. Do I have some high priority target list? Not really, no. I'm aware of rare vehicles that I should be looking out for. But I don't have a priority list, per se. I'm just winging it. I don't have any kind of written stuff for this at all. So you're getting ready for the Giga Import Export MTA race? That's cheating. I'm doing it legit. Almost halfway there. Yeah, true. What's half of 194? 87? Right? No? 97. Mass is hard. Kind of almost halfway there. Alright, now will we finally get the Rumpo? <laughs> this Rumpo has been completely elusive now. I've found it so many times and I just haven't ended up keeping it for whatever reason. Yeah, S7LV is still closed. I haven't even done a single mission yet. So, yeah, everything is still closed as normal. The game is completely unmodified except the tracker tracking my progress. It doesn't actually modify anything. 
This mod opens it? No. It doesn't touch anything except tracking cars sent to the lighthouse. That's it. Everything else about the game is completely vanilla. If it did modify anything, I wouldn't be using it. Because that would also be cheating. I'm doing this as legit as can be. The tracker is just purely for convenience. At least it has two drop-off points, yeah. Having to drive stuff all the way from LV to LS would be shit. Although it's about the same, to be honest. Going to Bayside, it's so far out the fucking way. That looks like a bus to me. CJ? CJ? C CJ? The door is right there, man. Hello? What the fuck is wrong with you, CJ? Alright. This is one hell of a spawn. Apparently this thing's pretty damn rare, too. CJ hates public transport, yeah. Ah, dear. Alright, let's try and get this back without sinking it. Or getting it stuck. I guess I'll take it round the thing. Dude, I want that cement mixer. I hadn't seen that before either. And of course, now there's vans up the ass as well. Oh, well, this is way more important. Way, way, way more important. I'll go slow driving it around here. All good. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. Also, don't think it was tall enough, but it's not worth getting it stuck when you can just go around. You know, it was not worth it. Not dealing with that traffic jam right there. Fuck that. Fuck off, man. Sorry, officer. You kind of got in my way in my defense. Let's go. That is big. Now, quick, before the game crashes. Save the game. Still no rumpo, but a big picker. Now can we finally get the, the rumpo? <laughs> what is this, like the sixth times the charm now to try and get it without getting sidetracked by something else? Been up finding a pizza boy before getting a rumpo. This game is officially high on mass. Yeah, you're right. I still need to still need to keep a lookout for that. I I have been slacking on paying attention, but I I don't I can only assume one hasn't spawned because someone would have screamed at me. Surely, right? Just in case there is spawn in a mission for a pizza boy. True. Actually, you say that. I know exactly what you mean. You can get it from Ice Cold Killer, can't you? If you blow up Jizzy's Broadway, he gets on a pizza boy. Yeah, that's genius. Is that a Moonbeam or is that a Rumper? I couldn't tell. I'm going to go and chase it down just in case. I think it's a Rumper. And it's a fucking speedy one too. Come back here. Is there any other pizza boy spawns? I don't think so. This thing is legit outpacing me. Look at this. It's legit gaining on me. I had to fucking moonbeam the whole time, for fuck's sake. Legit can't tell the difference when it's that fast and that far away. Oh, an Esperanto. I actually need that. Alright. Fuck the, uh... <laughs> fuck the... <laughs> fuck the Rumpo. Sidetrack number fucking 10. Dock in LS sometimes spawns them. Well, if you just go to the dock, there might, like, randomly be a pizza boy, though. It's seems awfully strange but I mean San Andreas I wouldn't be surprised I've seen weirder things in this game they drive around in that area not even not even gonna question it San Andreas has been San Andreas because of course there would be pizza boys at the docks right okay <laughs> of course why didn't I think of that 
It's so weird. Spawns are always so far. It's in the same group as the trash master on the bus. Right. So if I see one of those and I'm looking specifically for the pizza boy, I should enter it to try and you know keep that group around. Good to know. Oops, I took that extremely wide for some odd reason. That won't work. Oh. Coins are a very trustworthy wiki. Yeah, I, with all due respect, as soon as you said wiki, I stopped reading that message. Not because of you, particularly, but because the wiki, useless. Absolutely fucking useless. GTA base. Dude, it's all the same. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if GTA base just takes this information from the fucking wiki. <laughs> like, it, it's all the same garbage. Coincident, the pizza boy is marked as extremely rare in the config and it's forcibly unloaded as soon as it spawns. Why? To stop them being like multiples of them, I guess, but who cares? Like, it's such a weird restriction. Alright, keep your eye out for rumpos and ponies. It's literally copy and paste within a wiki, I knew it. Like, most places do that, that try and be alternatives to the wiki. They just steal all their information, whether it's factual or not, from the fucking wiki. They're just equally as useless. You missed one like a minute ago. Whoops. It's hard to keep concentration the entire time in my defense. Constantly looking out for vehicles. Shit's hard. I don't know what this is, but I need it. Give me this. I don't know what these things are called, but I want one. A DFT-30. Yoink. Oh yeah, why does it have five wheels? Look at that, that's weird. Two on the back on one side and one on the other side. That's really weird. PC version bug. Wait, so on PS2 it doesn't have five wheels? <laughs> It's even more strange. I just saw a little bit of red tumble on the other side of the road and I immediately felt a sinking feeling in my heart. Are you telling me that I've missed a pizza boy? I did see a red bike, but it was a PCJ, I think. I think I'm good so far. Made a clip of it. I'll check it after stream. No point depressing myself just yet. It was a pizza boy, was it actually? Oh, fuck. Well, that's depressing. I wasn't even paying attention. Well, now we'll never get one ever again and I'll get eternally punished for not seeing one vehicle in the entire, like, I must have looked at like 10,000 vehicles so far in this playthrough. And I miss one and it's a fucking piece of one. Classic. Oh well. Can't be too harsh on myself, because yeah, this shit's hard. And yeah, seemingly nobody else noticed, so... It can't have been the... The easiest one to spot, because nobody else saw it. But yeah, it, it's all good. I'll keep my eyes peeled for another one. <laughs> Although it's, I don't think it can spawn for a while, right? I think. It's like when you're looking out for other specific vehicles, you just blank out all the other ones, you know? Like when I'm looking for a Rumpo, I don't give a fuck about the bikes. I'm not even looking at them. Yeah, you just tunnel vision on shit. That's what I mean. Why do you only have LV car ca left on the list? So when I crashed, I got back to where I was by using Z menu trainer to spawn in all the cars, right? Like start a new game and spawned in all the cars that I'd collected so far. And I didn't know. I'm losing patience fast, bro. Now don't make this get really ugly. 
Not only did I find one pizza boy, I found two pizza boys before I got the fucking rumpo. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit, dude. And I didn't miss it this time. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying? So, I didn't know that the San Fierro police car and the Los Santos police car were the same thing. So I just spawned in a San Fierro police car, assuming that it would count for both. And I didn't realize that there were two separate vehicles. So I was like, well, it would look weird to not have an LS one, but have an SF one. So I just delivered both of them. So then what I'll do when I unlock San Fierro, the first thing I'll do is I'll go and grab a San Fierro police car and I'll drive it to the lighthouse, even though it won't count because I've already done it. But just to say that I've, you know, I've physically done it, right? Like I, I've, I've actually driven the vehicle there. So then we'll be back even, if that makes sense. Yeah, the poor guy's delivering pizzas at 4am and I just come along and fucking carjack his ass. What a rough day. Dude, I'm so happy about this. Very happy about this one. Like, just about to get depressed that I missed it, and then... Nice to get another one. Let's go. That's huge. Now I'm definitely saving. So many missions are you going to try and complete today? I was going to try and do missions at the start of the stream. And then I just never did. And I'm probably not going to do any. Nice fucking... aneurysm inducing fucking lightning, dude. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna call it pretty soon because I'm pretty tired. So I'm gonna do a couple more cars. Hopefully get the vans with any luck, the rumpo and the pony and stuff, and then I'll call it, I think. Yeah, we're close to halfway, which is nice. Close to halfway without doing any missions is pretty good. I was expecting to maybe get like a quarter of the way through before starting missions. So Alright. I might have already missed a Rumpo, excuse me if I did. I'm now looking for one. As of right now. Rumpo Pony. Bro, is there a better place I can go? Like, should I go further down here? This raid, this road was really good before. This is a, I need this. It's a Benson, right? Why does this van have truck sounds? That's a that's a fantastic question, I will not lie. Sadly, I do not have an answer for you. Legit finding everything but the common stuff. Pick this. Please give me a rump on the way back. That'd be so nice. Look at this forklift guy keeping up with me. Ain't no way. Look at his ass, he's having to slow down for me. He's gonna undertake me. He's legit having to slow down for me. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Unreal. Excuse me. I'm gonna go and get the rumpo and I'm gonna call it a night. And I will get the rumpo. Opium. If I don't get the rumpo, then I'll just take whatever. But it's gonna be the rumpo. It's just getting a bit silly now. Alright, rumpo. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, what you doing? Bro. Bro. Let's fucking chill out. That guy is legit just flinging me off the map. Alright. Well, good thing I didn't stay in that car. Because he legit launched me off the map. Into the ocean. Madness. Absolutely fucking madness. I'm waking up. Ooh, what is that? That's a rumpo. 
pulling out some of my fucking boys. Let's go. If I flip this now, I'm gonna. Can't think of anything funny to say. That's how you know I'm tired. I'm usually really funny, guys, I promise. Alright. 92. That's where we'll leave it for today, I think. We finally got that fucking Rumpo. We got the Pizza Boy. We got the bus. We got like a Cheetah and Infernus. We got some really good shit. We got the stairs. We got a tug. We got some good shit. I'm happy with that. Today, hopefully, will be more mission based rather than collecting vehicle based because. I haven't done any missions yet, and I need to do some. Let me pull up the list. There we go. But I do want to do one thing first. I want to try and get a pony before I leave the industrial place. Because I don't have a pony yet, and that is one that I want to get from that area. I could also maybe get a Berkeley's RC van if I get lucky, but that is a rare spawn that I'm not banking on by any means. I don't know if there's anything else that I can get reasonably commonly from the uh, the docks area or like the industrial part. I'm honestly not too sure. Yeah, my hope is with any luck that we might be able to lock, unlock San Fierro today. Just handing in the occasional vehicle. But yeah, mainly prioritizing on opening up the map rather than necessarily going for vehicles all of the last two streams like I did before. Yeah, with any luck, we'll get a pony here. That's the one last thing that I want before I leave. Unless I see something else crazy, but I don't know if there's anything else that I really want right now. Getting a disturbingly lack of... disturbing lack of vans. There's a sentinel. Do I have that? Don't have a sentinel. Hey, look, a pizza boy. Luckily, I already have that. Otherwise, that would have been a very nice find. I don't have a sentinel. No, I didn't find Berkeley's van yet. But that's pretty rare, so I'm, I'm gonna be probably looking out for that long term rather than short term, you know? Like, that'll be something that I'll just either get by pure luck just by seeing it or I'll grind it out towards the end of the game the cement mixer I'll try and get this thing to come after me maybe I'd rather have the sentinel than the cement mixer because the cement mixer I can get in a mission I know for a fact I can just store it after San Fierro or after deconstruction sorry Maybe I can get this one. Thanks. He's angry, but not at me, I don't think. Yeah. You hit. Berkeley's van is easy to find in Fort Carson while driving a pony. Yeah, I just need to get a pony first. Is that a Feltzer? I also want this too, if I can. Why is it whenever I want them to aggro to me, they never do? Thought I was a Sanchez for a second. Be angry at me. Fuck you. Again, I'm not too fussing about a Sentinel, because I can get those fairly easily. Yeah, fuck him. Funny spawns in Fort Carson. Potentially dumb question, where is Fort Carson? I don't know where that is. Small town in the desert, okay. I assume hopefully close to Bayside with any luck. Does it have a fixed spawn in Fort Carson? Or does it just regularly spawn there? The other one? So it doesn't have a... Okay, it doesn't have a fixed spawn. 
Is there no fixed spawn for a pon pony at all? I feel like there must be somewhere, right? Because if there is, then I don't really have to care too much about getting one, especially because I have everything else that I want. Thanks, man. But... Appreciate that. I don't know if there is one, which is why I'm trying to get one if possible. You can grab one pony in Lysa Beach. Yeah, but I don't really want to fail the mission to get one. Like, is it really worth it? Yeah, I'd have to, like, destroy it in a garage or just kind of, eh. I don't know if it's worth doing that. I want to get in the baggage handler just to spawn in those kind of vehicles. Because I, I want some different vehicle groups to spawn. And with any luck, this will give me more industrial stuff. But yeah, I, I won't stick around long. If I don't find something, we'll just go and do missions. Did I end up getting a packer? I'm pretty sure I did, right? Yeah. Open top trailer. I just saw that on the list. I don't know what that is. I'll do one more loop. If I don't find it, we'll just go and start doing missions. What is this? What type of van is this? Isn't a Yankee? It's like a mule. I don't have a mule, do I? Yeah, mule. Okay. Well, at least I didn't come here for nothing. But anyway, we'll come out even building spawns something else in. What the fuck was that guy doing? Yeah, that was definitely my fault, man. You just drove across the entire road twice illegally, my bad. My bad, bro. I have the utility vehicle, right? Yeah. Tow truck? Oh, this is a tow truck, not a utility thing. I could maybe steal the tow truck and tow this mule. If I can catch it, because it's so fucking fast. Yeah, average Yankee driver. Yeah. Can I even catch this thing? I'll have to wait for it to go off the thing, I guess. Because they drive so much faster than me on the fucking highway. And he's going to stay on. What a bastard. Turn off. Cut the corner. Catch his ass. No, he's going to go like all the way around to LS. You fucking prick. I drive on the path, I'll be faster. Ooh! This is so not worth it. <laughs> no, I didn't see there was a fucking barricade there. No, don't escape me, you fucking prick. Don't you dare. This thing is so slow and it fucking despawns. Fuck off. I couldn't see that there was a barrier because it looks exactly the same as the floor. So I had no idea where it was. Fuck's sake. I fought it all the fucking way. Just to lose it. Ah, oh, Fuck me. Not a great start, but at least we got a mule. But I would have preferred two cars. Especially after chasing it all that fucking way. It was so unfortunate that it didn't turn off. It had so many chances to. And of course, it just decides to go all the way on the fast lane where I can't catch it. Fucking bastard. Where do I even go now? I need to get back. I need to go this way. Like, you're going to use that tow truck for Michelle's monster anyway? Why can I not drive the monster truck? Uh, I'm going to go the other way for this. Might be a bit tall. Michelle's monster is locked. Okay. Is it just a monster truck? Or is it a specific monster truck? I assume it's the one with the checker or the flag on it, right? Specific. Gotcha. So, yeah. So, instead of doing all the progress, we just, like, spawn it in and tow it. Right? That makes sense. Except the bandito because it doesn't have doors. Yeah, it can't be locked if it doesn't have doors. So where do you get the other monster truck from? There's the regular one. Then there's the 
one of them, which I assume is um, Michelle's. And then where do you get number three from? Because there's a third one. Is that from like Stadium maybe or something? Oh, is that the other one that spawns just over there? Okay, got you. Good to know. All right, fuck the pony. Let's go and do some. Uh, let's go and do some missions. All right, so yeah, we'll we'll start slowly making our way back, to do missions and stuff, and then if there's any interesting vehicles, you'll have to yell at me. There's a trailer there as well. That was what somebody was talking about before, I guess. But I'll need to get the. Can someone also remind me where the slam van spawned? Because that spawns in LS, right? And that's a rare vehicle. This is where the Broadway is. Yeah. I already have it. Slam van spawns randomly. I'm pretty sure there is a spawn though, right? Oh wait, no, the spawn is an import-export spawn, so I can't get it now anyway. Hey, look, the line. And we've been playing for ages. Yeah, import, sorry. Gotcha. All right, let's see some missions. Follow my lead. Haven't done missions in this game in a while. Starting with 400,000. Casually four hours in starts the story, yeah. This is also a good thing to look for certain cars as well. Because we're going to be seeing a lot of them. So we might see something interesting that I can hand in. But obviously I'm so far away from the lighthouse right now. So I might be better off just doing, just spamming missions until I'm near like OG Loke's place, you know? Because then I'll be near the lighthouse. Yeah, start a save moment, yeah. I'll make a replay as well. Hopefully it doesn't crash my fucking game. Oops. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was trying to get pistol skill. Uh, at least we can hand in the ambulance now. That was that was tactical. It was tactical. It was tactical, okay? I didn't know the fucking gas tank was on the front of a police bike, is it? Man, this mission's hard. Alright, let's go hand this in. That was just unlucky, what can we say? So the UK have the big box ambulances, like the one you're driving now. They have these, and then they also have, like, car ambulances, like, that don't transport people, but just transport, like, medical supplies. So, you know, if you break your leg, you get sent around in this ambulance. But if you, like have some kind of injury that can be treated at the scene, they'll just send, like, a car to you. I see yeah. one more winner. Lots of merits about which you need, but hard to describe. Oh, yeah, I don't have a merit. I, I know what a merit looks like. Because, yeah, the 555 car. Um, I wasn't really paying attention. I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it. Good shout, though. Like, I saw them, and I just assumed that I had them, to be honest. I, I want to go and get the fire truck as well. No. I'll try and remember where it is. Actually, I could get the fire truck. No, because then I'd be driving it. I was going to say I can get it during Big Smoke, but I'd be driving it the opposite way. to where I need it to be. The fire truck is like... Over here, right? At like the entrance to... The big freeway. I don't remember what it's called. But like goes down. Look where you go. Yeah. We'll get this now while we're here. Why not? Because you don't have it, right? Yeah. There's a fire truck with a ladder as well. How do I get that? Do I have to, like, somehow smuggle it out of end of the line three? Bustling daft. An enforcer can be delivered in LS while the maximum wanted level is limited to four stars. How do you even get an enforcer in LS? Oh, there's a fixed spawn in San Fierro. Okay, good to know. Good to know. 
Yeah, how do you get an enforcer? Just get four stars. Oh, right, of course, yeah. I'm fucking dumb. It spawns with... For some reason, I had in my head that, I, that you needed five. Yeah, I'm very dumb. Favorite PS2 games? Um, good question. Obviously, the GTA ones that were on PS2 are up there. Uh, Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Pretty good. Dog's Life. Biblical game. What else? Tony Hawk's, obviously. Thor, Thug 1, Thug 2. Um, there's probably other ones that I can't think of off the top of my head. I just played Dog's Life. Dog's Life is a fucking great game. Garfield on PS2 goes hard. The only Garfield game I've played is, a. Uh, Garfield Kart, and that game gives me nightmares. Garfield game received very poor ratings. Oh dear. Maybe I'll have to give it a try. Maybe it's a so bad it's good kind of thing, you know? It is a very in... It is a very good uh, party game, you're right. I just suck at it, and that's why I hate it. I hate all the games I'm bad at, and I like all the games I'm good at. Simple as that. Install this. Just have a load of bikes and still can't beat Big Smoke. Alright, let's try and not fail this mission this time. That would be a good start. Yeah, it is nice to see a lot of games doing couch multiplayer. For sure. Even games that were notorious for couch multiplayer now just don't include them, like fucking Halo and shit. Halo Infinite, just no fucking car, uh, couch car. But yeah, well, that thing that you liked as a kid, fuck you. Yeah, I get why they don't include it. Because of the fact that people don't play couch co-op that much anymore. But This guy is actually lasering me. I have bike aim and he's just not stopping shooting me. Just rapid firing me and doing all my hell. I'm not necessarily against game companies who don't include couch co-op, but when you market it and it's a big part of your franchise and then you don't fucking include it in the game, then, you know, don't be surprised when you get backlash, you know? That's all I'll say on it. Like number three, why not? I can easily afford the safe house next to Lysa Beach, even if I'm not in time anyway, so I don't give a fuck. And we could even get the most expensive haircut. Insane. Yeah, I never played uh, on the Kinect, but I always enjoyed a good Wii game. Uh, Comrades, I guess, yeah. I wonder if Connect is meant to be like a goofy spelling of Connect. I mean, yeah, I think that's a pretty blatant one. Don't you? I don't think it was a mis you know, unintentional. We'd even get some mega food as well. To keep our fat up because we're going to be not eating probably much. I'll buy like five. Enjoy, sir. Oh, we'll do six. CJ's being good. He deserves another pizza. Oh, I'm pressing D instead of F. Whoops. C CJ, the absolute the fucking no pushover. dickhead. Just fucking eating at the, uh, at the counter right in front of the guy. What a knobhead. sweet. Yeah, he's just that hungry. About that graffiti too. Later, homie. Hey. <laughs> yeah. CJ's got a hell of a life. You go get him, and I'll keep the engine running. Oh, you gonna leave me dry mouth? 
cop here might cuck me. Yeah. here is memeing me. Like two pizzas, thirty centimeters after long bike rides. Two twelve-inch pizzas. Fucking hell. I mean, if you've just done mega exercise, it makes sense, I suppose. But do you not get bored of pizza after, like, you know, the first twelve-inch pizza? <laughs> you hit this up here, and I go up and do another hood. Like, not even the calories, but it's just so much like fucking dough to eat at once. I don't know if I'd be able to stomach that. That was cringe. But I tried my best and that's all that matters. Give me two stars, so I probably shouldn't have done that in hindsight. Fuck off, cunt. Give me some more pistol ammo. Cheers. I'm too hungry to think about it. Yeah, fair enough. You don't realize until you actually deal with them how fucking cheap those cops on with the pistols on the bikes are. They can just literally rapid fire you. Like a fucking machine gun. And they can just like 100 to 0 you if you're not careful. And like, I don't know if it's fucking bugged or what, but they shouldn't be able to shoot that fast while also riding a bike and like catching up to you perfectly as well. It's super fucking weird. I'll catch up with you. The handshake of cringe. Hey, beat up is only a couple of blocks away. I guess I could have even taken that cop car. Since you don't have to take the green one. Huh? Yeah, you try to get any of these crackheads to help you out. How adventurous how adventurous are pizza toppings where you guys at? I mean no as far as I know. Pizza's are very boring here compared to most places. I was supposed to shoot this guy first. Whatever. How's it going? It's going well. Four and a half hours in, finally starting missions, which is pretty good. I just legit have perma two stars in this fucking playthrough. Man. Man, you can smell a crack den a mile away. Yeah, let's shoot through and introduce ourselves. Speaking of that hustle, Josh did say the like a few weeks ago that he had like an entire kebab and chips meal on a pizza. Which sounds fucking repulsive to be honest with you. But I would say that's pretty out there, like an entire takeaway meal on top of your pizza. That's pretty fucking pretty epic. Bike number four, baby. Let's go. Getting a nice collection. Where you off to? What's the I'll start again, to be so. You saw more than four. I think once you get to pushing more than four, then they start despawning, I think. So I'm not going to do any more than four. Carl, you dry. Smoke serious the most out there pizza I've had is like garlic chicken with peas and french fries. I'm on. Garlic chicken peas. Like like the vegetables. Next time that's one up for the grow. Chicken and peas on pizza. It's fucking weird. What? My vehicle disappeared in this garage anyway to avoid that. Was it just the one vehicle or did you have several in there? Because I don't think they should despawn unless you have too many vehicles in there. But I have heard stories of it happening. I don't know how to avoid it, personally. Assuming that you weren't, like, cramming in seven cars in. Which is obviously going to despawn the car. Yeah, Momo, I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah, it could have also been an efficient mission vehicle as well. It's true. If you read the book... Two cars and a bike in there. Two cars and a bike sounds like a lot for that small ass garage. That might be why, but honestly, I, I don't know. I'm the wrong person to ask, sorry. This looks intense. Eh, it's fine. 
Yeah, that's real, bro. There's definitely room for it, for it to get intense later, though, for sure. Cap your ass and your ass. You want some too? Ice cold, baby. Tato, check drink OG low. That's a good shout. Check out special agent. Because I'd end it right next to the lighthouse, right? So I could get it pretty easily. Hand it in. I'll definitely keep an eye out for one. Remind me when I get there. Otherwise, I'll forget. Damn, you're a killer, baby. Ice cold. Just a rumper. Look, it's a pizza boy. Do you see that? He was going into that back garden. People have to open their eyes and their hearts, CJ. I feel like I'm seeing. No, I've already. Uh, no, I've already got the pizza boy, so it doesn't matter if I see one. Uh, hello? The game just tapped me out for no reason. I thought my fucking game crashed. At least you still talking shit. But thankfully, it just tapped me out. Who, me? No. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I'm seeing Pizza Boys constantly now they don't matter anymore. Yeah, I saw the Pizza Boy and it just fucking broke my game. I know I can get rare vehicles with vigilante abuse, but it takes a lot of luck, and I don't really enjoy sitting there just spamming vigilante. So I'd like to avoid it as much as possible. Well, for Euros, it might be worth it. Yeah, but I might have to sit there for hours, Caster, just trying to spawn it in, like... I'd rather just play the game than sit there and spam it for Vigilante. It just doesn't sound fun. It's what I mean. Uh, I could probably swap this out for a BF, actually. Because a cop bike is like basically a fucking BF anyway. Which one is a BF, this one? Yeah, I'd rather just play the game properly, to be honest. I don't really care about doing, uh... Whatever. I kind of forgot the route. I'm supposed to do, uh, OG Loc, but... Doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do import-export anyway for some cars to have fixed spawns, so... I feel like I may as well just do it. To be honest. Needed export only for Euros. Well, not really, because I also need it for things like slam vans and stuff to have fixed spawns. Because, yeah, I, I might find a slam van just randomly. But it's very unlikely, and I'd rather not base things on luck. Because it makes it very hard to plan things out and route stuff if you're just using pure luck. As you're like, Hmm, yes, I will get lucky and get this car, and then I will do this. Like, no. Slam van spawns everywhere, don't worry. Yeah, man. Yeah, I need to go and do a uh, OG Loc. I'm going to save three times and hopefully set the time to where I can do OG Loc. I didn't have enough time to deliver the tornado and get one and then start Lysa Beach with any luck. 10 minutes should be fine. Like a PCJ replay, why not? Ooh, chase me, chase me. Right, remind me to look for a tornado once I kill this guy. They should spawn around here, right? Or like, maybe a bit further south. Keep the chase going to more Holland intersection. Great time to tell me that after hey, I've literally bus. while I'm shooting the guy. Damn, Unlucky. I'm I didn't ignore him, I just I was already fucking killing him. Yeah, cast a delay. Right, whereabouts the tornado spawn? 
They spawn like north, right? Because I did it in the joint, it's real now. Yeah, I guess it is. Gangster. Like northeast. Everyone keep your eyes peeled for a car that kind of looks like a voodoo, but more stylish. Now you missed out on this Sam Fury exclusive car. Well, I didn't know. I feel like I'm not in the right place, but I swear they spawn here somewhere. On the east side. Because the Vargos are spawning, which means I'm in a Vargos hood. And Tornado is a Vargos car, I'm pretty, pretty sure. But they're all just spawning in fucking Oceanics or whatever. Does it matter if you change cars? I could maybe get into an Oceanic. Would that help? I have no idea. I'm back in Bola's turf again. You can fail and try again for Manana. Nah, fuck that. It's not worth it. I'll do one last loop. Hermes. Maybe if I get in a Hermes. Now there's nothing but Hermes. Which is like, you know. This is my car. I'm just getting all the cars that I don't want. I mean, yeah, I guess I could fail it and get the manana, but I don't know. I feel like I've committed so hard now. Oh, well, fuck it. We'll get it during gang territories, I guess. I tried. We'll drive through the place. Hope we spot one. But we just got every car except the one that we wanted, sadly. Oh, well. What can you do? I'm hoping that at least as a consolation prize, we find something. In hindsight, I could have taken, like, the fire truck now. Grabbed it on the way and delivered it. After the mission. Whereas if I find nothing, I've just done this drive for no reason. Like, I haven't got anything to show for it. Which is sad. Well. Fuck me, I guess. Thanks for the ride, CJ. Don't be a what goes the SSS, yeah, SSS, sure. SSSA SSSSA challenge? Uh, it's like going pretty good. Later. Having a good time, and that's ultimately all that matters, right? Let's just do Life's a Beach, because it's time good. Oh, it's 22. Still nothing. I can guess I can get a bike now. Entire chat on Casa Delay. That's what it feels like, honestly. Oh, that fucking despawned my bike. Fantastic. Ah, fuck's sake. Well, I guess I'm going to take the pony from Lysa Beach because I couldn't get one for the life of me earlier. May as well get this one. First SSSA and SA, you mean mine or like the first one time anyone's ever done it? It's definitely not the first time. No, Menno and S have both done runs. Pretty sure they even did it single segment. Yeah, this is my first time doing it, yeah. And I'm just winging it. I'm not using a guide or a route or anything. Just having fun with it. Right, so how do I... I guess now I like disturb the party. Oh no, they, they're already disturbed. Can I fail the mission now? I guess I destroyed the van in the garage. 
and that I'll just that'll fail the mission. Does this safe house have a garage? Over here that I have. Yeah, it does. Where's the gas tank on this thing? I don't really have a lot of ammo. It's there. Is that not the gas tank? Is that not the gas tank? Okay. Does it have a different one? Am I going dumb? Like, I'm shooting this. Um... Push it. Push it how? Like this, yeah. Can these guys not run me over? Fuck off, garage dog. Can you just not blow this up by the gas tank, this specific one? It's bulletproof? Well, how the fuck am I supposed to destroy it then? Bring another car and blow it up, for fuck's sake. Why the fuck is this thing bulletproof? Uh, where's the gas tank on this? There. No way it's explosion proof too. Drown it? Guess. <laughs> Got to get rid of that fucking corpse first. It's not explosion proof. Okay, let's see how many cars it takes then to blow this fucking thing up. I'm curious. Can't see the fucking... Doesn't help that it's dark as well. It's so hard to see the fucking gas tank on these cars. It's so small and you have to be so close, but you don't want to blow yourself up at the same time. Oh, there we go. Nice. And it's like, what, three explosions? Four? Now I've got a random brother I don't want. But we got a pony. Pretty good. That pony isn't bulletproof at all. Then how the fuck can you not shoot its gas tank? How do I get this thing out better? I can't like... <laughs> Oh, wait, I think I'm making slow progress. <laughs> how do you how do you get a <laughs> how do you get a car out? I'm trying to do a burnout, but it's it's not working because I'm all the way against the wall, right? Oh, I think I'm good now. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gotta ram against the wall enough. There we go. We even got the custom one with the speakers. It even keeps the speakers, which is cool. Let's go. Let's go. Very nice. All right, now we need to resave for Life's a Beach. Yeah, I'm glad the Claire explosions worked. I, I could have drowned it. Everyone who suggested that, that's not a bad idea. So we, we did have options at least, but I was curious how many explosions it would tank. All right, I need to go to. Yeah, that's fine. 11 p.m. is good. Glad we finally got the pony, because that was also being a pain in my ass as well. It was being super annoying to get. I was looking for it for so long and found it so many times, but then found other stuff that was better and then... 
ended up losing the pony and not getting it back and the shit. Can I deliver cars on mission one on mission vehicles? I'm pretty sure I can deliver on mission one, but I can't deliver mission vehicles. I'm pretty sure that was like a bug in the original version of this thing and now it's fixed. Now we can finish the mission. Looking at that list and the only traffic cars left are either part of a specific groups or spawn in other cities only. So what you're saying is I should not really care too much about random traffic because it's very unlikely I'm going to find something in random traffic at this point. At least until I get into Badlands. Just do missions until tank I'm a commander. I can do that. It's crazy that like there's like a hundred vehicles left. And there's like basically no random traffic spawns. Anyway. No At least reason. in LS. I just wanted to get in the car pool lane. That's mad. Let's just see a Merit or a Tornado or a Feltzer. I've seen a Merit and a and a Feltzer. I haven't picked them up. Get the Mesa. Don't I already have a Mesa? Yeah, I already have a Mesa. I don't need that. Yeah, oh, oh god forbid. Yeah, I find a Berkeley's van. You can deliver the mower in Hollywood. Uh, if someone tells me where it is, I can deliver it, yeah. But I have no clue where the mower spawns. So you'd have to... you have to tell me. Guide me where to go. It's near Mad Dog's Mansion. Okay. Do I go there at any point? Apart from, like, RTLS, I guess. Technically. Mad Dog's Rhymes? Yeah, but then I... I go there and leave again, right? So I... I guess what I could do is I could do Mad Dog's Rhymes. And then when I leave the mansion, instead of getting on the mountain bike and going back, I could get on the mower, finish the mission with the mower, and then uh, and then deliver it. That would be huge. We could do that. That's not a uh, not a bad strategy. Goofy as hell, but funny. The top of that swirly uphill road coming from ammunition. This one? Like here? More Holland intersection, that sounds right. I'll put a marker there. And we'll go and have a look during my dolls rounds. Move it, CJ. Don't worry, girl. I don't drive as bad as CJ. We'll go and have a look. We gotta bring the family. Oh yeah, we can deliver the NRG right after just business as well, that's very true. CJ, I'm gonna give you a lesson. Very true. And that's very true. Oh yeah, we can fully fucking deck this thing out because I have so much money. What are, what, do you, what do you guys want on the thing? We got a paint job? Should we get flames? I mean, we have to, right? Car color. I feel like that would overwrite the flames. We got a roof. Soft top. Yeah. Front booper. Slamming bumper. Rear. Slamming. That's what I'm saying. Exhaust, slamming. That's what I'm saying. Side skirts, not slamming, but whatever. Good enough. Wheels, oh, there's like the dollar sign ones. Yeah, insane flex. Car stereo, yeah, bass boost. Don't even have stereo fucking on, but let's go. Hydraulics, already have it. Nitro, 10x, baby, let's go. Huge. There you go. We got the flames. That's what everyone wanted. Look at this. Absolute unreal car. That I'm going to use for all of... Wow. I actually pressed... You're not going to believe me, but I pressed A there to turn and the car just didn't turn. That's how shit this fucking thing is. Savannah is such garbage. Alright, let's go. Look, we are slamming right now. Look how fast we're going. We're slamming. I'm going to use this for two whole seconds and then I lose it after this mission. Because I don't use it anymore. Wow. Insane, dude. I am by far the sexiest bastard at this meet. You're all fucking poor compared to me. Yeah, give me the max wager. How do I increase it? Space, of course, when I think of that. 
Max wager, give me 100k. Oh, you're going to do 1k? Okay, poor boy. Let's do it. What buttons even is it? Arrow keys? No, lump pad. Watch me lose now. Get all the payout. Hey, it's rich get richer. That's how you get rich. It's by already having money and then making more money off the poor. It's genius when you think about it. Just an absolute slaughter. I mean, 820 or whatever they got, that's an appropriate score for someone as poor as them. Yeah, I fucking wiped the floor with you, man. Remember that. Alright, fuck this shit car. I don't want it anymore. Spent like 50 grand on it. Immediately ditch it. Much better. This would also be a great way to, a place to find a car. Caesar? Yo? I'm trying to fucking keep up, man. You just absolutely bodied me. Almost flipped my fucking car. Uh, but yeah, it would be sick to find a car at the end of this mission because I'd literally be right on the pier. Nothing on the list can spawn on that pier. Well, fuck. A man can dream. All right, let's uh, let's go and get a mower, shall we? Glad to see us starting the missions. Yeah, and it took me four hours. <laughs> okay, so remind me where the mower is. Is it this house? It's not here. Anyone know where the mower is? Is it the one you can buy? I want a mission, so I don't know which. I don't know where that is. It's that one, I think. It was there. Oh, right, it's right here. Sick. You guys ready for uh, some insane fucking driving? Let's go. Yeah. Yung. Oh, I'm going mega fast. I'm going like six miles an hour. Let's go. Cruising through. What, what's a fitting song for this? YouTube folks are not going to see this, but the Twitch, it, Twitch guys can enjoy it. This is a, this is a speed run, by the way. That's, that's a lie. It's not a speed run. It's kind of a speed run. Tonight. <laughs> that was so well timed. <laughs> just tonight, and then he just disappears down the fucking cliff. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's fucking good, man. Huge. Mission successful. Back to the back to the regular music. Why is that not considered regular? You know what I mean. It is regular music, but it's like. You know, I put it on deliberately. It's not like the regular playlist, you know, a random song. All right, Loke, I've got your rhymes, man. Sorry, sorry for taking so long. I had a had a little side job I needed to do. Hey, Loke, I got what you want. It should be on the regular playlist. It is on the regular playlist, but you know, it would have been very. I would have had to get very lucky to play it immediately. After it, uh, after I was trying to, you know, trying to showcase it, it would was very unlikely that it would just randomly show up again on the playlist. So I had to like intentionally cue it, is what I mean. Yeah, I, I was thinking about putting like K Rose music on, but yeah, it's probably better for like the tractor and combine harvester and stuff. Well done. Hey. Just murdered that guy straight in front of that officer. Does not give a fuck. That cop just like me, for real. Get it? Because he's blind. Thank you. I'm here all night. You gonna need a gun for the Betsy? What do you mean? To kill the driver? To steal it? Or what? Or do you mean to blow it up inside of the garage? You mean? 
Can you only get it during body harvest? Can I even start in a garage? Probably fucking massive, right? They all spawn locked. You have to shoot the driver. Wait, for the locked ones? Or do you mean I should steal the mission one? Or does it spawn with a driver inside? You mean I have to shoot them? Uh, I need to go do Burning Desire, actually. Almost forgot. It's one with a driver inside during the daytime. Oh, okay, I see. Nice cheater, by the way. So they spawn with a driver inside, but they spawn locked, and I have to shoot them. Right. Uh, what the fuck are they? Hey, let me show you this. Came in a car, so these guys are gonna fuck me up if I don't shoot them. I think so. Bro, throw it properly, thank you. Do I need to date Denise? What car does she have? She has like a regular car, right? She doesn't have anything crazy. Everybody in the Grove knows you and your brother. But I thought you'd run away. I never ran away, okay? I just needed to. Isn't it like a hearse or something? Or like This is my place here. I don't know. Denise? Denise Robinson. Give me a call sometime. We should go out or something. Yeah, I'd like that. <clears throat> a slurts and LV spawn. Okay, I'll catch you later, CJ. So if it spawns at a house, could I like, even if it's locked, could I like push it to a garage and blow it up? This? Could I push this over to Grove Street and Yonquan? Probably better to do on foot. I need a small little car. Because we're like right next to Grove Street, so we may as well, right? It's not going to take very long, I don't think. So it's going all the way to LV. Because LV is pretty far away from anything, really. No need to blow it up. Oh yeah, it's not a mission vehicle or anything. It'll just respawn. You're right. You're right. You're so, Momo, you're so right. Come on, Carl, let's go. Get those legs into shape. He's such a little pussy, come on. Oh, it's mentioned the tow truck idea. Yeah, I, I definitely plan to tow truck some stuff. If I get a tow truck, I might even store it in a garage. So I can use it to tow some stuff first. And then, yeah. Alright. Um, I'll just take the bikes out for now. Because they won't despawn because they'll I'm literally right here. So. I should get it in just the tiniest bit. How do I get this in? Can I like hold the door with something? Like maybe this, like that. Yeah. I put in more work than any. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Now it should be unlocked. Yeah, easy. Let's go. Thanks for the card, Denise. Oh, it's locked, is it? Nah, it's not. I'll just put it in my garage. Yoink. It's like, just met this girl, saved her from a burning building, and she's like, Oh, hey, you want a date? No, I want to steal your car on my journey to deliver all the cars. Let's go. What a great boyfriend, yeah. He's so hit and miss that Carl Johnson. One day he's saving me from a burning building like a hero, and the next he's stealing my car. He just can't win. Yeah, the building that he himself put on fire. Very true. It's always been a weird mission. 
You can save her out of, like, guilt of not killing her. Really, it's just a tough first impression to keep up. True, CJ is the victim here. If we think about it. He's just a, you know, ch a, just a little guy trying to make a change, you know? Let's go. I wonder what's going to be our big 100th car. It was supposed to be the Hustler, but we didn't get a tornado, so... Maybe, uh... I guess it will be the NRG, because it will be right after just business. I don't think I'll get anything else in the meantime. I think it'll be the NRG. Oh, I could deliver the Sanchez. This is probably a good spot, right? Because I keep the bike. Was Pretty sure I keep the bike, DJ. right? Yeah, fuck it. This is a really good spot for a Sanchez. Just check in Badlands, but then I'd have to drive it all the way from Badlands, right? Like, surely this makes more sense. Yes. Do I have to complete the storyline too? I have to complete up until the last mission, so yeah, because the SWAT van. Or the swap tank spawns all the way at the end. So yeah, I have to do all the missions too. Yeah, if, if I miss a, a vehicle like that, there are missable vehicles. I just like soft myself, soft lock myself out of beating it. Like if I lose that swap tank, I'm fucked. Well, there we go, the big 100. Big 100. Oh, back's the wrong side of the tracks. I thought I was the fucking tornado because of the thing on the side, but it was just a broken door. So it was like sticking out. That's fucked up. I got baited. Not that I think it could even spawn there, but you know, stranger things have happened. I missed a big spot. Get me close, DJ! I'm about to pop these Bundles handling oh, it, something else. I feel like most cars in SA just handle like complete shit. I don't know if that's just me. But I feel like you collide into the smallest things and you just do a full fucking 180 spin out. It's so annoying. But like you can't fucking avoid it. Oops, that was almost good. Crash fools trying to pull you yeah, you hit a head and it just spins you out like, or a lamppost and everything just spins you out 180 degrees. It's so fucking annoying. Glad you said it. Yeah, I fucking said it. Alright, let's go this way. Like, everything just feels like sluggish and slidey and shit. Especially compared to VC. VC is so much better for driving. Like, GTA 4 has issues with, like, frame rate and stuff. And they also went for more of, like, uh... They also went for more of, like, hold on, let me shoot these guys. Um... They also went for more of like a simulation style driving instead of arcade, which is, you know, whatever. Like it has differences and I'm not a big fan of it either, but you know, I am getting fucking lit up, dude. These guys are just not, I thought smoke was supposed to kill this guy, but fair enough. But yeah, like. GTA 4 went for more of like a realistic simulation style driving, which I don't really like, but I get it. So it has like the benefits of a good simulation style driving, while having the negatives of not having a good arcade style driving one. But then the issue with uh, SA is it does arcade, but it doesn't do it well, so you have like the worst of both worlds, you know? That's how I feel. Like, I don't mind the driving in GTA 4 too much. Best mechanic in GTA 4, you hit something at high speed and you can just fling yourself out the fucking windshield and die. 
That is a, is a very epic mechanic. Gotta make sure to not mess about with the gate too much, so I actually spawn the bike in, because that's the one thing I need from this whole segment. So the bike exploded if you didn't shoot the gate? No, it just does a little bit of damage to you. So if, you, if you're on really health, low health, then it will kill you, but it doesn't explode. That's not a thing, even on PS2, to my knowledge. So it's just, if you're on low health where the bit of damage would kill you, then it will blow up, but that's nothing to do with the gate, it's just taking too much damage. I don't think I have another call waiting for me. Tornado? Where? Was it outside? Fuck. No. But they might be loaded in, which is good. Aha! Give me this. Let's go. We can always come back for the NLG. It's a fixed spawn, so. Good shit. So I blew up numerous times by not shooting the gate. It's probably just as simple as you were on low health and then didn't shoot the gate and died. Like, it sounds silly, but it's easy enough to do, especially on controller. Because obviously doing that section on controller is much harder because controllers are shit at aiming. Whereas on PC, it's a joke, because you have a mouse and you just click click on all the heads, you know? Controller, you don't have that liberty. Yeah, we'll go and deliver this, and then... I guess we'll just drive back. And go and get the NRG straight away. I'm trying to think of a more efficient route in my head, but I'm not really coming up with anything. Like, I could do grey imports now, but I would rather do it with a bike. I'm not going to have a bike anyway if I install the NRG. <coughs> have I done home invasion yet? No. I haven't. It's usually done quite towards the end. You end kind of close. Do you? Let's have a look. I, I guess you kind of do. Same with, like, robbing Uncle Sam and anything that ends at Grove Street, really. Because the garage is, like, here, right? Yeah. Do you want to tackle the other LS fixed ones? I mean, sure, if you if you know a location, let me know. I'd ideally like to get all the LS fixed ones out of the way before I leave LS. That would be ideal, so. The sooner the better, really. If I'm gonna get gifted a PCJ, I might as well go and do grey imports with it. I'm having a fight. Can I get film studio for starters? Where the fuck is a film studio? Isn't that where there's like an AK and stuff in there as well? And there's also a spawn of a car that's in an import list, I think. Banshee on grey imports? I already have a Banshee. See, it's not there on the list, call the police. It is cemetery and big smoke. I also don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, like over here? I'm gonna put a marker like there. And maybe we'll find it. North LS Pay and Spray. Oh, here? Oh, this, maybe? Okay. We can maybe do that after this mission, because we're... Uh, we're kind of far away after this mission, actually. Hmm. I guess I could deliver it now. Because we do go there during uh, Lost Sepulchros. But the issue then is that, um, what am I thinking? Uh, you need to take the Admiral back, even though it's just a random car, you're actually forced to take it. 
There's a caddy in here, you say? Oh, yeah. And there's also a journey as well. I think I need that as well, right? Is the AK here? Can I grab that? There's a sawn off shotgun. I mean, yeah, why not? There is an AK here, right? Somewhere. I swear it's in like a corner. What's wrong with this town? Like here? Yeah. Huge. I don't know if this journey's also always here, so I'm gonna take it. First. And then we'll come back for the caddy. There's a ZR as well, I want that. I'll put the marker there so I know where it is. I want this ZR. I'm hoping that this journey is a fixed spawn. This isn't. I want this. I lost one of these before and I was pretty sad about it. Because I didn't see one for ages after. It is fixed? Okay, good. That's three more cars knocked off the list then. ZR, Journey, and Caddy. And we still have the NRG tanned in as well. Very nice. Getting some good spawns. I like these guns. It's a shame we never really got to use them. Hey, look. An even more convenient journey. Wait, but the caddy isn't there. Does the caddy only spawn at, like, a certain type of day or something? Or is it one of those ones where it's, like, sometimes you get there and there's two journeys. Sometimes there's a, uh, caddy and a journey instead. One of those memes. I I went to go and deliver the journey bush, and then I found a ZR on the way, so I took that instead, because that doesn't have a fixed spawn in LS, to my knowledge. And then I took the journey the second time, and now I'm going to try and get the caddy. Assuming it's there. It's not there, fuck. How do I get this thing to spawn? Anyone know? It was there the first time. I didn't know it would fucking despawn. There it is. Just flick my camera and there we go, apparently. Cool. Did this thing zoom zoom? What car is this? It's like an alpha? Doink. Don't bust me. Move, man. Well, hopefully I can get another caddy. Is any other combat even able to get a jester as well? Uh, not looking likely. But it spawned on that road above here in a really good location. I was just drawing a mission so I couldn't grab it. I was doing a low rider race so I couldn't couldn't just leave. It was like right at the end too. Watch it. This is a good spawn though. Because I don't know where these usually spawn. And I don't think they're particularly common. Alright, now we can go and get the caddy. Clueless. All right, third time's a charm. Yeah, people have said the same about um, Vigilante Call the Police, but I don't like the idea of just spamming Vigilante and just waiting all day for shit to spawn. It's not very fun, so I'd rather just play the game and get stuff normally. If I get really stuck, then I might consider it, but it's very much planning to be a last resort kind of thing for now. I'd rather get as much stuff without just, you know, flipping a coin over and over again as many times as I can. Rather avoid that for as long as I can, rather. Oh, we're down to two columns. Real shit. I didn't see that. 
Vigilancy is definitely not worth it. That seems to be the consensus here. It seems to not be worth it. Because there's only a couple of vehicles that you can really save time with unless you get mad lucky. Try and get a bike for Graham Ports if possible. Got a while to drive until I get there, so. Thanks, buddy. How did you get a San Fierro police car? I didn't know that the Los Santos police car and the San Fierro police cars were different. So I spawned in a police car with the trainer after my game crashed and it was a San Fierro one. So I handed them both in by mistake. So what I'm going to do is once I get the ability to actually get a San Fierro police car, then I'll hand it in even though I won't get credit for it. So then I've, you know, I've done it, right? And then we'll be even. But yeah, that was that was my bad. Uh, we'll go this way. So the Santa's 100 was technically 99. Yeah, technically, uh, I guess. But whatever. Fuck it. I'm not restarting now. Oh, there's a forklift that I could have grabbed there that was fixed. I don't know that. Is there anything else interesting in this compound? They all know. I don't think so, right? There is a Banshee, but it's gone because that's his car that he spawns. Oh, I need to do Doberman. That's something I haven't done. Did it. Burglary box full is close to Denise. Uh, true. But I want to do Doberman first while I have the bike. And then we can do Boxville Burglary. Doesn't the Boxville Burglary only spawn after home invasion? Or does it spawn all the way from the start? I guess it spawns all the way from the start because you can do it in... Um, so you can do it in... What's it called, right? Yeah, in starter saves. With lower resize for the list, it's more readable. Sadly, I don't think you can actually resize the list. So if I just made the picture bigger, then it would just look low quality. I would also like to change it, but... Yeah, like if I'm zooming in, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know of a better way to deal with that. Oh, I've just despawned my bike, I think. Whoops. Whatever. But yeah, I don't know of a better way to do that. If you could just fucking zoom in the list so it takes up the horizontal space, then that would be great. But you can't do that, sadly. I didn't spawn my despawn my bike. Good. Well, I have the grenades as well. Grenades and a bike will do this. I have the AK as well. I'm going to need to find a use for that. What's your plan for the news chopper? I have no idea how to get a news chopper. You guys are going to have to tell me. Quite a lot of these vehicles that I have left, I have no idea how to obtain. And it'll either be the wiki or it'll be you guys in my chat room telling me. Oh yeah, you, don't you drive one in a race? The air race? Yeah. Why the fuck would I do that really convoluted setup with the, uh... With the what's it called? If you can just get one in a race and fly it. Besides, like, who? it's faster. Yeah, I'll just get it from the race. I forget, you get all sorts of stuff like Hunter and all that kind of shit as well. You get some good stuff from races. Phoenix as well is also in the races. You get some good shit. But yeah, the short answer for your question is uh, when you're going to ask me like, hey, what's the plan for this vehicle? I don't have one. I don't have a plan for anything. I'm just winging it one mission at a time, basically. Only lost six hours of content. Luckily for you, the VODs are available on both Twitch and YouTube nowadays. Alright, I can take this marker off as well. You can get the Hunter through Flight School. 
Yeah, but fuck doing golds on fight score when I could just not, you know? Like, I don't want to do those things unless I have to because they're annoying. So if I can avoid it, then that's ideal. Can't avoid silver. What do you get for silver? I can do silver. It's just gold that's annoying. Because they're so particular. Oh, I still need to get this box fill, actually. The burglar on. Silver is stunt playing. And it's the only way to get it unless you want to cheat. Nah, I'm, I'm good. I'd rather get the silvers. I can do silvers. I say the only thing that's annoying about gold is the fact that you have to get exactly 100%. Whereas, like, the silvers is just like, what, like, 85 or more? That's... That's so much easier to get. I still need to get the NRG as well. I guess I can get the NRG after this, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I don't have a thing I can slide with. Oh, I do have the AK. That's why I grabbed the AK, which is the slide. Obviously. Duh. Stump Point is in Barnstorming Race. Bro, why am I getting fucking trolled by my trap? The only way I can get it? Oh, but also it's in a race? Trolls, all of you. So I don't even need to get silvers in Flight School. Alright. What about driving boat and bike school? Do I have to get golds in those? What do you get for golding? Uh, do you get like a hot knife or something for, for driving school? Buster. You get like a Huntley and a hot knife or something? Hot knife is a girlfriend car, isn't it? I think. So I don't have to get those as well. Huntley I already have. Boat and bike are completely unnecessary. So what do I need from car uh, driving school? Do I need the hot knife? Hot knife is similar to the Euros and the Phoenix. Okay, so I can only get it in that one place. Where is Euros found? When you are on list three of um, the import export specifically, like when you have to deliver it for list three, it spawns near a hotel in Los Venturas. Driving school, bronze, super GT. I don't care about that. Bullet has a fixed spawn. Gold, hot knife. So I, I, need, I only care about a hot knife, right? That's so specific. So the thing with the Euros specifically is the Euros actually is in, was intended to spawn in traffic, but due to a bug, it doesn't. So that's why it's so hard to get. But it was it's intended to be able to be just randomly spawned in traffic, but it will never spawn. Because game good. Good game. Uh, right, I need to go east and go get the NRG, and I want to get the burglary box fill as well. Is that bug all there, also there for the Phoenix? I have no idea. I overshot my... Wait, did I? No. Where is this thing? Am I going nuts? Isn't the thingy on one of these roads? Or is it this one? Bro, am I trolling? Isn't the multi-story car park here? Why the fuck is the multi-story car park? Oh, it can't be there because you go through this. No, you don't. Go east. Oh, is it on the next one over? Here. Yeah. Down to the beach? Is it really that far across? Down here? I'm behind it? Oh, here. Alright, well, I was completely off on where I thought this thing was. I thought it was, uh... But it was way further north. This is how you know that I have like 
compared to three and Vice City, I've played I've barely played any San Andreas. Like I've played a fair amount, but compared to three and VC, my map knowledge is almost non-existent. How's SA treating you? It's treating me fine, to be honest. This might be the first stream without a crash. We'll see. Might have jinxed it now, but yeah. We're so far crash free. The last two streams I've had at least one crash. If not several, because this game's really good. When did I save last? Only about eight minutes ago. I'm saving really frequently because of the fact that I've crashed so many times already. And I'll save after delivering this as well. Actually, no, I'll wait until I deliver the box bill. And save on the way. It's fine. It's a fixed spawn. If I lose this, I don't really care. If this was like a rare vehicle that I really wanted to keep, then I would save, but... <laughs> I'll be fine for one more collection. You can clip this if my game crashes now. There's a temper spawn close to the motel from Rina in the families. Let me try and figure out what the fuck that is. Uh... It's like, you drive up, you go across. It's like here somewhere, uh, like here, I think. Something like that. I need to go and get the box fill though, before I get too sidetracked. Try and remember what the hell that thing is. That thing is in one of these things, I think, right? It's here? Yeah. Do they any trucks yet? No, I'm planning to get them with the. Uh, Trucking. The boat and plane deliveries will be fun. Yeah. Not really looking forward to the boat specifically. Planes will probably be okay, but boats. Yeah. Not great. Didn't realize that you have to collect them too. I have to collect every vehicle. Every vehicle that is possible to obtain without heavy glitches or cheats. That you can obtain in like a regular playthrough of the game, I have to collect. Every single one of them. Most boat spawns are close to the lighthouse. Good, that fills me with at least some amount of hope. At least. Nice. Both the box fills down. I will save, then we're going to get that tamper. You can swim to a reefer from this lighthouse. Tell me which way and I'll do it. Right now. Give me a direction. I need to get a... Uh, I need to get swimming skill anyway. Southwest? Like this way? Is it a great time to increase lung capacity? That's what I'm saying. More south? You better not be fucking with me. Ooh. Bro, how do you know all these geeky spawns? I say that when I know, like, every spawn in Vice City, but... <laughs> How do you know all these all this geeky shit? I actually thought you've done this before. I'll try and get at least one lung capacity upgrade if possible. 
Oh, four stars for getting this, huh? Okay. My bad, guys. I guess I'm technically in Badlands at that point. Is this category on speedrun.com? No, because nobody's dumb enough to do it. Besides from a few people. Can you still a police heli in this game? Yeah, police maverick, you can. Can you imagine if I was just able to get one just right there? Enforcer. I'll do Enforcer when I have better weapons and stuff, I think. Alright, let's go and do uh, that. Whatever it was called, the Tampa Spawn. What is this guy doing? There's a fixed spawn for the police maverick after flight school. Okay, we can do that during RTLS then, I guess. Just play the game for three hours. Well, I do have to get to end of the line one anyway, so... For me, going to after flight school is doesn't matter. It's gonna have to do it regardless. Sadly, as much as I would like to not do all the missions in this game for this challenge, I have to. But the ladder fire truck? I thought that, but apparently the ladder fire truck has a fixed spawn in San Fierro. The actual reason is because of the SWAT tank on under the line one, which doesn't have another spawn. But I thought it was for the ladder as well, but it doesn't apparently. Apparently you can just get that normally. Which is news to me. But I trust these geeks that know everything over me, you know. These guys know too much about this game. Alright, so whereabouts is this Tampa? You said it was near the hotel? How, how far near the hotel are we talking? Oh, is it that it? Yeah, that's it, right? With the, the weird door. Thank you, coot and shoot. Go east from the hotel. Hmm, so if the if the hotel is there, north, east, south, Trolling. I'm being trolled again. Does anyone... In, serious question. Does anyone in my chat room have any fucking sense of direction? Do any of you know your left from your right and your east from your west? I'm starting to think that I may be the only one. Oh, fuck. Bro, how the fuck did I manage that? Fuck's sake. I was too busy flaming my chat, and now they're all gonna laugh at me because I flipped the fucking car. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck that my head's under attack, man. I need to fucking... Ah, oh, fuck! This shit better be spawned in again. Yeah, that's what I thought. I wanted this one anyway, dude. All right, anyway, back to blaming my chat. I didn't even know this existed, neither did I, to be fair. And I wouldn't have known if it wasn't for my chat. Who don't know their left and their right, because they're all dumb as bricks. Maybe if you guys spent a bit more time reading books instead of, you know, memorizing reefer locations in San Andreas. You know, that's all I'm saying. To be honest, but if you go east far enough, you end up in the west. True. Yeah, except not in this game, because this game has a flat earth. Which, is, as we all know, is the only one true earth. is a flat one. You look at a map. Is the map round? No. Obviously, the earth is flat. Ben, you remind me of school on a Sunday. No class. It's fucked up, man. Oh yeah, disabled parking space? Well, you remind me of my average chatter. Ugly as fuck. Sorry, that was that was really toxic. I'm actually really sorry. That was kind of messed up. I got angry about flipping the tamper and I took it out on you. I'm sorry. I was expecting some clever quip. 
Like that wasn't clever. That was extremely clever. A, a, a brilliant, brilliantly well craft, crafted joke. Absolutely exceptional. The crowd goes mild. <laughs> Alright, I think we've run out of shit to collect. Unless Momo has any more epic LS spawns for me. We'll go and uh we'll go and do catalyst. Man. Uh I guess I'll save and then do house party. Just get it's time gated and I'm right here. How long do you think it takes to get the rest of the vehicles? Like 24 plus hours. The real question is, is it possible to get a Patriot from robbing Uncle Sam? I mean, probably, yeah, right? Can't you just steal one at the end? Shoot the driver out? Real 24 hours more? Yeah. Like, I'm being deadly serious. This is going to take a very long time. But bear in mind that I am not doing this all in one segment, so I'm not going to be playing for the next 24 hours. I'm doing this in segments. So I'll probably play for like another, you know, half an hour, an hour or so. We'll see. I want to at least get done with LS. Look like ten penny toe. Go check out the train, CJ. I did want to do Badlands as well, but fuck it. Well, if the Patriot has a fixed spawn, but only during import, then that's fine because I can get one during import. And I can just get one for import and one for uh. Shit! I nearly dropped them. One for SSSA as well. And another one. Maybe get the train to the light tower. Do I need to deliver a train? I don't, right? Yeah, because I can't get it there. Yeah, I was like, there's no way I need to deliver a fucking train. Man, we got one time on our tail. Ain't no way. You can also steal it from the San Fiora Navy Base during Outrider. Oh, because you don't get stars, right? During Outrider, I think. That's fucking huge, Brain. Head back to Grove Street, fool. That is huge. You'll have to remind me of that later, because I'll probably forget, but that's a big brain strat. Outrider is perfect for launch, too. Is that the same thing? The launch is like a boat that spawns at the naval base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we can do both then. Damn. Are there any unique spawns in Badlands? There are quite a few, right? We need to get like, uh, what's it called? We need to get fucking like, you know, tractors and the combine harvester and all that kind of shit. And the trucks from trucking and the trailers. We need to get all sorts of stuff. The hunter spawns in a naval base after completion of flight school, right? I have no idea. I'm planning to get the hunter from the air race because I'm pretty sure there's an air race with a hunter in it. I'm just going to steal it from that instead of caring about flight school. But yeah, I, I know you can get it from golden flight school, but I don't know anything else. And yeah, I'm just gonna get it from the race because it's so much easier than Golding Flight School. Can't be us pissing about with that. Is Golding Flight School really that hard? No, but why would I do it when I cannot do it? You know? Getting it from the air race is so easy that there's no reason to Gold Flight School. For no reason. Hey, Flo, what's up? You use the forklift to collect the crates. Okay, homie, let's load this shit up. Just to get all the vehicles to the light tower in San Fierro? No, you have a choice. You can you can either take it to the lighthouse in Bayside, or you can take it to the lighthouse in Los Santos. Shit, CJ. Shit. You have a choice as the way you can... Where you can take stuff. 
So for the ones that are on the northern side of the map, I'll take them to Bayside. And the ones that are on the southern part of the map, I'll take them to... I'll take them to Los Santos. That's the plan. You know the GTA SA streamer speedrunner crucial? Yeah, you could say that. We're good chums. Oh, I don't have a cement mixer. I tried to get one of those before and it disappeared. Let's go, Peter. By the way, Peter is crucial. I just call him by his first name because we are tight like that. Yeah, I know a top SA run. Another big deal to me, lol. But you guys want to know an insane flex about knowing top SA speedrunners. I have a picture IRL with Crucial. I had dinner with Crucial. Not to flex or anything. But, you know, we're, we're boys like that. We're, we're not only on first name basis, but we're, we're on picture basis. We're on having dinner basis. How was the sex? Incredible. Best 25 seconds of my life, dude. Honestly. Alright, what's next? We only have like a few missions left, right? Lost up all cross and bring out in the families, I think. Yeah. We're Buffalo. We're Buffalo. Bro, get in the car. Just trying to watch TV. Now I can hear you shouting about Crucial. What can I say? I just have to shout from the rooftops about how incredible he is. We go around back to left supper cross and sneak over the wall. Kane, ain't that cat front yard Thanks, buddy. Royalty? Yeah, so if there's a hint of trouble, Ooh, he's a no show. Break. Isn't Liv such a darling? Bringing me snacks while I'm while I'm doing the important shit, like you know, ma making the bread for the family, bringing home the bacon, as they say. From my full-time influencer career. Does your girlfriend know about Crucial? My girlfriend has also met Crucial. And had dinner with him. Not a flex or anything, but she's on first name basis as well. Yeah, Liv's right. His name is Steve. No, it's not dark chocolate. It's milk chocolate. Dark chocolate's fucking rank. Well, it's not that bad, but compared to milk and white. Fuck dark chocolate. Not to be dramatic, but this might be the best day of my life. Isn't his name Joe? Who's Joe? Why isn't anyone telling me who Joe is? Your mum. <laughs> What another brilliantly well crafted joke. Whenever I eat milk chocolate, I get tons of acne, I never win. That's fucked up. But I would take the acne. Honestly, acne is it's a, you know, like a it's a sacrifice I'd be willing to make, you know. I would happily get fucking perma acne. If it meant I could eat chocolate still. So. Yeah, Ricky's just used to thanking me for the jokes because he's just used to me being funnier than Liv. It's just, no, you know, it's just another day in the office. Man, we was a force. All right, at SA enthusiasts, are there any other cars? That have fixed spawns in Los Santos that I should get before I leave. And then falter spawns. Oh yeah. I assume it's locked, right? Yeah. You'd have to like push it all the way. You'd have to push it like all the way to the fucking. I gotta get my brother sweet. What's it called? Go go go. The garage? Jesus, they let me up. Get into position. Let's 
yeah. Get not the worth, I don't think. Fire in there. Unit down, repeat, unit down. Give me some fucking that guy fucking fire. annihilated me. Holy fuck, he took half my armor. What took you? We're smoking right. God damn. Hey, Yeah, you might be able to homie trick it, I don't know. Do eight track rewards count as epic fix spawns? I mean... Not really, because I I shouldn't... If I'm doing driving school anyway, then there's no point in getting driving skill elsewhere to do eight track, right? Like, I should do driving skill and then do eight track at the end once I have enough driving skill. You might have enough driving skill. Maybe. I mean, I could try, I guess. I could go and see. Because, yeah, I, I do have way more driving skill than normal. But if not, yeah, I'll, I was planning to do that at the end. What rewards do you get for beating 8-track? Uh, what do you get? Do I have to get, like, a certain time, or... I assume I have to win. I get a monster truck and a hot ring racer. Is that just for winning? I get both? Or do I have to do something... ...particular? We gotta get out of here. Riders right. Everybody Just for winning? Up, okay. we'll meet up later. I'm surprised they give you two different cars for winning. One race. Let's go and see if I have enough uh, skill to do it. Oh, I can do eight track. Nice. How do you save progress in this mod? I just tried to save the game, but that didn't work. I just saved normally. It's tied to the save file, your progress. So if you just save the game normally and then load it up later, it'll have all your progress. I have to do 12 laps of this shit. Wow. All right, six. So we got the monster. We got the hot ring racer as well. So this is the checker one, I assume. Yeah, the check on. Alright, we'll go and hand this in, then we'll hand in the hot ring racer. And then we'll do green saber. And then we're pogging. Oh, this is the flag one. Okay. Oh fuck. Sorry. Hi, is this a speedrun? Not really. It's like a fast let's play with a timer. But I guess kind of, actually, no, I guess it kind of is a speedrun as well. Because I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. I'm just, as you can tell, you know, not very good. You guys did a funny wheel glitch, to be honest. I have no idea how to do that glitch. I know you just, like, put a car underneath it and just, like, let it sit for a while and then launch it somehow. But I don't know how to actually do it. So you just like you just put the wheel on it, and then hijack the car. Look at this. Now you can buy Whoa! <laughs> oh, it's on fire! Fuck! I'm dead. <laughs> oh, God. We didn't even get to see it. Fuck! I didn't think I was gonna die. Fuck's sake. No, all my guns are gone now. <laughs> Fuck. I lost all my good weapons for the final mission. What? I, I did think I was going to get launched. I didn't think I was going to die. That was, the, that was the bit that I missed. Which is my bad. Can you fuck off, man? You're the rabbit in the hole. <laughs> Cut the VOD. Cut the fucking VOD. Nobody watched that. Everyone turned your monitors off. Ooh, that was unlucky. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah.
Deary, deary me. Deary, fucking deary me. Good time. All right, let's try this again. Third time's the chop. All right, let's go. Bro, I've been driving it for legit two seconds and I'm already losing control of it somehow. God damn. Horrible driver. I mean, just unlucky. Don't you fucking dare. Please, man! It's actually the unluckiest fucking bit of gameplay you've ever seen. Bro. This is gonna be like the stairs all over again, isn't it? Maybe the hot ring is better luck. I've committed now. We are delivering this monster truck. If it's the last fucking thing I do. Alright, this is the one. Surely. At this rate, it might very well be the last thing you do. That's fucking toxic, man. You guys are so mean. I spend my entire evening putting out free entertainment for you all. And this is how I get repaid? Unfucking believable. Next stream is gonna be a sub only stream. I say, you've, you've pushed me to my limit. Are they even still a thing? I don't even know if you, uh... I don't even know if you can do that anymore. Alright, 111, let's go. I'm saving the game. Yeah, I don't mean sub-only chat, I mean sub-only streams. That was a thing at one point, right? Where you literally, you could watch the stream for like five minutes. And then after that, you had to subscribe to be able to, uh, to watch. Like, not just type, but watch the thing at all. But I think it's probably dead, because, like, who the fuck would use that? You know? It's kind of a cool concept, but it's kind of scummy in practice. Because it's like, yeah, it's like, if you're, if you're like, a full-time streamer with, like, a proper schedule, you could maybe do, like, a bonus stream for subs only as, like, a benefit, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, it's, like, getting content behind a paywall. Eh... I don't know, I, I, uh, I don't personally like that kind of thing. Wasn't there a thing where you can watch Amazon Prime stuff on stream, but the stream is limited to only people that have Amazon Prime? Was that a thing? I didn't know that. That's pretty dumb. It's stupid because the way to get more people watching and subscribing is by making your content accessible. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's not a good idea for anyone that isn't an already massively successful streamer with a big established platform. Like, as I say, the, the only time that I would consider doing it is if I had like a big platform, like, you know, a thousand viewers plus consistently, and I only did bonus streams. Please don't flip again, I'll cry. Thank you. Um, but yeah, and like, let's say I streamed five days a week, nine till five, you know, standard like wagey schedule. If I then did like a bonus Saturday stream every now and again, with like random content that isn't the usual stuff, you know, like something that people wouldn't feel they missed out on if they did miss the stream. Purely bonus stuff oh, man. that has like no canon in in the streaming schedule. Then I can understand doing like a sub only thing to benefit, you know, subscribers more. But then yeah, at the same time, like you might be better off and probably get more subs in the long run. Just doing that extra stream on Saturday and making it viewable to everyone so more people discover you and potentially sub and stuff. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's benefits to both. Yeah. Like, it would have to be purely extra stuff that is, that it, like, your, your usual schedule for content is completely uninterrupted. But actually locking, like, a, you know, a regular stream that people expect behind a paywall is, yeah. Kind of whack. Sub only streams are the equivalent to filler episodes? Yeah, kinda. You get what I mean, right? 
At least I hope I'm making sense. All right, let's go to Grim Saber. Time to officially leave LS with how many vehicles? 112. Huge. I'll save here as well in case I die. Some haven't got any fucking guns. I could get a pistol in LS. I could get the SMG on Sweet's roof actually. It'll probably do me a better service. I have a bike as well, so at least I won't have car aim. Pretty sure I have like a spare PCJ I can use. And grenades. Are there grenades here? In Alice? Or in Crow Street? No. Oh, you mean getting them at the... Yeah, you mean. That's a good shout, actually. Yeah. That's a good point. How many did you get? Eight? Twenty? Fuck you. Yeah. 739 LS. Real shit. To be fair, this game's big, you know? Seven and a half hours to beat LS. Pretty normal for a casual playthrough. <laughs> Don't forget to submit this segment, man. Alright, cool. That'll do me for today. Um, I think we got a good almost four hour session in. And we're at like the end of a segment, so it's a good time to end, I think. Uh, have a great week, weekend, etc. if I don't see you. But yeah, I'll probably see you tomorrow. See you later. Mwah. Hello, my fellow car collectors. How's it going? Yeah, you all ready for, for, some, for some more car Pokemon? I like... Uh, I, I like that it's a good name for it. Car Pokemon. We've got to we've got to deliver them all. All right, let's start the timer and let's get some Badlands vehicles. Um, I guess we can just have a look. So if we're here, is it even worth driving? It's not actually that far, I suppose. Stuff like this, we're gonna have to drive all the way around. I think. Good. Have a, as a quad bike spawn. I know where quad bikes spawn. Appreciate that. Thanks. Maybe I can get this rancher to follow me. Alright, we'll start off the stream with some legendary gameplay. The legendary gameplay is uh, me driving all the way to LS in a Walton. Ultimately, you do Badlands and take cars after that. Oh, true, because then you would be driving towards Catalina, right? Yeah, that makes sense. That's fair. I'll, uh, I'll deliver these two, assuming I get away with delivering them, and then I'll go back and do Badlands, I suppose. Bridge to Bayside is closed now? Yeah, I think. I don't know when you unlock Bayside, because it's not really part of any of the other cities, right? So I don't know when you unlock it. If it's like, if it's when you access San Fierro or Las Venturas. It's Las Venturas, okay. So yeah, for the, for a, for quite a while we're gonna have everything locked. In terms of like north side collection, yeah, the trucking road is also a good shout because um, it will be a lot a lot closer than Angel Pine for sure. Great point. You guys are all making great points. Take the gun shit after Badlands probably. Just to confirm, that's the, uh, the, the, like, the mashed up one, right? That's, that's near the quad bike spawn. Oh, don't do this to me. Well, that's a great start. That's three minutes down the drain. <laughs> Literally s hit something, spin out, and then just get infinitely stunlocked because this game's really good. Yeah. Literally the first thing I do. Well, that's that's one hell of a way to get punished. <laughs> I should have just done Badlands like everybody said. And I wouldn't have got wrecked. Oh, fuck's sake. 
It's just so fucking annoying as well, because it's literally at the last second. Like, I drove all the way there. Fucking three, three almost four minutes. To then just get nothing right at the end. It's so, so stupid, man. I blame the Walton shit car. I blame this game. Shit game. Game's gonna dump you a few times Angel Pines, middle of nowhere later on, which you can use to take some cars from these shit areas as well. Yeah, true. I guess like uh, photo opportunity, lure, things like that, right? Yeah. Gun shit is it a junkyard north from Angel Pine. All west, I suck at directions. East, for fuck's sake. Bro, do you do you have any fucking idea where this thing is? You've just given me every direction on planet Earth. A junkyard near Angel Pine could be north, south, east, or fucking west. That's the, the quad bike that I know about. Junkyard east of Angel Pine. What am I trying to find? Well, nothing really in particular. I thought the Glen shit was like... Isn't it like in a bunch of trees? It is not. Am I thinking of something else? I swear there's like a car in here somewhere. Right? I remember seeing it. I swear it's around here somewhere. There's a Glen shit near the highway. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. A bit further on, maybe. Like here? There's another quad bike. Oh, there's... There we go. This is the Glen shit, right? Huge. Yeah, after Tanker Commander would be like a really good time to start looking for cars. Because I could do trucking and then in between trucking stuff, if I don't have a something, I can get a car on the road, right? Did I collect monsters? I collected one monster. Which is the one that I got for winning 8-track. But I was told that there's one near this bridge over here somewhere, but I don't know where that is. But I do need that, if anyone knows the location. I'm gonna go and save and you can tell me if you know in the meantime. I did get told apparently there's a monster truck over here somewhere. That I don't know about. Trailer park near the bridge. Trailer park. So the bridge is here, right? Here? That looks like a trailer park, but that's on the east side, so surely not. It must be like the west side. I'll go I'll go to the bridge and have a look, I suppose. Easiest way is to just go and look for myself. It's literally next to it. Okay, I'm sure I'll find it then. Give me the saber. Alright, let's go and have a look. The, the, the way everyone's saying it is as though, like, I can't miss it, so. So this bridge, yeah? Oh, this thing over here. Yeah, it's not on the map. But this looks like a trailer park. Oh yeah, there it is. Huh. Is there anything else? Perennial, Bobcat, I have these, I think. No. This is cool though. This is a convenient spawn. I had no idea this existed. Cut read, was the Majestic delivered? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. I have a memory of doing a Majestic. Yeah, I have it. I'm pretty sure I did that in LS because of the fact that it was like such a... Like, I, I did like all the vehicles down here. And then, on the way back, I went to go and get, like, some gang cars, like the the Tahoma and stuff, and I also got a Majestic then, as well. Remember you also use it in that mission for Torino? That's when I was going to get this monster truck, because I had no idea that it has a spawn. Good show, everyone. Thanks for the assist. Alright, what's next? Should we go straight to Catalina, or should... Sh I guess we can try and get some stuff on the road if we see anything. We can drive on that road and see if we see anything. Can we get to Catalina's from... No, because we kind of have to go this way, right? I say we just do the missions. Go and do the missions as normal, or at least this one mission. We'll do Tanga Commander, 
and then we'll start doing big collections with uh, trailers and, you know, the big trucks and everything. That's an alpha. I thought that was a jester for a second. Oh yeah, I could even, I could even deliberately fail. Um, tanker commander, maybe? Is that worth it? Is it worth it to fail tanker commander to get that free trailer and truck? Or can I get that on trucking easily? Can you even get the, that petrol tanker and trucking? Oh, you can get it during trucking? Okay, I didn't know if you can get that one during trucking. That's why I was a bit confused. Okay, if you can get it during trucking, then yeah, not worth it. Can I make the vehicle list bigger? Not really. Sorry. I, I, I've tried, but... Like, it's not... It's not... It's just like a different program that somebody wrote, and there's no way to make the text bigger. The only thing I could do is stretch it, but then it would just be unreadable because the text is really small and I'm stretching it out. So, yeah. Ask Ethan to make text size an option. Yeah, that's like the only real option. Is ask the guy who made the tool to add an option to customize the size of the text. And have it like fill the space properly. Get ahead of them. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <clears throat> Except for the petrol trailer, there are three generic trailers only towed by two semi trucks. So prioritize the trailers. So what what do you mean exactly? So do you mean that let's say for example the line runner there is a certain trailer that only goes with the line runner. Is that what you mean? So I should try and get the trailers because some of them require certain trucks anyway? Or am I misunderstanding you? Alright. Anything here interesting? I can't really see. Bobcat. Walton, we'll take that. Oh, I just saw there's a, there's a hot dog truck that I need to get, like the one from Wear Flowers. Someone wrote about that in the chat earlier and I kind of skimmed over it, but I didn't read it. Can Whoever that is, can you repost that message? Is it is it a useful one that you're like, oh. You know, here's how to get the hot dog van really easily. Nice progress with Denise. I'm ramming the cars because there's a chance that um, they might become aggressive towards me. And if they have a car that I want, I want them to chase after me. And they're going to chase me all the way to the lighthouse. And then I can d deliver both of their cars. Because I can deliver my car and then steal their car and then hand that in as well. But it's really risky because they can like push you into the ocean or like flip you and all sorts of stuff. Which is really annoying. Pretty smart. It sounds really smart until it doesn't work. Like, when it works, it's genius. When it doesn't work and they push me into the ocean and I lose both the cars, it's... It makes me look fucking stupid. Oh, there are fixed spawns for the hot dog vans. Okay, good to know. Did I just hand in a Walton? I don't remember. Yeah, I did. Did I? Yeah. Sanchez I have. Jenny I have. Sanchez I have. Police run try I don't have. Somebody gonna be Why did the security car spawn at the Badlands? I'm cheating. I assume it spawned like right on the edge of this road and then just drove through it is what I assume. Oh, what a spawn for a tractor. That's pretty good. I'm gonna take that. Oh, actually, wait. You... Someone said I'm not supposed to get a tractor, right? Because I need to deliver it with the plow later anyway. So it doesn't actually save me any time getting a tractor. Ooh, that's a Windsor, right? I haven't seen that here. This has a fixed spawn, but I want it because it's in a really convenient location. And a freeway. Fucking hell, there's so much good shit. Freeways are easy to get, though. I want this. Fuck off. I have the utility vans, Momo. I deliberately ignored it. Utility van was actually one of the first vehicles I got when I went towards the ducks and stuff. God, can you guys move? There's so fucking many of you. If 
Yeah, I, I'm gonna deliver the tractor with the farm plow. You you can hook up like a plow to it, and the plow actually counts as a uh, vehicle that I need to deliver. You can see it if you look on the left hand side at F. It's like halfway down the list. It's called the farm plow. And I'm pretty sure you can only attach that to the tractor. So. So tractor is basically zero time. I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to deliver it at all. God, these fucking spawned. There's so many people. We're getting some good shit. Same thing with the ladders and the baggage trailers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the baggage. So baggage is like zero time as well. No need to take it even if I got an incredible swarm. Alright. Rancho we don't have. Whoops. Oh, there's only, there's only one... Uh... One farm plow spawn in on PC, but there's several on console. That's interesting. And kinda messed up. Yo, I want this freeway. And then I'll get the rancher as well. Might even be able to get that guy to come after me, but he didn't. We're getting some good spawns though, so I'm gonna make the most of it. We'll just run back to the rancher because it's not too far away. Burn some of those pizzas off that I burnt in the that I bought in the second mission. Look at CJ sprinting. It can go forever. What a boy. Sprinted all the way from the lighthouse back here. <coughs> uh, we picked that up like five minutes ago, Phase Commander. Are you on a uh, Casa Delay right now, dude? Look at all these fucking pets. Why are there so many of them? Move. Like, I can't help but get a wanted level because I just have to run them all over. I don't have a choice. There's so many of them. Super weird. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and save because we've got quite a few good vehicles. Alright, so we got something with something. This is a road train with some kind of tanker. Is this a regular tanker? I have no idea. Also, how do I fail a mission quickly? I guess I just play replays to fail this quickly. Is there any other way to fail trucking? What if I get out the truck? Oh yeah, that, that fails me in a minute. Okay. It's a bit quicker than waiting. Check the map for a road in an area called Fallen Tree. Y you'd have to give me more of like a general area to look. Because just anywhere on the map looking for a place, I could be there all day looking for it, you know? Alright, we'll just wait like here. Just wait for a minute. Does anyone know what these trailers are, by the way? Just so I know. Like, what is this one called? Is this a road train? Or a line runner? It's not a tanker. Just so I know. Can you fuck off? Right. Not in cab. Like, what are these things? I assume it's a tanker and a road train? Yeah, road train. The truck is a road train. So it was a trailer that it counted as? Oh, enclosed trailer. Okay. Good to know. So I, what are the, how many trucks are there? Three? There's road train, line runner, tanker, right?
And then how many trailers are there? There's a tanker. No, a tanker is a type of truck. There's a trailer, an enclosed trailer, a petrol truck. And what's the fourth one that I did? All right, what is this? Is this... How do I tell? Is this another road train? I think. Yeah, it's another road train, so I don't care about this. And this is another generic trailer, right? So I don't want this. But this is a line runner with a different trailer. I think. So I want this. No, this is a tanker with something, right? Or is it the line runner? I don't fucking know. This is the open trailer. Okay. Open top trailer. Yeah, I see that. What truck is this? Is this a line runner? I think it's a line runner. But it's so hard to tell. I don't know the fucking difference between the trucks, man. Some people are saying tanker. Some people are saying line runner. Good to know that it's not just me who doesn't know the difference. I guess we'll find out once we hand it in. The last generic trailer you have left has an empty bit on its back. So when you mean empty bit, like it's just an empty trailer? Or just a bit of it is empty? This is proof right here, by the way. Not that I'm still mad about it. But this right here is proof. SA gangs don't always attack you on sight. It might be because I'm on a mission or something, but they don't always attack you on sight, which was my point that everyone jumps at me for. Proof. Even off a mission, they don't attack you immediately. They do sometimes, they don't always. All right, so this should be open top trailer. Okay. <laughs> Does that really not count? Are you serious? Oh, fuck off. Watch where you're going. Like, how is that not delivered? Literally, the fucking car was in the zone with the tanker. And it doesn't count the tank tanker. For fuck's sake. Awesome. Who told you otherwise? Literally fucking everyone when I made that point in my Sendako Chronicles video. So many people. The trailer itself wasn't in the zone. Yeah, I guess. But that's stupid. Like, it should check if it's fucking... It should check if it's attached to the vehicle. Or have a check to see if both of them are in. It's so stupid, man. Some bowlers attacked you earlier. Yeah, I know it happens sometimes... I'm saying it doesn't happen all the time. Okay, this is a tanker with the petrol. This is all unique. I need this. I'm not saying it never happens. I'm saying it doesn't always happen. Which was my entire point. Yeah, this one is tanker. You can tell because it's so much faster. It's like twice as fast as the fucking line runner. The point doesn't even matter because unlike 3 and LCS and VCS, gangs in this game don't insta-kill or stun luck you every time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, the gangs, even if they shoot you in this, the worst they can do is, like, pop your tires, which is annoying, but it doesn't really matter. Whereas in GTA 3, the gangs can just one-shot you. Which is just so absurd. Alright, let's make sure I drive both of these fucking things in this time. There we go. Is that good enough for you? Because see, look, now, now I'm not even on a mission, look. And they don't care. Hey, yo, watch the fuck out, boo. I don't know what they're even doing. They're, like, running away from something. I don't know why. Oh. Weird. Alright, so what do I need left? I, I, I handed in the line runner, right? So I've handed in all three tankers. No. I've handed in all, on all three trucks. All that I need now is I just need... Two tanker, uh, two trailers, right? 
I need the open top one because it fucked me over. And then I need the short one as well. So I, I don't care what... Um, I don't care what van I get or truck. I just need the trailers. Okay, this is an open top one, which is good. Could I... No, that wouldn't work. I was going to say to avoid having to wait for 60 seconds. Could I get to the place, shoot the truck to blow it up, and then it would somehow count the trailer? Because I'd go off mission and immediately deliver it. But I don't think it would let me deliver the trailer because the truck's blown up. I need a truck to be attached to it, I think. Did you need to deliver trains? If you can figure out and tell me a way of getting a train to here, then I'll deliver it for you. Use the skyhook. Can you, can, the, can you even do that? Like, I have no idea, man. You can derail trains and push to the lighthouse. Oh. Maybe I'll have to do it then. For full completionist's sake. Alright. Trailer, count. Good. Ow. So then that guy immediately attacks me. The other guys don't give a shit, but that guy does. It's so weirdly inconsistent. It's really strange. Alright, so now we just need the short trailer, right? And we're done. You'll know it when you see it. Okay. That's that's encouraging. This looks like a regular one. Two stars is not good, but... It's a regular trailer. Are these things rare? Or am I just getting unlucky? DJ Wiki says, all right, I'm ready. I'm reading that. <laughs> GTA Wiki says, I ain't reading all that. In before I can't get it on trucking level one and I need to like do a couple of levels first. Oh, this is a short one, right? This is short. Yeah. Any, any confirmers? Yeah, good shit. Let's go. A shit truck, but I'll deal with it. So when you're doing trucking in Hundo, what what trucks do you want? Do you want the tanker because it's the fastest? And if you get like line runners and road trains, you just ignore them. Because the tanker seems to be the fastest by like a mile. And ideally you want the short trailer because it's also lighter, I guess. Oh, road train is fastest. Okay. This doesn't feel that fast, but I don't know. So you want a road train or a tanker. So you just don't want a line runner. And you also want a decent trailer because it's because they're weighty, I assume. And then you also want a um a good location as well. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Not that I care about running Hundo, but just, you know. For future reference, should I want to do trucking for whatever reason, and I want to do it quickly. Yeah, I assume the trailer would slow the truck down, depending on how big it is, you know? That's surprising, though. The, the road train seems, seems bulky. I wouldn't think it would be that fast. Alright. Cool. Is that everything? That's everything, right? Everything from trucking, anyway. Okay, so what else can I get in Badlands? I can get a quad bike. We can go and get that. What else can I get in Badlands? Uh, where are the quad bikes? Well, quad bikes are... Oof, let me think about this backwards. Like here? I can get a dinghy. Oh, I can get boats and stuff. Okay. Ghost Quan Day I already have. You can just take the quad from Catalina's. There's the quad at Catalina's. Isn't Catalina's quite far away? Because it's like up here somewhere, right? No? Bro, my fucking SA map knowledge is so bad. Where the fuck is Catalina's? 
Oh, lo local liquor stall, right. Okay, yeah, that's that's true. BF injection I already have. Dingy has a spawn in San Fierro for the Bayside Lighthouse. Okay. So I don't need to care about the quad bike right now. So I guess I'll just do body harvest, I guess. Tractor. Can I get the farm plow with the tractor? How come no tow truck? I just haven't found one in a good location yet. I guess I'll just go and do a... Uh... Oh, farm plow is in desert. Okay, then no point in getting the tractor for ages. You can get a dozer from the junkyard. Whereabouts is the junkyard? Is it nearby? We can go and do that. Or a hot dog from the Flint Intersection Highway. I assume that's this. Near the Crucial Jump? That's from like San Fierro, right? You go like... Here... Then you jump... Like here or something? You jump across this? Some shit like that. No, these are worth getting. Yeah. I mean, if there's something on the Flint County intersection, I could get something, but. Hot dog will spawn near Lighthouse after cutthroat business. Like, near here, you mean? Okay, then yeah, I don't need to care about that. If it's if it spawns near the lighthouse, like over here somewhere, then yeah, not worth it. I right, let's just go and do fucking. Let's just go and do body harvest. I think. Gray triangle at the base on the west of Mount Chiliad. Uh. Gray triangle on the west side. Gray triangle like this? It's not really a gray triangle, but I can't think of anything more. Oh, east. The west of Mount Chiliad, by the way. Oh, it's another one of these. My chat still doesn't know east from west. Okay, good to know. It's there. <laughs> Fucking hell. I, I, I keep forgetting that my chat doesn't have a clue what east from west is, so I just need to assume they mean the opposite side. So, just to confirm uh, to Momo and other people who know what they're talking about. So, I can I don't have to get the Combine after this, right? I can get it after this mission in a consistent manner. I don't have to steal it right now. Correct? Don't know, but it looks kind of shifty. Roll him in some... He's a Combine rustler! That son bitch stealing Betsy! Correct, okay. There's a combine next to trucking, okay. But it only spawns after this mission. Got you. Make sure you have a gun, okay. So I guess I won't death warp after this. Oh no, I, I, I will death warp. I'll just get a gun afterwards. Are there any convenient guns near trucking? I'm trying to think it's kind of hard to think let me deliver this and then I'll 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 plan it out sometimes those combines are locked that's why I need a gun because I'm gonna shoot a guy out of it who's driving it and then the door will be open one behind the trailer but that's quite far away right because it's all the way at Angel Pine I did think about that, but I thought it would be inconvenient. I could just kill a cop, yeah. Man, you've brought peace back to my valley. Thank you, friend. Daytime I'll only. Call you when the hoop to do is ready. We'll see what time it is, it might decide. It's 7 p.m., so maybe I should just death warp now. So let me think about this. So I'm pretty close right now. If I death warped, I would go back here, but I kind of want to death warp anyway. I guess, what, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Death Warp, go to Angel Pine, do King of Exile. Then I'm going to go to the uh, this thing here, the, the, the Whetstone Junkyard. I'm going to get the Dozer, deliver it, 
and then we'll go back to near trucking and get the combine and we'll get a gun on the way because I'll probably find a cop or something. If not, I'll find a gun somewhere in LS. That's the plan. That's a reasonably efficient route, I think. I'm on like half a HP. It should work, I think. Oh, there's also an ammunition here. What What am I doing? Oh wait, no. Wait, okay, I'm I'm double trolling. There's an ammunition here, so I'm I'm singular trolling. But then I'm also double trolling because I'm literally right next to this spawn right here that Nabnoob was talking about, and I forgot that I was coming back to Angel Pine anyway. Yeah. So we're all good. Uh, I'll get the. I'll save because why not? I'll save until and then I'll keep saving until daytime. Because it was going to take me to like 4 p.m. And I don't know if that still counts as daytime. 8 a.m. is perfect though. Towing the dozer is surely faster. I could do that, but I don't know where the tow truck is. If there's like a fixed spawn or anything. There's this tow truck in the same junkyard. For real? In here? I guess I could find out if I could tow it then. There's also a Glen shit in there. Where's the tow truck? I've like never explored any of this. Hey, I heard this. How do I tow something? Do you just hook it up? Like, do you just connect it automatically? Like, if I just back into it? I don't think it works. Or is there like a button to hook it on? Maybe backwards? Two and eight on the numpad. Lower the thing. Okay, hold on. Like that? I'll try again on the front. But does it hook automatically? Yeah, I don't think I can. I don't think I can tow this thing. That's fine though. We we can deliver these things. Try lifting the dozers thingy. Oh, you can move the dozers thing too. Get a tow from the front, lower than raise. Okay, so it's all the way down, and then raise it. No. I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Wait, it did it for like a second. Oh. Aha. That doesn't look like it should work, but it does. <laughs> Let's go. You just need like a really particular angle. I think. Let's go. Huge strategy. Yeah, that definitely doesn't seem like it should work, but it somehow does. I'll take it. Alright, so we get two for the price of one. We tow the dozer, and uh, we can also save a trip back, and then we can... What was I gonna... What were we gonna do afterwards? Oh yeah, go and do the combine harvester. Yeah, it's a really good strategy for slow things, yeah. Yeah, if there's like really heavy stuff, then you can tow it. And it'll be faster. Also worth for Michelle's monster truck due to what you'd need to do otherwise. Okay, so instead of dating Michelle, I should just... You're saying I should tow it because then I can just get it for free basically, right? I don't have to date her or anything. That's very smart. Surely better than shark AIing? Yeah. The only tricky thing is, is that I need to find another tow truck eventually <laughs> to do that stuff with, you know? Because I'll need to get, I'll need to hand this tow truck in, this first one, and it'll despawn, and then I need another one. So we might have to come back to the junkyard to get one and store it in a garage or something. We'll see. Do it after photo opportunity. That's not a bad idea. You can get shark AI cars to tow themselves into your tow truck. <laughs> Wait, so like they they get angry and they like hook themselves on when they hit the back of you? That's funny. That's good shit. Alright, we gotta make sure we get them both in. Alright, 126. Should give us 128. Let's go. Ew, stop touching, 
I think you should tow the monster truck after you unlock Bayside. Lighthouse is much closer. Okay, sounds good. Did you get any mission-specific vehicles? Have I got any mission-specific vehicles yet? There, there are barely any in the game, right? I don't think so. Are there even, besides the end of the line tank, is there even any mission-specific vehicles? I'm pretty sure everything else you can get, right? Somewhere. That's the good thing about SA being so big and such a vast game, is you can get so many cars in so many different ways. It's nuts. Yeah, Phoenix is one that springs to mind, but you can get it from the races. So, yeah. Alright, so whereabouts is this combine harvester? You said it's near Rocking. I assume it's in one of these fields, right? Oh, there it is. Look at that. Hey, buddy. So you're saying I just shoot this guy out? What? I thought the door was open. The door closed again. Huh. So how do I get this guy to keep the door open? Bro, can you stop? Tow it with the tractor? Ain't no way, right? Tow it with the tractor. Does it actually work? You should push it to one side? What do you mean push it to one side? It does? I can get a tractor. It's so hard to see because of the grass. It's so tall. Push. So the door stays open. Fuck. Hold on. I think I can do this. If I'm just quick enough, I think I can get in there before the door closes. Oh, let me let me drive and respawn them. Because you also need it to be leaning, right? So then the door stays open as well. Yeah, I, I closed it. Yeah. I think I can do this, though. Hold on. Towing it is funny, but I think I can do this. But if not, I'll tow it. Let me try. So I need to wait until it's on, like, a certain hill. So I need it to be leaning this way. Like here? Yeah, that should be good enough, right? That's leaning. And I can maybe even kill him from this side, so I'm even quicker. Get in! Yeah, easy. Easy. Don't even need to tell it. I'm way too good at this game. Let's go. Now just don't get out. <laughs> Yeah, even dispose of the body. Yeah, that, that was a quick, that was a clean kill. Let's go. The perfect crime. Yeah. All right. Sorry, coming through. <laughs> Taking up two lanes. How inconsiderate. These guys are getting it massacred. I am so sorry. Instant two stars. Excuse me. Lovely. Sorry. Oh no, don't sink it. Don't fucking sink it. Oh, oh my god. Okay, chill. Chill. Three point turn. Woo! That's close. Let's go. Enforce the time? Uh, I, I don't really have the weaponry for it, is the only thing. I would rather wait until I have better weapons. I could buy guns, but I'm kind of going to be death warping and busted warping around, so. And I'd rather wait until I get Katie as well, if possible. Because then I can die without consequences and whatnot. Alright, 
final call. Is there anything else that I need to get? Why am I saving so much? Because this game crashes a lot. What do I think of CS2? It's cool, but I'm not really a Counter-Strike guy, so I don't really care. But it, it's cool. Sadler shit? True. I didn't know there was a Sadler shit. Where is the Sadler shit? Berkeley's Van in Fallen Tree? Again, I have no idea where Fallen Tree is. <laughs> Crop duster. I could get a crop. If you tell me where it is, I can get a crop duster. Whereabouts is this, uh, this place that you were talking about? Whereabouts is Fallen Tree? For the road north of trucking. And so you get to a compound. So this. North of trucking. Or are we talking further up? I guess I'll put my marker here. Okay, now west. Okay, I'll put it there. I guess we'll slowly head there and... Can I get across? Yeah, I can just go this way. The Sadler shit spawn I know is north of the airstrip. Okay. Well, if there's a convenient one... Then I can get it, but otherwise... Yo. Yoink. I said the far east side, but it turns out to be the far north side. Don't worry, man. I'm used to you not having a fucking clue of what you're talking about. That's in furnace, by the way. Nice pod tire pop. Ooh. Yeah, if I get any somewhat rare vehicles, I'll save afterwards because it's not worth having to refine them when I could just take 10 seconds to save the game if my game crashes. All right, so we're going north. We're going over here and crossing the bridge like here. Or crossing the river even. Reopen the map and look at the big pool of water south where you put the marker. Big pool of water like here? Immediately west. Oh, this thing? This is Fallen Tree. Oh yeah, there it is. So what the fuck are these instructions? Go north and then west and then fucking cross the river. Nowhere near the fucking place where I'm supposed to be going. So, so you're, you're telling me that apparently Berkeley's RC vans spawn... Do I need to go down? Yeah. They spawn on this road. Oh, this is just a straight fucking drop. I thought that would be like a, even a little incline. Nope. There you go, but at least you can get out now. Probably about to lead this for SF. Well, I'm, I'm doing it now. So on this road, specifically, yeah? Or this road? The roads around that have traffic. Okay. Have you ever been to this compound? I have never been to this compound. Okay, everyone keep your eyes out for a Berkeley's RC van. Go further in, I assume you mean further north. Is it a pony? Berkeley's RC van? It's a pony, right? Not a rumpo. Pony with a sticker. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, there is quite a lot of branded vehicles, so I... I can definitely see why they would spawn. I'm with you on that one. These are all rumpos, though. I'm not seeing any ponies. All rumpos. This doesn't seem consistent. Well, in Momo's defense, to my knowledge, I don't think there is a consistent way to get this van. I'm pretty sure it's just... 
the other strategy is just go to another area and hope that you get one. From the looks of it, there doesn't seem to be really a consistent way to get one. Oh well, yeah, besides spawning it in with supply lines, I guess. But that's even not really consistent, you know? It's just more consistent than completely random. It's a burrito. Closer than a rumpo. Yeah, how, how long do we stay here before we give up? How long do we think? That's a pony, I think. Just not quite the pony that we're looking for. Till nine on the timer. Okay, I got you. Everyone yell at me once it's nine hours and we'll move on. Big gamer moments did you miss? You're about to see one right here. Because I'm about to get a Berkeley's RC van on this, this road trip right here. It's literally guaranteed. I wrote the script. And by that one, I meant uh, this one. But there's like no traffic on the roads. Come on. Unmarked. Fuck. Does it have a specific color? Or does the color not matter? Just out of curiosity. Burrito, anyway. Has a specific logo. I know about the logo, but I, I'm, I'm just saying... Can they be several different colors, or...? It's past nine. Alright, one more. Last one. Last one, Copium. Let's go. Last one, and then we, go, we move on. Pretty sure it has random colors. Okay. Burrito. Burrito. Unmarked pony. Unmarked pony. Unlucky. What I could do is whenever we're driving through Badlands, I could always come back here and we can check. Alright, what's the plan? What are we doing now? Are we just going to do Catalina, I guess? I guess we can. And then we can get the, uh, what's it called as well? Quad bike? Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, just go all the way around here. All these ponies you saw are burritos? Oh, really? I thought the burritos had the lights on top, but I guess not. Crop duster on the highest hill near the farm where body harvest west from it. So that's all the way down here, right? Oh no, the farm at Body Harvest takes place elsewhere. You do it like... Where the fuck is the farm? Here. So the highest hill over here? Like here, maybe? I'll put a marker for later. I don't know when it would be convenient to do that. Because any time I go back there is either going to San Fierro, but I need a specific vehicle for that, so... I guess we'll do it, like, before races or something? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Is the mothership a separate car? No, I think it's just, uh, like, a camper or whatever it's called. At least there's no mothership in the list that I can see. Alright, let's do some missions. Fun fact, if you do that strategy where you shoot the door on Definitive Edition, you soft lock. The mission just doesn't progress because Catalina just sits there. Because she's waiting to shoot the door, but because the, shot, the door isn't there, the game isn't smart enough to continue without it. <laughs> Even though in the original, the game is smart enough to go without the door. But in, in the fucking Definitive Edition... The game can't handle you making a decision for her. It's so dumb. 
Mind if I getting Helena using the sex appeal from that buffalo swan? Why do I need Helena again? Does she have a specific car? Is she, is she the one with the bandito that I need? Maybe? Bandito, okay. So I don't need to date her. Because I did, her car isn't locked because it has no doors, right? So I just... Oh, they popped my fucking tire. Can't you get a bandito from a crash mission too? Yeah... But it's probably slow, if I had to guess. If we don't put out, we're frigid bitches. It's kind of far away. How far into the story do you need to get? You need to get all the way to the last mission. Because end of the line part one, which is the final mission, it spawns a, uh, a tank that can only be grabbed during that mission. So, yeah, it's kind of fucked. Does the timer end at final car? Final car. It doesn't matter if you beat the game or not. I'm not planning to beat the game. Or I might do actually for other stuff, but... It doesn't matter if you complete the game or not. That's what I mean. Alright, I guess we take the buffalo, because... Fucking... Backed... Hot back tire is just impossible. Fuck this piece of shit bike. Well, it's not the bike's fault that the cops screwed me, to be fair. Alright, we stay on the quad bike. So I want to hand it in. Uh. Not bad. First two shots I just completely beefed because my mouse was in a weird position. It's alright, Catalina. I've got all day, love. Let's go. Right, let's go and deliver this thing. Uh, basically, western and straight south. Easy enough. No idea why CJ never tells Catalina about his situation properly. Would you tell your personal situation to a stranger you just met a day ago? Well, that's the thing. At this point in the story, they only met each other a day ago, a day ago but they're already dating, right? So, you know, CJ and Catalina have moved on pretty fast. So they're basically lovers and should already tell everyone, you know, they should tell each other everything. Even though they've just met. Oh my god. I thought they were his teeth for a second, but I think it's my hairstyle. But that is still fucked up. <laughs> Jesus. Oh fuck. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure that's the back of my head. But I thought it was his teeth, and I was like, Jesus, that's freaky. Yeah, if that was his teeth, I'd be concerned for his hygiene. Me too. Excuse me. All right, making good progress. Should we go and do crop duster now? Don't you know what road rage is? Since we're we're not really close by, but I feel like we're not going to be any closer because this is at least closer than all the way over here, right? Or all the way over here. I can't think of a. Another time where I'm going to be closer. Apart from like San Fierro, but. Yeah, I say we just go and do it before I forget about it. Because the only other time I'm going to be there is are you going San Fierro? But then I'm, like there's no good time to me for, to get it during that mission. So, so yeah, it doesn't really help. There was a slam ban. Bro, I wasn't looking for a fucking slam ban in Badlands, dude. I wasn't paying attention. In my defense, I didn't think that the one would just fucking spawn. But I need from that road. I don't need anything for the road, but someone told me that a crop duster spawns up here. Apparently. I don't know where. 
I guess I'll keep a car and keep going now. Or not. Fucking hell, CJ. Whereabouts is this thing? Do I need to just keep going up? I guess near the, near the farm you can buy? Over here? Like, is it at the farm? Like, near the farm is vague, you know? You should look around the body harvest farm. Well, which is it? Because, like, you're asking me to look in this entire area. Like, it's it's a massive area. It's on top of some mountain, but I don't remember which one. Yeah, like, I'm just getting told a million different things, and they all contradict one another. Open the map. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Padnet's insane directions. I can just mean I can just imagine Padnet being like, "Open the map," and then just leaves me. <laughs> it just like gets up. Big square north of you. Yeah, this is the map, right? Uh, the map, the farm. To the east, there is a smaller square. <laughs> yep, I see it. To the east, right? Smaller square, yeah, right here. Okay, we'll, we'll start going that way, shall we? Uh, this one. Is it here? Yes, okay. It's good to know that everyone was like... <laughs> well, I say everyone. was like, Okay, guys. Everyone's trolling. Listen up. I'll show you where to go. And then also messes up east and west. <laughs> it's just... It's fucking... The script writes itself, honestly. It's fucking comical. God damn. It's can't, can't make it up. Can't make it up, dude. Alright. Oh, I guess I should have... Maybe... I don't know if I can go from this way. Maybe this was dumb. Yeah, I, I think I need to go back and go up. I could probably run up it, but I want to keep my car, ideally. Okay, here's the path that I need. Oh, I see it! Let's go. Huge. Isn't this thing in a fucking race as well? Or is that the stump plane? I think it's just the stump plane, actually. Uh, Alright. Let's fly this fucking thing back. Never seen this place? Me neither. Now that I've seen this, I actually do remember that there is one in LV, because I remember I used it once. I think it was actually used in any percent at one point. Spray the thingy, how do I do it? It's like, left click? Control? No, right control? Two? There you go. Yeah. That is really hard to see. Um, but yeah, it was used in any percent at some point, I'm pretty sure. It's F? Oh, really? So I can press both 2 and F? That's pretty cool. I'll try the F one. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, guys. I bailed out. Oh, got ya. I got ya. <laughs> you thought I was going to lose it and fall for your silly trap. But you fell for mine. I delivered the car. Got him. Yeah, I, I fucking got you all good. Alright, anything else? Anything else before I, uh... Before I continue on with missions and do Badlands. Okay, Ben, wanna hear an insane strat? Sure. You've got, like, a minute. Or slam van, apparently. But that's not, like, a specific car, right? Did the jet max at the LVP after the last San Fierro race? Uh, sure. Remind me in, like, 12 hours and I'll do that. Oh, you mean Badlands race? Oh, uh, sure. Where do you end the final race? Because you start them here, right? So then you end them here as well? 
So then you go to the pier from like here, I guess. Cause it's here, right, where you get it. Yeah. Is that fast? What like is that faster than just going there later on during LV stuff? Oh, I guess what it could be worth it. You know what? Could also be really good with that pattern there. If I get four stars, I could also try and get an enforcer as well, maybe. Like I could save beforehand or something. And then just try and get a Try and get it. Will I be playing Vice City multiplayer again soon? Um, no current plans to, but I'd definitely be down to play it again. Like, it, it was a good time. You don't get close enough for four stars? Surely, surely I get close enough. It's right next to LV, you know? Heads up for the jet max. You have to go to the pier from the east side. Whenever I try and go there from the west, it never spawns. Okay. I'll be going there from the west, so I guess I'll have to redo it if I don't spawn it in. Predator? No, I, I'm talking about because I'll have four stars, I could get a, uh... I could get a... What's it called? An enforcer. But if, 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 if I don't get four stars from going to the pier, which I... Which is surprising, I thought I would. Then, yeah. I guess I won't. Are you sure it's west? Yeah, Mama. Are you sure it's west? Oh, fuck. I don't want hey, this. Caesar, what up? Go away. Uh, that's annoying. Hold on, let me. So I don't fucking brick myself. Hi, right, man. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Fun fact for you: If I start this mission right here. I will remove save markers from my save file for the rest of the playthrough because of that phone call. Fun little fact for you. If, if you were just innocently playing this challenge and you started that mission right there, you would fuck yourself because of how fucked this game is. What you have to do is you have to start a submission to cancel it. And then... Go on. This mod doesn't sound bugged at all. Fun fact for you, the mod has absolutely no relevance. It happens in the base game as well. You see, now my save markers are back. That happens in the original game. If you were just playing the game casually, and you get that phone call and you start a mission, save files, save markers gone. For the entirety of your playthrough, gone. Uh, Momo, I listened to the entire call. I didn't get the option to say no. Well, that's one way of looking at shit, I suppose. You, you don't get an option to say yes or no on the first call, specifically. Why does that even happen? So, the long and short of it that I remember is there's actually two on-mission variables, and that one on-mission variable is used for regular missions, and the other one is used for those specific courier missions. So what happens is the courier mission starts and you're on mission zero, but you're on mission one of the actual courier on mission flag. So then the save markers are gone, right? Because you can't save unless both of them are set to on mission zero. But you can still start missions. So if you start a mission, then that on mission variable just gets like fucking stuck forever to one. And then the save markers never come back because it always thinks that you're on mission one on the courier variable. Whatever, let's roll. And the only way to fix it is to get a submission vehicle and start a submission and then turn it off, which resets both of the variables back to zero and brings the save markers back. But the important thing is, is that if you start a main story mission when your thing is in that bug state before you start a submission, it's fucked. It's locked like that forever. And there's no way of fixing it unless you like mod the save file to bring them back. It is completely screwed. So, yeah. Just a little PSA to everyone. 
there's a really easy way to brick your save file playing San Andreas casually, because this game is shit. Thinking about it, I don't think I ever talked about that in my Why San Andreas Isn't As Good As You Think video. That would have been a really good thing to talk about, because it's so easy to do, and such poor game design. Damn, that's a shame. I should have thought about that. Oh. Alright, let's go and do races. Time to remake that video, yeah. Episode 2 of Why San Andreas Sucks. If you're a casual, you can never figure it out on your own. Yeah, you would never think to do the submission trick to fix it. You would just start a mission and lock yourself out. You, you would do that every single time. What did I miss? Oh, nothing. Just me being seconds away from completely bricking my uh, save file. But luckily saving it because I knew a really particular dumb bug in this game that is really specific. But if I didn't know about it, I would have bricked my save and lost nine and a half hours of progress. But luckily, I'm a huge fucking loser and know all that shit. I'm not sure how you explained the bug is how it worked. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. It's been years since I looked into this with Patrick ages ago. But, yeah. Don't quote everything I say because, yeah, I'm not a code monkey. But what you need to know is this game sucks. Did y'all see Rockstar and RDR PS4? Yeah, it's embarrassing. I don't think I talked about this on stream, but it, I don't think there's really much to say besides... Rockstar just being a joke, as always. Releasing a 13-year-old game for $50, and it's literally worse than the original release because it has missing features. And they're only re they said they're releasing it on modern PlayStation systems, but it's a PS4 and Switch exclusive, which is an old system, PlayStation system, not a modern one. Yeah, just absolutely fucking trolling. And people will still buy that garbage. You still need a ZR? I don't, Momo. If it if I did it, it would be right at the end of the list. I got that last stream. But I do need an elegy. Didn't know it has cut stuff. It has no multiplayer in it, DPS. The original did. <laughs> it's just the same game but with less features. It's crazy. Oh yeah, and then the fucking CEO of uh, Take Two or whatever, whoever it was, said, um, <laughs> said, oh yeah, it's a commercially accurate pricing. That's just such a good way of saying we want more money. It's such CEO talk. It's so disgusting. And then that same fucking CEO took home, what was it? He, incident, he took home $16 million last year in profits, in his like wages or his salary. And this year he took like, what, 40 plus million? So basically what they said is we're going to let off a load of fucking staff. We're going to lay off like 50% of our staff and I'm going to double my salary. Even though I'm already a billionaire, I need more millions. It's such a disgusting company, man. Like, I'm fucking ashamed at this point of being like... Not affiliated, that's the wrong word, but you know what I mean, like, being a representative of GTA, which is in a representative of fucking Rockstar and therefore Take Two. They're such a disgusting c company. Alright, so... I just need to fling myself over here. I can do that. Is it better to go north or west or east? Definitely east, and then we'll go to that like scissor pin and play ourselves off. So I'm gonna approach it from like southeast. Is that the jet max over there? Oh, it's like a jet max. I didn't prove, nor did I disprove your theory, Momo. Hope this helps. Is that a reefer? Do I already ha I already have a reefer, right? I don't need this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already have this. Just just curious if I need to come back or not. 
Yeah, this is a refry. I already have that. Alright. Uh, God, this is going to be a long fucking ride back. I guess I just go south. And go all the way around, I guess. Deliver it to Bayside. Can I deliver things to Bayside if I haven't unlocked it? Even then, that's so far away as well. Yeah, fuck that. I'm going this way. More content if I go this way. And if there's one thing I've learned about you guys is that you love content. You can deliver them. Is that just boats or can I deliver like cars and stuff as well if I can get them there? I can deliver anything. Okay, good to know. So you guys were talking about predators before. Predator is police boat, right? Just so we're all on the same page. Yeah. Okay. To reiterate, the predator only spawns in traffic or with a once level. When you say in traffic, you're talking about like in boat traffic, right? Like it can just be randomly driving about. More proof, by the way. They don't always attack you on site, even if you're not on a mission. Not that I'm still mad about it, but I'm still mad about it. He means on the road. That's what I. That's what I meant. Like, say in traffic, it's a boat. It's not really traffic. Yeah, but boat traffic. Okay. Good to know. I'll try and keep it up. Yo, Al's journey. What's up? Give me this bike. Give me this fucking bike. How does that not kill? Boom. Totally worth it just for this specific bike. Right, anything else before I leave Badlands? Any final calls for vehicles that I can get in Badlands? Is there anything else that I wanted to get? I think I got everything. Tractor, I'm going to wait until I unlock Desert. I have all the trailers. I have all the trucks. Lucky Slam Van, maybe, but I can just come and get that later. What rich traffic cars do you still have? Is Elegy rich traffic? Merit as well? Date Helena for Bandito. Good shout. Where the fuck is Helena? Oh god. Isn't she like up here somewhere? Like here maybe? Where's Helena spawned? Blueberry. I thought so. That's so far away, man. Well, we've got a bike. Bandito spawns at high noon. Yeah, but that's miles away. I guess that's kind of close to Bayside, actually, but... Whatever. We'll do this now. I like getting cars out the way so I don't forget about them later. There's the one shooting on the roof. I think so, yeah. Get oh, I need to get the buffalo. Right. Right, I need to be sexy. I forgot. Uh, okay. It's not close to Bayside. Is it not? Alright, uh, yeah, eh. it's fairly close, but it's only about the same as fucking, yeah. Buffalo is at Katalai, Gat Katalai Naya, Naya Naya. Jesus fucking Christ, pardon it. I went the wrong way. Look what you made me do, man. That's Barbara up there, Helena is the farm girl. Bro, can you guys just give me fucking accurate information so I don't have to Google it? Go to ammunition. Okay. I'm being told two different things, man. You guys need to make up your fucking mind. Alright, let's go and see. How do I even know which one? Like, will she say, like, Hi, I'm Barbara, or whatever. <laughs> like... Will, will she even talk to me and introduce herself? So she's up here, right? Okay, who is this? Uh, you wanna go out sometime, buddy? Helena. This my who was it? Right here. Oh no. Who was it? Hey, baby. Who was it who said that was Barbara? You're getting banned. Okay. Where does she live? 
Anyone know where she lives? <laughs> how, how do I get her to like spawn in? Do I have to like go back, uh, go uh, like wait a bit? She surely lives nearby, right? West of trucking? Oh, fucking hell, I got all back. She lives like here? Oh, I do vaguely remember this actually. Yeah, like here, right? On a farm outside of Starter City. <laughs> yes. The Starter City. I think you've got to wait a while before the heart blip spawns, I think. Like, you, you can't date people straight away. I think. I might have to go and save or something. Do you have to take her on a date? I don't think that's true, because then how would you know where she is? Yeah, there it is. It just takes a while to spawn. Anyone know what time of day she's there? <laughs> I need her car. Oh, darling, I'm here to steal your car. Is it here? That's not quite what I'm looking for. She is in, though. Can you just steal her car? Yeah. So the good thing about the girlfriend cars are is they're usually locked. However, her bandito can't be locked because it has no doors. So she can't lock it. Apparently the bandito spawns from 8 till 12 and 14 till 2. Well, it's between 8 and 12 right now and it's not here, so... Yeah. Bollocks, it does. Hmm. I can go and save, maybe. Maybe the saddler is blocking it. Maybe. I I'll drive away, save, and come back, I suppose. Was most of that cost from delivering vehicles? Yeah, pretty much all of it is from delivering vehicles. These, this this mod makes you stupidly rich. Still no bandito. Hmm. Maybe I have to take her on a, out on a date to spawn the car? Oh no, I'm just pulling at straws. Try inside the barn. Is it even open? Maybe you need 50%? Nah, bollocks. There's no way you need 50%. Reloading? Maybe. The other barn? Do you this one you mean? Those Molotovs. Wait, there's loads of fucking weapons. Yo! Oh, picked them up. Oh, because I've got satchels. Yoink. 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 Mega. Helena's burrito spawns at 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. and 12 till 14. Oh, so GTA Wiki is just full of shit, and I'm here at the wrong time. Brilliant. Okay. Fuck's sake. Okay. 2 a.m. and 8 a.m. Of course, the wiki just has random fucking times that are just complete bullshit. But it also only spawns on her free days. Does that mean when she's there? Like when she's home? Like when she's not at work, maybe? But yeah, it's... Yeah. You know anyone can edit the wiki? Yes, I'm aware. And that's why it's full of all sorts of misinformation. And should be never used as an actual resource, because it's useless. It's always wrong. I still don't see it. Uh, still not fucking here. Uh, I guess I need to wait for another day. What day is it right now? Monday? I guess I'll check... Tuesday? I don't know when her free days are. <laughs> it's still not here, man. What fucking day do I need to be here? What day? A free day. What is a free day? Weekend? What's the issue? There's a vehicle that I need that isn't spawning. 
And to everyone saying, I'll oh, just get it on San Fierro Beach. I've committed now, bro. I have long committed to this. I, I want to find this out. For, for science, you know. I, I need to figure this out. I think you need a 50% relationship for the car to spawn. I think you are misinformed, my friend. Fuck. Where is it supposed to spawn? And before I'm just looking in the wrong place. German GTA wiki says the bandito spawns all the time. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. All right. Let's try Thursday. You sure this is not Barbara? I'm starting to gaslight myself into thinking I might have the wrong girlfriend. Oh, I have a... I don't know why I took this. I have a fucking buffalo in my fucking garage. Whatever. I'll keep the buffalo for import, export. Goku. You don't need Bandito now. No shit, genius. Oh, but I want it now. And that's the important part. You have to do import export. I don't have to do it technically, but I'm going to do it because it will get me a Euros in a very consistent way. You consider doing a little jig? I've considered giving up on this. That's what I've considered. Bandito spawns from 50%. Ain't no fucking way I've been trolled this hard. If you're actually right and it genuinely does, uh, spawn from 50%. Everyone who fucking fed me info about this thing is getting removed from my chat room. Because that is such a giga troll. Bro, I have been here every single weekday and she is not here. The, uh, the only other yeah potential thing is that the free day is only on a weekend. You let them gaslight you into thinking there's a vehicle called the Bandito in this game. Wake up, bro. True. All right, let's see if it's a weekend that matters. I don't see it. Nope. All right. Wait till 8. But the script, the, the fucking code of the game, man, literally says that it stops spawning at 8 a.m. Like, are you really arguing against the code of the game? That, that is a bold thing to argue against. I found it at 11.30 a.m. on Saturday. Just ain't no way, right? And what do you mean? Like, yeah. I don't fucking know, man. I don't, I don't buy it. Wait, that's busy hours. Oh, Paldenet, you fucking bastard. You fucking dickhead. Oh, my fucking god, man. Oh, I just did this seven fucking times. You absolute fucking dickhead. Look at that! Oh, you... It fucking spawns in right in front of you the second you hit 8 o'clock. Ain't no fucking way, man. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, what, what was that guy's name? Where are you? Let me, let me scroll up. What's your name? SDJX2 in the chat. I would like to give you a personal apology on behalf of all of us. You were right, and we were wrong, and I am sorry. On behalf of everybody. That, that a personal apology on behalf of the, the Grand Theft Auto Spinner and Community. <laughs> give that man a sub. <laughs> Thank you, Root. Doing God's work. There you go. That's how you win a. That's how you win a sub, baby. All right, let's go ahead and hand this fucking thing in. How long have I been spending doing this shit? Like 15 minutes. I said the correct time of day first. I don't know, Momo. I think like you're. Uh... I think you're like you might be. What's the word? Like 
fame jumping bandwagoning right now, you know what I mean? Like trying to get in on the hype. <laughs> oh dear. What a day. What a fucking day. That doesn't fit into a clip. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a long one for the highlight video. Maybe load up my game and try it myself. Nah, dude, you were right. You were one hundred percent right. All right, uh, what's next? <laughs> what, what what were we even fucking doing? That was everything, right? That now we're just going to do truth, I think. What is the truth? And yeah, be aggro to me. Be angry. Dunk. Boom. That was a fantastic fucking spawn, by the way. You guys just missed the most incredible scenes you would ever see. Me spending 20 minutes trying to figure out where a certain car spawns from dating a girlfriend. And then somebody read the code, but read it wrong and told me the times where it doesn't spawn. And told me that it does spawn there. So I spent 20 minutes looking for it. Because I was looking at all the wrong times instead of the correct times. It was a big fucking meme and we just we just finally got it. Ban that person. I'm tempted. Don't you don't you worry. I am not I I am I am not, you know, removing that out of my thought process right now. I think a lot of people are gonna get banned on this stream. Any reason no one got banned is because backseating is required? True. If I tried to do this by myself, it would take me way longer, to be fair. Momo is absolutely right. That's the only reason he's still typing in my chat room right now. I missed. Ah! Alright. Uh, this way. You can't ban me, I answered your question on Discord the other day. True. Paldonet is more useful than he is a troll. But it's just sometimes when he trolls, he really fucking trolls. You know? No, I don't need to deliver the mothership, it's just a camper. There's nothing unique about this thing. We're in San Fierro, how exciting. Is Bandito worth rooting into old ants? <laughs> Should we mean Badlands? Well, you mean like hey, any percent or in the SSSA route, you mean? Do you need to do export vehicles the same way you did regular SSA? Yeah. I need to do import and export because it's going to give me some fixed spawns for some rare vehicles. So. What do you respawn if you death warp for Bayside Lighthouse? Oh. Alright, massive. So now we're in San Fierro, uh, what else can we do? What can we do now we're here that we didn't, couldn't do before? I need to do driving school, but I haven't unlocked that yet. Blue over the cop car. True, that is actually a, a thing that I should do right away. You're absolutely right. I can do that right now. Hopefully I'll get one to spawn. Bike will do. Oh, a Feltzer. Hold on, let me, let me stall this in a garage. Yoink. Oh, there's a Merit. Oh yeah, right here. No, fuck. There's one right here. Yoink. Good call. Yoink. Alright, I need a cop car. Give me a cop car. There is one. Okay, so... I'm gonna go and deliver this, even though I've already technically delivered it. So, to anyone who wasn't here on the previous streams... So, in the first hour, I collected like 50 cars, and then my fucking game crashed, right? So, what I did was I started a new game because I didn't have any save progress. So I lost it all and I didn't want to redo it. So what I did was I 
I started using a trainer to spawn in all the cars that I'd collected, right? But I didn't know that the San Fierro Police Department car and the LSPD car are two different cop cars. So I spawned in a cop car and it was a San Fierro one and then handed it in without realizing. So then I handed in the LS one and it counted as two different cars. So technically I cheated and spawned in a San Fierro one too early. So what I'm going to do to make things right is I said as soon as I get to San Fierro, I will then drive a San Fierro police car all the way to the lighthouse and I will hand it in even though it won't count just so then we're even because then I would have handed it in anyway. Sound good? Sound good. Yeah, invalid run. But it's either that or redo like an hour worth of progress and fuck that. So. No reset. No, Ben, I don't think I'm okay with that plan. <laughs> I think you should reset. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not. I'm too committed now. Would it be better to unlock LV for the next car so the closer lighthouse is available? Yeah, for the northern part of San Fierro, yes, probably, but the south side, probably not. Yeah, I need to figure out a decent route to drive back because this is mega slow. Seems like a long ass drive. I think that's just because I'm taking a really shit route. And I have two stars, which doesn't help. The important part is that I'm no longer a cheater once I hand this in. All right, so that is an SFPD car successfully, quote unquote, delivered. There you go. Now we're even. Now you're not allowed to call me a cheater. From this point on, nobody is allowed to troll it. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so while I head back to San Fierro, try and figure out a route, I guess. So what is the best route to get from, like, here? Because they're all pretty awkward. Like, maybe this road instead? But it's pretty indirect as well. I posted a route. Okay, let me check. Oh, you go, like... You go across... And then you go to, like... What the fuck is that? Why did you pick a map? With so many fucking things on it, so I can't tell what's what. You go here, and you go round to like here somewhere, and then you go under the tunnel and like follow it all the way through, I think. Yeah, the, the tunnel. Alright. Roger that. Can I date Katie yet? No, this car isn't nearly as sexy enough. I need a sexy car. Ooh, speaking of sexy car, I can get a bullet. That has a fixed spawn and it's sexy. Where is the bullet? It's near... Let me think. It's pretty close by, right? It's near like where you do the Outrider stuff. Which is like here. Right? No. Here. Let me go east. Yeah, I'm a fucking genius. And this car's probably sexy, right? Yeah, I have mega sex appeal. We can go and see Kate as well. Oh, Katie, darling. I already have two girlfriends and you can be my third. Maybe you should work out a bit more. Ow! What? I'm not sexy enough? Bro, how? I am mega sexy. What does she want? Does she wants me to be mus more muscly? Maybe my car wasn't close enough? Hello? I have to drive and come back, I think. But in an any percent run, 
You look way less sexy. Oh, I scuffed my car, I think. Fuck. Dude, cornrows is a sexy haircut. I have a sexy haircut, I have a sexy car, and I have more muscles than I would in a regular any percent run, so I should be sexier now. Hey, I don't like to be strong. What the like fuck? I mean, we can go to the gym, I guess. It's literally right here. I already have a sexy haircut, Lashenka. My stats are obviously just fucked. It's alright, we can just get fucking ripped. I have a great idea that would improve this game tremendously. Scrap the girlfriend mechanic. Agreed. Surely that's enough, Clueless. Yeah, CJ, look at you. Uh, wrong doll. <laughs> How embarrassing. Walk in, lift the dumbbells, do fucking, like, what, 50 reps, walk out, flex in the mirror, and then head out the wrong door. <laughs> what a fucking boy CJ is. Absolute legend. Alright. Katie, I am so fucking sexy right now. You agree? Yeah, that's what I thought. Women are so shallow. Alright. Cool. Now we can hand this thing in. Do I want to do Blood Bowl? Do I get something from Blood Bowl? Oh, Blood Ring Banger, I guess. I guess I'll have to do that at some point, yeah. Yo, you good? You're holding up traffic, bro. Hey! I'm trying to help this guy. Don't mind us, officer. What is this cop doing? <laughs> Some serious self-defense right there from the cop. Just ignoring the fact that this woman even exists. Just chasing him off. He's retreating. He needs calling for backup. Oh, he's getting out. And now he's shooting her. <laughs> Did he just gun her down? Wow, look at that. Self-defense. She was punching him. He ran away, called for backup, and then fucking gunned her down. What a boy. That's the best you got. You don't need this no more. There we go. I helped him. He's he's back on the he's back on the ground now. You're welcome, buddy. What a good, you know, good upstanding member of society I am. I just helped that poor gentleman get stuck out of the ground. Yeah, I should have got a good citizen bonus, you're right. So I launched myself off this cliff, yeah? Like down here? Let's see if I remember my controls to control a car in mid-air. Huge. Now where do I go? Just straight across? Or do I take the railroad? Let me check the picture. I can't fucking tell. I just cut across by the looks of it. Now yeet again? Alright. Oh, you can just, yeah, just go across here. And then, I don't want to be on this because it goes like round. I want to I go across here. That was somewhat efficient. You fucking bastards. Need to get girlfriend cars? I mean, yeah. If, if it's a unique vehicle, then yeah. I've already got the Hustler and the Bandito. So, for Blood Bowl, do I just need to win it? Is that all I need to do? 
Just win? I can do that. If I had to win like several times in a row, I'd be upset. But just winning is doable. Like it's shit, don't get me wrong, but whatever. Blood Bowl's difficulty is vastly exaggerated by people who get easily angered when things don't go their way. So me, then? <laughs> so, so me? We can go do Blood Bowl now. I ain't afraid. Alright, let's do it. This, this thing is so fucking easy. I've legit never had issues with this in my life. What a hacker. And of course it spawns right behind me. Never mind, this is fucking impossible. Give me this! Fuck you. Got two really good spawns, and now it just spawns behind me every single time. Yeah. Look at this guy. Oh, and then it just goes right fucking past me. And again. That one spawns in front of me. That one goes right past me. Then I turn around and it's right behind me again. I turn around and it's right behind me again. Very epic, dude. I'm just about lose this one. Yeah, I'm not going to get that one in a million years. No, that one. No, that one. They're just spawning on top of that guy. Look at that shit. That's so unfair. Oh, look at those idiots. Just driving into that car corpse. Please? Easy. Never failed it in my life. E is easiest thing I've ever done, honestly. Let's go. Alright, Blood Ring Banger. Is it just the one car? Just this, yeah? Let's go and take this back. Oh, fuck. Uh! Yep, never any doubt. Nobody's ever flipped from that. Ever. Yeah, we'll deliver this. We'll deliver the felt set and the merit. And then maybe some other small stuff. Some small Fixian Piero spawns. We'll go from there. Check it for Minyata and Buccaneer in SF. Question for you. What in the fuck is a Buccaneer? What on earth is that? Two dark car that looks like a picket off in the front. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. I also still need a slam van if and when I can find one as well. And I'm pretty sure you can get them in San Fierro, right? Like just in general. In regular traffic, I think. LG in Chinatown, yeah. I don't know if you can get it in this area, but no, you can definitely in certain areas. I have a VOD channel, I do. And I every everything that I stream on Twitch just gets immediately exported out to YouTube now. Which is really nice, because then people who don't want to watch on Twitch using Twitch's shitty ready, you know, video player. They can uh, just have the VODs on YouTube, which is nice. Yeah, if you miss a stream, you can just watch it later in your own time, which is nice. Looking for some cozy content when I'm, when I'm in bed? I got you. And I should probably do more promotion on YouTube. That's something that I've been thinking about doing, especially if I do, like, you know narrative pieces like I'm working on a uh, little, little insider thing for you all on the stream and the VOD people I'm uh I'm actually working on my first scripted project in a while about uh Petrus's sub three hour San Andreas run just talking about the differences between like you know how SA went from like three hours 40 to under three hours in less than two years and talking about all the new stuff in the San Andreas run like Monster Times 8 and the new duping, LS duping route and stuff like that. So, yeah. That's in the works. I don't know when it'll be out or anything. I'm, it's just like, you know, a, a project. I'm like halfway through writing the script. So, yeah, I'm going to do a video on it. 
Uh, but yeah, so because that's like a scripted piece, I can put in like plugs if I want to, right? Like I can say, you know, oh, before we get started, you should, you should remember that I stream on Twitch and uh, all the stuff I do on Twitch, you can see it on the VODs channel. Like the video, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Like I don't do enough of that stuff and it does really help. As much as it's like, oh, pandering, you know, please like the video, whatever. It does actually help. Like, it's proven that it helps significantly. So, but those kind of videos, looking forward to it. We'll make sure to fucking slap the shit out of that subscribe button, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, I do think that promoting the VOD channel on my YouTube videos would get it a lot more traction as well. Like, not that there's not a lot of traction already. There's already a surprising amount. But... You know, I, I could probably get more. You know, I, I should promote my own stuff. Alright, what else do I need? I need a fire truck with a ladder. That's this thing, right? Hey, look, I'm right here. <laughs> we'll do this. Can I move this thing? I can. Wait. Can I? No, I can't. You need driving school? True. That'll be next stream, though. I guess you can't use missions to force vehicles to spawn. I can, but most of them are pretty slow. Like, those strategies aren't worth it a lot of the time. Isn't Bayside Lighthouse close to the LS1? Well, I don't currently have Bayside unlocked. But also, no, it's not faster. Excuse me. What is the required time for the VC and Tawny? It depends on what other people get. You have to get in the top 10 fastest times out of everyone. Alright. We're at 140 vehicles. I think it's a good place to call it. It's past 10 and I'm getting pretty tired. Yes, hello everyone. How's it going? Welcome. Um, Plan for today. I don't really know. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like the next, like, big main objective of this playthrough now is to get through San Fierro and Desert to unlock the other um, lighthouse. So I'm not going all the way to LS for a bunch of different stuff. So that's the plan. Let's start the timer. And let's get moving. Beagle at airport, hundreds on driving school for hot knife, work on import export. Oh, true, we have import export to do. Oh yeah, so that's that's the big next goal, I think, is import export. Because what a place oh, to make a U turn, man. Um, so yeah, import export will get us access to a load of different cars. That's a good shot. Very good idea. Yeah, driving school is a shout. Driving school we can do pretty early. Because we only need to complete, what, like, deconstruction to get the call for that, I think. Do I need a forklift? No, I have the forklift. Four hours of driving school? I don't know, man. I don't think it'll take me that long. The only the only one that I'm concerned about getting gold on is, um... What's it called? Uh, Alley-oop. I, I suck at that, like, barrel roll one. Alright, so... What do we need to look for in general SF traffic? Is the next question. Is there any, I'm just gonna have a quick look on the list. Is there anything that spawns around here that I need? Just in random traffic. And what is the beagle as well? You guys are talking about a beagle at the airport? I don't know what that is. Oh, Buccaneer and Manana. Yeah, good shot. Me trying to remember what a Manana looks like. Kind of looks like that, right? But it's not that. It's a plane? Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Let's um, do missions up until deconstruction so we can unlock driving school. So everyone keep your eye out for Manana's and Buccaneers. I've never seen a Buccaneer in my life and I don't really know what it is. I remember people saying it's like an ugly lowrider or something. So keep your eye out for that. I have a felt, alright? Yeah. Alright, let's start. Mission. 
What qualifies as Da Nang Boys areas? I should have taken the train tracks. This is questionable. It's the basing and North San Fierro Road. There's also a couple of things that were best to do on Outrider, right? Which were like getting the launch boat and the Patriot from the base. From memory, something like that. Because you don't get a wanted level during the mission. And you want a timer anyway. Launch on vertical, bud. I'd rather get it sooner rather than later if possible. I'd rather not leave things until last minute. Because then I forget about them super easily. Isn't there a hot dog van on the highway to Angel Pine from LS? Yeah, people have mentioned that. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you... I don't remember the reason why I didn't get it. I think someone mentioned it also hot dog van spawns after cutthroat business. In like a really convenient location right next to the lighthouse. Which I know directly contradicts what I just said, where I'd rather collect stuff earlier rather than later. But if it's going to be right next to the... Uh, if it's going to be right next to the lighthouse, then it makes sense for me to describe it later. Save me an entire trip driving back and forth, you know. I looked into the Uranus traffic spawns and holy shit, this thing sucks. Does that thing have an, like, an easy way to get it? Or do I just have to risk traffic? Uranus spawns at one car showrooms after completing the missions. Okay. Yeah. If there's a fixed spawn, then that's all good. <clears throat> I'm planning to do those because you need to do all those missions for um, import export anyway, right? Yeah, you have to do all the missions for import export anyway. So, if I get a free Uranus spawn, then that's ideal. In driving school anyway. Oh yeah, true. I forgot that you actually needed to do driving school to unlock one cars as well. Do you need to just complete it, I think? You have to just, like, ask driving school to unlock the missions. I'd forgotten all about that as well, but yeah, I was doing it anyway, so... Doesn't matter. This strat won't work, by the way, because you can't do it with service vehicles, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Not trying to go mega quick anyway. You want goals for hot knife? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I just meant I forgot that I needed to do driving school anyway, even if I didn't care about the hot knife, because I I needed to do it for uh, unlocking one cars as well. Oh, excuse me. This guy has mega health. I guess that makes sense why you uh, use a shotgun usually, or rockets. Must be the new boy. Yeah, 99% sure this strap won't work, but we'll try anyway. Oh, that is the merit. It did kind of work. I got the slower spawn, but it's better than hey, that's nothing, a I suppose. He's a good tipper. Here you go. Cool. Uh, I Excuse me. Here. Doing this in rain is really not ideal, but whatever. Always a goofy cutscene when you jump into it. Alright, let's not fucking crash this thing and embarrass myself. I hate this drive because it's mega sketch. There's like a ton of busy junctions that you have to drive through. And despawning can just end up in a car spawning right in front of you, so it like doesn't even really help. Like it's equally as risky as just running the junctions and hoping you don't get pulled into by something. Oops, I missed my turn, which also doesn't help. Sorry guys. Very much an illegal maneuver. Excuse me. Thank you. You can actually damage the car by hitting peds as well. Which is like the worst thing ever. Not to be dramatic, but it's literally the worst thing ever. If you guys want to see something mega funny? Check this. Stay 
I bet none of you have ever seen this before. Hello? This wee tip? I seen some highly suspicious you should come check out. Look guys, he's leaning against the lamppost, but the lamppost isn't there. How is CJ doing that? Do you know who you're fucking Look, he's, he's levitating. You badge, you moron. Brilliant. Shut up. Absolutely Find brilliant. Back there. Found anything? He's got half a Mexico. Actually, I haven't. I feel like every time I do here. this, what? one person but hasn't I've never seen, seen it. it. How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy. Look at CJ. Look at how silly he looks. Everyone, look. He's floating. Insane. I already got a dozer, right? I don't need this. I'm pretty sure I already have one. Yeah, I do. I don't remember how to do this. Oh, God, no! Oh, God. Oh, good Easy. Easiest strategy of all time. Are you guys all super excited for driving school? You better be, because this might take a while. Because getting all golds is kind of hard. Especially when you're a shit driver like me. Welcome. All right. 360, how do you do this? Oh, you just do it like that. Okay. Alright, first try every single one. Let's go. Boom. 180. I'll get will be fun. That's the only one that I'm legitimately concerned that might take me a while. 99. I was just a bit too slow. I, I I took the corner way too slow. I need to be quicker. Fuck. I need to go quick while not destroying the cones. There we go, that's much better. It's all about the final position. There you go. But when you go quick, you have more time to, you know. Uh, how do I exit? F? When you, when you go quick, you have more time to line up, like, the perfect, uh... The perfect ending, so to speak. Pop and control. That's too far from the end. I need to go faster. I was concerned about popping the cones, but I need to just be fast. Go. Burn and lap. Oh, yeah, this is the quite long one, actually. I think this is just raw speed. I don't know what I have to do it in under, though. Anyone know what time I have to beat? I have no idea. That was mega slow. 34 seconds. That was some big knowledge off the dome there. I respect that. Fuck. I can do 34, that's that's winnable. I just need to not fucking smash any cones. I don't know if I should be doing handbrake turns here or focusing more on like racing lines around each corner, I don't know. That's ideal if you just whiz around the cone like that. That's kinda hard to do. I don't think I'm fast enough here. Um a few seconds off. Yeah. <clears throat> Gotta be quicker on those corners. He is not aware. Is there some super speedrun trick that I need to learn to do this? Like a way to like skip a lap or something? Whenever I swing my rear end like that, it's not good. It's really slow to pick up the speed again. This is easier to go on 60 FPS. Oh, really? I don't want to cheat, dude. I'll give it a few more tries. If I if I don't get close, 
then uh, then we can do it on. I need to stop hitting the fucking cone because it must be doable on on twenty five. Because like, Hundo runs pre third party FPS gap. I'm pretty sure. I know they didn't get golds in this, did they? They didn't need to. That's too slow. If I do any slow corner like that, I just need to reset. Because it's actually kind of tight. I'm always like two seconds off every time. Oh wait, I got... Huh. I got 35.7 and that's 100%. Okay. I thought it was 34 seconds. I've been trolled. It's under 36 seconds, which is much more doable. 34 would have been hard. Misguide you, sorry. It's all good. As, lo as long as I did it, that's all that matters. Cone coil, what is this? Oh, this is pretty easy, I think. Do you have to do it either way? I don't think it matters, is it? I was a bit too far forward there, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't have to slow on the final one. You can just go this way. That's too far back. It's difficult to get that final landing. You gotta like park in the perfect spot. That's all that really matters. Too far forward. How's driving school treating you? It's going fine. I just did the one where you're gonna do laps. And I'm just on this little slow and run now. Yeah, but it'll all depend on alley -oop. That's all it'll depend on. That's the one that will be a problem if it's going to be a problem. I'll either do it like within five tries or we'll be there for an hour. I can see it happening now. There we go. I feel like that wasn't really that straight, but fair enough. I'll take it. The lap one is the one I dread the most. That was pretty tough. I, I wasn't expecting that one to be that hard, but it was. This is probably quite tough as well, actually. You need to get like kind of like a perfect... Angle. You do have a bit of time actually there though. You do actually have quite a bit of time to like change your angle and stuff if you need to. I'm going way too early. I need to. I'm scared of hitting the cars. I hit the... If you hit the cars, it's over. There's no way you can get 100%, I think. That was pretty good. I was just not quite facing forward. I like going slow is also better as well. Instead of like, instead of like trying to fling yourself in there, you just go a bit slower. There we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah, slower definitely helps. Alright, wheelie weave. I remember this one being kind of whack as well. Because you like damage your car all the time. I feel like there's a there's a strategy to this that I'm just not aware of. Like how do you how do you drive like this? Without just <laughs> Like are you supposed to press A and D to keep it going? Did a bit of damage. Like, what is the strategy here? Because if you, like... If you go too far like this, you damage your car. And you you take 2% away every time. But then if you don't, like, scratch your car a little bit, you don't go far enough. It's like, I don't get it. Just luck? It does feel like luck, yeah. Because there I took like no damage, but I scratched my car pretty bad, you know? Damn. That was pretty good, but wasn't quite facing the right way. That's better. Like, how is that not perfect, man? It's fucked.
Bruh, it's right in the marker. There we go. Let's go. Is it alley -oop term now? No, not quite. Which one's this one? Oh, I remember this one. Whip that fuck around. Boom. Fuck. <laughs> that was almost really cool, but not quite. Easy. I definitely hit my car there. You saw it like damaged, but it didn't didn't care. Pit maneuver. I forgot how many fucking tests there were in this game. Jesus. This one you have to like step stop near the car, I think. Like once you spin them around, you have to be near them. Uh, yeah, heading doesn't matter. Position, you need to be near the car, I think. There we go. That was perfect. I just crashed into him at the end, so I lost it. It's kind of dumb that they expect you to pit maneuver someone and somehow not damage your car. Like, this is going to damage the car, no matter what. Because you're pit maneuvering someone, you're crashing into them, essentially. And you have to pit maneuver them pretty hard to make it spin, you know? There we go. Alright, it's that time. Alley oop. Let's go. Which way do I need to turn it? That way? Is it left? Or is it right that I need to spin? I need to actually figure this out with my controls first. Okay, that didn't do anything. Is it A and D that I use to spin? I didn't do anything either. What are my buttons to spin in midair? <laughs> Is it arrow keys? Let me just go off the ramp and test. Okay, it's, it's arrow keys. So I need to spin... I need to hold left, I think, to get the flip. Yeah. I just need to land it a bit better. It's dumb that it doesn't even give you a lineup as well. Like, it expects you to, like, make your own liner. You, you're like, it faces, the, faces you on the ramp straight, but you're intended to go off the side. It's fucking hard. Oh, I hit the brakes. Alright, that was good. I just didn't land facing forwards, which is what they want. Uh! Oh. I'm getting a reference, though, for the flip. Oh! <laughs> that counted! <laughs> Let's go! That was like a fucking tray flip I did with the car. I didn't even really alley-oop it. I just fucking very old kick flip my car and it worked. Let's go. All right, city's looking. I think this is just like a time thing, right? I don't think this is too hard. I don't know the time limit for this. Isn't there like a proper route that you're supposed to take here? And you go like down this way? No, I, I don't know it, so I'm not gonna fucking nice one. This car just spins out constantly. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's like a, a dedicated route where you're supposed to go like northeast to this. But I don't actually know the route, so I'm not going to try and wing it. I'm just going to drive what I think is the right way. But I'm pretty sure you just got to do this without stopping, without crashing. And in a certain time limit. I think that's all you got to do. 120 seconds. I can do that. I might just have to plan out a route a little bit. But I feel like it should be quite easily doable. I'll just go back the way I came. What's your problem? Yep, get spun out literally at the last second. Awesome. 
10 seconds away from beating it and some guy just fucking t-bones me awesome yeah there's also quite a lot of luck involved in this as well because it's just luck whether somebody turns into you or not like traffic light cycles and whether they choose to turn versus going straight and it's kind of hard to predict random pet spawns stuff like that But it's pretty consistent. Just gotta keep going fast. And eventually you'll make it through without hitting anything. Driving school looks totally useless. I'll be honest, right now I have like, I'm pretty sure I have like, you know, a good amount of driving skill, like maybe 50 to 75%. The driving feels no different to when you first start the game and have zero. It feels absolutely identical. I, I don't feel like I'm driving any better. The cars don't feel like they're any better or faster or they don't have more grip or anything like that. It just feels exactly the same. That gold? Yeah. Let's go. You have close to 100? Doesn't feel like it. All right, let's get our rewards. So you get a bullet, Super GT, and most importantly, the hot knife. I'm pretty sure the only way, the only other way that you can get this car is with girlfriends, and that's like mega slow. Uh, let me get this fucking blister out of the way. I don't need this shit. Save this in the garage just to. I'll make a save and then we'll go and grab it. Or we'll go and deliver it even. Did it spawn an LV? No idea. I don't think so. No girlfriend has a hot knife? Does she not? Maybe I'm wrong then. I thought one of them did. Is this the only way to get this car then? Is there no other way to obtain it? Police abuse. Oh, um, vigilante you mean. When you, when you say police abuse, I didn't quite know what you meant, but vigilante. Okay, well, good to know that I didn't really have a choice then, because fuck spamming vigilante for this thing. Does anyone know um, what other requirements there are for unlocking one cars? Like, I assume I need to make it to a certain mission in San Fierro, right? Like, you, you complete driving school, but you also need to do a certain mission. Does anyone know what that is? Can you fuck off, man? He's literally stuck to me. Desert missions? Oh, so I need to co complete San Fierro, is what you mean. Yeah, yeah, you can boom, boom, okay. Good to know. So I suppose main goal then today is to just complete San Fierro and unlock Desert. Because then we'll have unlocked the whole map. And also, where am I going, by the way? I'm, <laughs> I'm supposed to be going here, and I'm just driving north for some reason. Getting lost in my own world. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll unlock the whole map, and more importantly, I'll have unlocked the other lighthouse as well, which is quite good. Oh, fuck. I didn't even realize that I was on a hill. Alright, I need to take this slow, because I've almost fucking trashed this car. Just driving about like a dick. Take the roads and take it a bit slow. LG is coming in Chinatown if you want that. I do want that, yeah. But my plan is to... I'll hopefully get that in between Woozy missions because I'm going to be going into the place where I'm pretty sure it spawns quite a few times. So if I see one, then I'll just go and grab it and deliver it right after. That's my plan. All right. 141, baby. Let's go. I recall the LG spawning on this road too, so maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe. We'll play a replay and see. Maybe I'll be able to load one in. Don't forget Michelle's monster. I'm pretty sure I got... I'm pretty sure the only monster that I need is the, um, the one from the monster mission, right? Or is Michelle's the one that I have left? Oh, speaking of, look at that.
Real shit. Good shout. <laughs> you got the cheat code one? I don't know which one that is. I know that I need one more. Is that Michelle's? Should we go and date her? Mission monster is regular monster. Oh, okay. Okay, new question. Which girl is Michelle? Whereabouts is she? Is she the one that's in all the way up in, like, the desert? Like, all the way up northwest? Like, in, like, L something? Up here? Oh, driving school. Oh, okay. We can do that. Is she the one that I have to be... F I have to be, um... Fat for, right? Fat 50%? Fuck. That's such a hard... I remember doing that for DE achievements, and it was such a fucking pain in the ass. I have, like, almost no fat. Alright, well, I guess we're going to go and buy, uh... A fuck all the pizzas. How many food items can you buy before you puke? Does anyone know that? I think it's 9, and then on the 10th, you puke, right? Or is it 11 and 12? It's 11? Okay. And now I'm getting told it's 9. Now I'm getting told it's 10. Okay. Should we do a test? Trust me, you can eat 11. I mean, we'll test it. There's, there's no reason to speculate. We can just do a test and we'll see. No, the Michelle doesn't always fall into driving school. Frankly, I don't know what the conditions for her spawning are. I don't remember having issues with that in the past, so I, I think I'll be all right. I also want to keep this car because it's a sexy car. Which will make it so I don't have to be as ridiculously obese before she starts to like me. You got the bullet outside the school. Oh, true. Yeah, I don't need to give a shit about sexy cars, do I? All right. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm not going to buy a twelfth because nobody said more than eleven. Oh, that is a lot of fat. Jesus. I swear I really struggled to get fat before, and now I'm actually quite fat. Notice that the marker disappears. Oh, I didn't know that. 11 is the correct amount. Huh? Good to know. I always thought it was 9. All right, let's buy this just to make it a bit more convenient. You lose some fat if you puke. I'm pretty sure you lose quite a lot of fat and muscle if you puke. Yeah. That burger meal gives the most fat. I don't know. Okay, let's bring the bullet over and see if she'll date me. Because I don't have the highest fat right now, but I have quite high sex appeal once I'm in this car. Because I have a sexy haircut plus sexy car. So, like, my sex appeal is quite high. Does my sex appeal stay when I'm inside? Yeah, it does. Okay, is Thingy here? Yeah, she's here, right? Hello. A man should be like a bull eat more. Okay. Let's go and eat. You can puke today, I learned. Yeah. If you if you eat 12 meals in succession... I don't know exactly how it works. Like, how it resets. Is it like X amount of meals, X amount of hours apart or something? I don't know, like, how the timer works. All right, we'll buy like five more meals and we should be good, I think. Oh, I can't buy anymore, but I saved. Huh. I think this is what I struggled with last time. I couldn't get any more. Do I need to save for like 24 hours, maybe? Maybe I need to save until the next day. I can only eat so much a day. I'll save until the following morning. So it's like two days. Surely then I can eat again, right? Do all the options of food give different amounts of fat? Yes, they do. Like the salad meals and stuff don't give you nearly as much as like the big whopper meals that you get. All right. AM. Fresh on a Wednesday morning. Off to go and demolish 10 fucking burgers. Let's go. Honestly, so excited for my breakfast. Yeah, CJ is bulking. I still can't eat. The fuck, man? How many days do I have to wait until I can eat? Like, 
Bro, if you eat like 10 burgers, that's obviously a lot. But then if you starve yourself for like three days, you should be able to eat again. Like, be real. I'll save another 48 hours, I guess. All right, now it's Friday morning. CJ demolished 11 burgers on Monday morning. It's now Friday and he's been starving himself ever since. Surely the burger shot employee lets him come back for another 10 burgers, right? Surely they're like, okay, you can eat now. They want to give me 12 big meals. See, this is the thing as well, like why CJ is dumb, right? I still can't eat. What the fuck, man? I want to go to a different establishment. <laughs> These burger shot employees are not letting me demolish my 10 burgers that I need. Let's go to Clock and Bell. Maybe it relates to in-game time, maybe? Maybe we just have to go and do shit and come back, I don't know. Uh, but yes, what I was gonna say was, um... CJ's made a big mistake. Because he could order 12 meals, right? And they wouldn't give a shit because they would think it was for, like, him and 11 other people. But the problem is that he eats it all right in front of them. That's, that's the concerning part, right? So now they're like, they're on to him. And they don't like that. Whereas if he just bought 12 meals every week, he would assume it's for him and like, you know, his kids and uncle and aunt. One for the dog, maybe, you know? All right, clicking bell, you'll let me eat, right? Yeah, I'm not on like any hit hot list just yet. So like instead of like the, uh, the FBI most wanted, it's like uh, a database of people who are eating too much food. All right, let's do five more. Four, five. That should be enough, I think. Yeah, I'm over 50% fat. So I should be like fat now. Yeah. Like I am actually fat, fat. Let's go. I'm fat and sexy. Which is really like the ideal thing that you want to be, right? Because being fat was like, wasn't it like a sign of wealth and like status in the olden days? Because if you were fat, it means that you could afford to eat food. So being fat is actually like a good thing. It's a flex, if anything. Officer. Uh, yo. You get your ass back here right now. Yeah, doing the Henry VIII. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Officer, don't mind me. This is a sexy car too, I think, so I can use this. I'm pretty sure it is, right? Yeah, this is a sexy car. So I can actually use this at driving school as well. I really fucking hope to got it. Actually, I'm not even going to risk that. Because I've had cars despawn when I've gone into driving school before. Yeah, I'm going to store it. Because if we, yeah, if we store it for import-export, then I can get a guaranteed fixed spawn later. That I can then use to deliver to LS. I don't think I can go to Bayside right now. Use the replay and LS for delivery. That's actually even smarter. Now I have the, uh... Now I have the Elegy. I don't really need that old replay anymore, so I could do that, you yeah. know. Oh, hello, it's the squad. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Alright, well, fuck you. <laughs> I wanted to get at least one of those bikes, but never mind, I suppose. Whoever every place crash in the game, don't worry. I've uh, I've already had an hour of progress killed due to replays crashing my game. I'm, I'm more than aware. <laughs> don't worry. Alright. Let's go. We're fat and sexy. Michelle. She's not fucking here. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I'll go to earlier in the day, because I think it was like afternoon when I went to go and see her last time. She heard me coming, yeah, maybe. Before 6 p.m. on a weekday. Alright, we'll save until Monday then. Yeah, she doesn't know what she's missing out on. CJ's got some love handles. All right, half one on a Monday, let's go. 
waddle your fat ass over there, CJ. Let's go. Oh, no, don't hit him. He might lose too much weight. The last thing I want to do is end up in the hospital and lose weight. Still not here. Uh, let's try morning instead. Okay, 7.30 in the morning. Is this a good time? Nope. What about 8 in the morning? Nope. What about 9? I guess we'll wait for 9 o'clock. We might just have to come back and try again, but I don't want to stay fat for ages. That's going to be really, like, inconvenient. Because if we stay fat, then I can't even start certain missions because they don't let you do them while fat. Like, Black Project, I'm pretty sure you can't do it while you're fat. And also, I just can't sprint as long and I'm slower and stuff, so it's just annoying. Saturday, 10 p.m.? Like, before 10 p.m., after 10 p.m., or exactly 10 p.m.? What if I go in an evening? Yeah, he just can't let go of the woman that thin shamed him, yeah. He's obsessed with her now. He needs to keep going back. Where is she? Bro. Where is this fucking lady, man? Maybe once she spawns, she, like, can't spawn again for a while. I don't know. Well, Wednesday I already checked. Oh, did I? I don't think I did. There she is. I think it's just certain Sorry, days. Dude, but I'm not into you. No! Fuck. Stay there. No, you don't understand. I'm I'm the greatest fucking driver the biking school has ever seen. My bullet isn't there. Fuck. Check this car. This better be sexy. This car better be fucking sexy, I swear to god. No, look at my sick car. Look look how look how much I am sexy. Look at me. Please still be here. Fuck! Bro, how does she- Oh! Hi there, okay. Can I get your number? Sure, he got my number. Cool, I'll call you. We should hang out so, it time. doesn't- I don't think the time of day and stuff actually matters. I think you can just spawn her in with the camera. You can just like walk slowly back in and she'll fucking spawn. I think it's just if you sprint in too fast, it doesn't let you. All right, good to know. So she's my girlfriend now. Her car is over here. So do I need to date her to get her car or can I get it to like a safe house or something? I need to go to the fucking gym and burn off this fat as well. You towing it? Oh, I could tow it. Right. Is that spawn? You know what I mean? Over here at the gas station, is that a fixed spawn, or is that only during wear flowers? You know what the the thing that um what's his face is under Jethro or is it Jethro? Yeah, Jethro underneath. Or is there a different spawn? If not, where's the nearest tow truck spawn? Tow truck at Chilliad Junkyard. Okay, so we need to go back to the junkyard. That's fine. I can do that. Let me just burn off a bit of this fat, and then we'll go. At what level do I become, like, normal again? Like, under 50% is chubby. Is it under, like, 25 to become normal again? I don't even think the level even matters. I still go the same distance anyway. Let me check the time of day for the monsters to spawn. Yeah, let's uh, let's try and avoid a fucking escapade like we had yes uh, last stream. I say yesterday. It wasn't yesterday. But... Yeah, I don't want to repeat the bandito memes. Yeah. I'll put the level up just in case it makes a difference, but I don't think it does. Midnight to 12. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. I feel like I am losing fat actually much quicker now, actually. Even though I'm going the same distance, I feel like I'm losing it more quickly on the higher levels. Because I'm like losing it like immediately. As soon as the fat thing disappears, there's another one. I'm surprised they're still letting me go. I've like gone from 70% fat to like 30% and I still haven't hit my like limit for the day. 
Is there even a limit to losing weight, or is it just lifting weights? I don't actually remember. This will also be really good for stamina, because you can sprint for longer and stuff, which will just be beneficial throughout the playthrough. You can go around 10 kilometers. Seems like a very high limit. Considering that the muscle one is like, you can do like 40%. And then it stops you. Alright. We'll go to 10k. I'm at my things that I want. Unless you go over 10k. That's good enough. Because now I've gone all the way down, look. So when I leave, I won't be fat anymore. Just like that. Gained like 100 pounds and lost it. Within a few days. Very healthy. From CJ. Alright, so I'll save until like midnight. And then we'll go and get the tow truck, and then we'll go and grab Michelle's car. Unhealthy amount of loot, uh, weight to lose. Oh yeah, it's, it's really, gaining that amount of weight as well is really bad for you. Really, really bad for you. So, where are we going? We're going... here. So, pretty much just straight south. Uh, we can take the bike that I stole in the garage. Because we're under a moderate time crunch, so why not take a PCJ? Yunk. Alright, let's uh let's go and quickly get our ass back up north. We're gonna go all the way through San Fierro. I think five and a half minutes should be more than enough. Make sure to never let the crane have to turn the monster truck. Why does it uh Cause the monster truck glitch to happen again. Oh, untow itself. Okay. Sure thing. Thanks for showing this mod, playing it right now, but finding it was a pain in the ass. Yeah, a lot of people have been have been asking me for like help setting this up and stuff, and like where to find it because it's not just like a mod that you can just download off like you know GTA forums or whatever. It's like part of like another another memory modules app. And you have to then like download the Java file for that. It's it's not the easiest thing to set up by any means. You idiot because it was mainly bro, fuck off on our time limit. Yeah, it was mainly just built for the speedrun community. Like it's not intended to uh It's not intended to be used as like a you know a mainstream thing. Is the list broken? No. What makes you think it's broken? Right, monster truck? Monster truck, where is it supposed to spawn? It says loading save? Oh. Yeah, so it does. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that. Where is this monster truck supposed to spawn? Is it supposed to be out here? Because it's not here. Next to the garage? Well, great. I just drove this fucking thing all the way here. Nice midnight to 12 o'clock, by the way. Sounds the correct, you can see the mark of her picking her up. But we had this thing before with the bandito, right? Where like, just because her marker is there doesn't mean the car is there. Cause like before, the the marker for what's her name was there the whole time at the at the farm. And then just all of a sudden the, the car just spawned in. Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter where you approach it and stuff, it literally spawns right in front of you. I, I guess we literally just need to sit here and wait for it to spawn. I can't think of a better solution. Because there's no convenient place to go and save, and I guess I could hear, but... Bandito spawned at the same time as the marker. Yeah, so I, I guess, yeah. What everyone is suggesting is probably the right thing to do. It's probably to get here at late night and then wait for it to tick over to midnight and it'll spawn with any luck. Would it spawn while you're there? The bandito literally spawned right in front of me. And it didn't spawn until I was there. Like, it was so hard to get it to spawn, and then I was just waiting at 8 o'clock, and it spawned right on the second, right there in front of me. Time to confirm if that's a consistent method. Alright. Let's, uh, let's buy this property, and we'll try and get a good save. 
We're at kind of an awkward time though, because if I were to save now, I'd only have 10 seconds to get there, which isn't enough time. So I need to... I need to save three times and then wait for a few minutes. Because if I save now, it'll be exactly midnight. So it, this is literally the worst time for it to be in-game right now. It couldn't be a worse time. I mean, I guess we can just go and wait at the place, right? With any luck, it might spawn earlier, for all we know. I need to put this in. So I'll just resave. With the tow truck, in case I have to load and lose it. Maybe look for a book in the Aminata and install it in the meantime. That's not a bad idea. Remind me where I'm going for those again. I'm going to Eastern Basin, right? Where the fuck is Eastern Basin? Eastern Basin is here. Alright, well, we can go there. And if we find one, we can always tow it back to the garage. I guess. That kind of looks like Buccaneers. Or are these tempers? No, they're both tempers. You can keep the manana from Ron Farley, but it's slow. Which is why I'm trying to not do it if possible. You can just fail the mission and put it in a garage. So a manana and a buccaneer can both spawn here? Criminal temper spawner. Right? It's a shame it's the card that I don't need. Yeah, I'm just getting nothing but tempers. Tampers and then regular traffic and nothing else. Alright, I need to get back. I don't have much time to get back to Michelle's. I only have a minute and a half. And that is number one priority right now is Michelle's monster truck. Because these technically I can get any time. Michelle's monster truck, I can seemingly only get it on a specific second. Yeah, love is the priority. Yeah, love. That's what I care about here. Alright, it's not there. Let's just pull up and watch. Alright. Just doing my best to get Michelle's monster truck to spawn and figuring out a consistent method to make them spawn. Because so far it just seems to be... Nonsense. But I'm hoping that if it spawns at midnight, we'll have figured out a consistent way... To get these cars to spawn. So that's the that's the plan right now. Never found a consistent method for that either. Well, this might be one. Look at that. There's your consistent method right there. You need to get there and look, be in the area, and just look at the spawn. When you're in the area, when it ticks over to the first second where it can spawn. So the Bandito, 8am. And this, midnight. Do I need this to be high or low to tuck this thing in? Oh, there we go. No, it was hooked and it was unhooked again. Wanna be low? Bro, can I'm fucking busy. Can you not tell I'm busy? There we go. Get out the fucking way. I've got things to do. So, oh, you want a good time, honey? Yeah, I want a good time. Towing this fucking monster truck, man. Get out my way. Alright, now we can just tow it to the garage and store it, right? And then we can unlock it. And I can also keep the tow truck as well. Definitely need to take notes. There you go. I can't take all the credit. I'm just the testing monkey here. It was a team effort. All right, let's try and not flip any cars or anything. Oh, the only issue is I have a slam van in here. I can fit all three in though. Probably. I'll need to take the Sultan out.
Solson, I don't give a fuck about. These are very easy to find. These two are what I want. Uh, hmm. Okay. New plan. We'll put the slam van in last, because that'll be much easier to move around. Because this, we need to kind of do it at, like, an angle like this. And then we shut this in. Now it's mine. And I can enter it, right? Yeah. Now I can park it. Like this. Park this. Oh, fuck. Don't do that. No, stop offering me good times. I'm busy. Alright. Slam van in. There we go. And now we'll deliver this. Actually, I'll make a save. List all scenes broken. Okay, we can try and fix that. Let's load the save, see if that helps. No? Okay. Uh, I'll try restarting it. Vehicles left to deliver 33,318. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll restart the entire thing. Like the entire module. Vehicles left to deliver 0 out of 194. What if I now load my save? Still at zero. <laughs> what if I restart my game? Oh, it just resize itself. Waiting for game to load. Now. Uh, you, you guys can't see this, but uh, this is not good. Just check this. It's now just saying zero. So the the checklist is just fucked. Uh, so that's bad. Because even though my game works, that's the tracker gone. So I, I don't have any way to know what I have. And it's not gonna say that I've done like the right amount of vehicles. What the fuck, man? Why can't this thing just fucking work? What if I load another save? Yeah, e even on different saves, it doesn't work. What the fuck? Can you edit it out manually? I can't edit the list. I, I, it's it literally just reads the save file. I can't make any changes to the list. What if I start a new game? And then load, like, my first save. So that works. 142, that's correct. What the fuck? That save works. This save works. This save works. And then these two are just broken. I see them. The yay leaving San Fierro, right? Right, but they're using Bikes I have a feeling it's because country. of this fucking call. It's no coincidence that this this save here that's the first one that's broken. I instantly get this call, I look. The yay leaving San Fierro, right? Hello yeah. there. So there goes half an hour of progress. Fucking hell. It's so stupid, man. So what have I lost? I lost the monster, obviously. What else? I lost my fucking slam van as well. I oh, know, I, I think I still have that. I, I'm fat all over. Bro, my fingers will, will legit not let me do that weight loss thing again. I, I can't do that. It fucking hurt my hands so much. Is Michelle even my girlfriend anymore? Oh. Well, fun.
Uh, just when I thought it wasn't fun enough getting this fucking lovely lady to spawn. Sorry, dude, but I'm not into you. Now I've got to do it twice. Reminder that these issues didn't happen once with GTA 3 and Vice City, by the way. It's only San Andreas that has this fucking problem. All the other games work just fine. Yes, Michelle, me. you can have my number. It's my girlfriend, yeah? I did leave a bit prematurely. We'll, we'll go to the gym and I'll go below 50%, so at least I'm not fat. I'm just a bit chubby. We can lose the rest over time. I dig this camera swipe strap to spawn her. Yeah. That I can take full credit for. You are more than welcome to steal it. Alright. I'm just going to do until below 50%. Because this already hurts my hand doing it the second time. Get Liv to do it. She's busy editing the previous VODs of this stream. So she gets, she gets to have the evening off. While she's still wage slaving for me. Otherwise I would. Is that below 50? I can't really tell. I'll do a couple more. Alright, now we're just a bit chubby. That's fine. Winnable. Alright, uh, request for you all. A humble request. Uh, please keep an eye on the tracker. And if at any point it says anything weird that it shouldn't be saying, please tell me as soon as possible. Because now I know that it might lose me hours of progress, I need to be a bit more vigilant. I still have my slam ban, thank fucking god. I'm gonna deliberately start Taxi to break this mission. The Caesar thing that is. And I'm gonna resave, so this save isn't the one that has that annoying call right then. There we go. Okay, uh, I need to save until... I need to go and get a tow truck is what I need to do. Alright, that should be enough time to go and get the tow truck and come back and get the monster truck. Uh, I need a bike. This will do. We're like perfectly in time for this, by the way. 15 seconds left, like perfectly timed. Watch it not work now. Let's go. Look at that. There you go. 100% consistent. Girlfriend cars. Write that down on GTA Wiki. What is the tow truck sex appeal stat? Uh. Not a, nothing. It's zero, I think. Very, very low. That's high given that the thing is damaged. True. I'll tell you once I've repaired it. Hold on. Let me get all this crap out. Slum burn. And we'll put the bike in, because why not? Pretty sure it allows four vehicles without any glitchy stuff happening. Alright, my list is still working, yes? Yes. This fucking call, go away. My god. Alright. Now we can finally deliver that fucking monster truck. Thank God. Uh, maybe I didn't think this through actually. Okay, we're good. Right, final monster truck down. Let's go. Thank God, because that was a fucking pain. Am I done with girlfriends and stuff now as well? I think I am, right? Didn't take much to get back on track. True. I just hate having to redo shit I've already done. It's just boring, you know? So it frustrates me. But wasn't too bad. I'm already dating K2. I don't know what car she has. Is it anything I need? Oh, she has a Romero. Okay. Well, I mean, I could get that. But if it has a more convenient fixed spawn, then... It depends where the uh, fixed spawns are, I guess. Because if they're miles away, then... CBA. Barbara has the police rancher and Millie has a pink club. Yeah, I don't need to care about those two then. Technically, the fastest strat is towing her Romero to Bayside. Okay. So I could wait until Bayside then, yeah. Because her house is like all the way up here, right? So we can just tow it 
and go straight to Bayside over there. Spawn in Angel Pine, miles away. I'm going. To, I'm doing the wrong thing again. I'm just driving senselessly without actually thinking about what I'm doing. Mero has a spawn at the hospital in Fort Carson. Where the fuck is Fort Carson? Isn't that like up here in the desert somewhere? LV. Also kind of far away then. One spawn for the Romero is on the outskirts of Ventura at a small chapel. Okay. When we get to uh, desert, we can look at those spawns then to see if there's any decent ones. So that you got classic rock in your playlist? Bro, I have everything in my playlist. I'm this uh, this playlist has like a bit for everyone, you know? That's why I like it so much. So even if you're like not a big fan of this song necessarily, you might like the next one and so on and so forth. Alright, there's all the monsters gone. Let's go. Definitely gonna save after that fucking escapade. Alright, what's next on the chopping block? What did we decide on? I've already forgotten. Am I just doing missions? When did the Hellies and shit become unlocked in San Fiero? Yeah, I did police uh, San Fiero. Oh, gas station spawns. Right, I should go and do that. Boats to Bayside, also an option. But I want to get the Manana and stuff because I... You're right, there's like no easy way to get them. Nothing but tempers. Convince only one gar gang car can spawn at a time. So if that's the case, do you reckon I should like drive out of the area and come back in? Because then it'll like get rid of the tempers, like it'll deload them. And then I come back in again. Do you think that would help? Like I'll drive until I'm no longer getting tempers on the road. And then I go back. This is all just regular ass traffic. Not oh, back to tempers again. Lol. Bro, if it's that hard to get anything that isn't a fucking tamper, how the hell am I gonna get specifically a manana and specifically a buccaneer? Like, even if I get one of them, I'm then just gonna be stuck on the other one. I feel like. What is the fun for Berkeley's RC van? So, I might get lucky and grab it from a certain place. Or if not, there's a mission that loads the model in, so it makes it much more common. And I can make a replay of it. What part of this is fucking Eastern Basin? Lower road? But that's the airport, isn't it? Easter Bay Airport. Isn't this a different part? Oh, no, this is Eastern Basin. Okay. It's like a certain part of it. And then this goes back to, uh, so. I passed one? Did I? I was looking. Oh, well, fuck. Oh, there's a Mignano right there. Okay, they're loaded in, which is good. Please don't be upset with me. Bro. Bro, get in, you fucking idiot. Before this guy flips himself. All right, let's go. I'll go install this in the garage to be safe because of how annoying it's been to get. I don't want to flip it and lose it on the way back. Got the familiar car out of the way first. Uh, not ideal, but that's what it is. Yeah, I, I saw what you said about... Um, apparently it can spawn at the marina car park, but... With, especially with GTA base, I feel like that's just like, it's like the wiki on steroids in terms of like misinformation, you know? Like, somebody saw one spawn there once and they're like, oh yeah, it commonly spawns there. Like, no, it doesn't, man. You know? Like, it just... I found the Buccaneer like 30 minutes ago in front of the gas station while doing wear flowers. It definitely seems to be the move to just keep going up and down on those eastern basin roads in Da Nang territories and just pray to God. Can't wait for you to look for the Euros. I mean, that's going to be easy because I know where the fixed spawn is for the Euros. It's just going to take me a while to get the that's in LV. That is the least of my concerns for this playthrough is the Euros. There's a fixed one for the cop car in LV. 
I don't get why there's going to be issues getting a cop car in LV. I can just get two stars and get one to spawn, no? Like, why, why do I care about where I get one? Cop cars are really easy to get. Good say time and better weather for beat the cock, yeah. Not in my shape, dude. I'm fat. I'm not going to be doing any triathlons anytime soon. Or any kind of uh, sports for that matter. Fuck that. Why am I saving on multiple slots? So then if my save file fucks up like what happened before, I can just reload to a previous save. If I hadn't have saved on multiple slots earlier, this whole playthrough would have been fucked when the tracker stopped working. So I'm happy I did. Definitely missed something when did that happen? Uh, like half an hour ago? I had to reload like a previous save and lose half an hour of progress because the tracker just stopped working on my newest save for some reason. It just said that I delivered zero cars. Alright, I guess we just go back. Uh -huh. <sighs> Try and get my ass a bucket in. Alright. Well, everyone keep your eyes out. Well, keep your eyes open. Again, I'm just going to be looking out for cars that I don't know. And if I keep getting tampers, I'm going to leave and come back. Loads of Coast Guard spawns around the airport. I can grab that. And I can grab the Maverick too, I guess. Uh, we can go and check the, the, the petrol station as well. A bit further up the road. Isn't there a police heli on the top of the LS Police Department? I think someone mentioned that, yeah. Yeah, it's later on in the playthrough. But now I'm getting everything except what I want. I'm getting Mananas. I'm not getting tampers, which is great. This is all great news. But the only trouble is that I'm not getting any buccaneers. At least that I've seen. I got a, I got a slam van earlier, NZR. Yeah, I've just stored it in a garage for now. And I'm going to use it. Um, I'm going to make a replay of it. Hand it in for import, export, and then use a replay to spawn it in later. So I get for not being a dedicated stream viewer. Yeah, honestly, if, if you call yourself a real fan and you haven't watched all 13 hours of this content, just fucking ban yourself, honestly. It's just pathetic. Imagine not consuming every single content, uh, every single second of content I've ever output. Just gross. Don't come back. <laughs> shameful. Absolutely shameful. I don't know if someone already said this, but maybe you need to start woozy missions first. Is that true? That's that's the first I've heard that. I don't think that's true. But I've had bigger memes pulled on me first. So I wouldn't be surprised. The, like, the amount of fucking pizza boys that I've found. And yet not a single buccaneer. And of course they pop my fucking tires. I want to go and save and come back and fix my tires and stuff. Yeah, it seems that it's been Mananas for a while. But I was leaving and coming back and it was just still just going back and forth, you know. They're going to Reaper territory and come back like you were doing at the docks. Whereabouts is the Reaper territory in regards to where we just were, though? Yeah, it's literally just Da Nang territories, which is Eastern Basin and Zioia. As far as I know. Same with the Manana as well. We could always go and check the North Road as well. When you mean North Road, do you mean like this thing? Just like the one that goes all the way around like the edge. The upper road near the docks. Oh, so you mean go back to Reaper territory up here and then come back again. Okay, we can try that. Sure. Alright, there's our sabers. Which should imply the gang vehicles have been kind of reset. And now we're going to go into Eastern Basin. Rivera, Blade. Blade, Blister, Cops, Tampa. Not what I want. Maybe just doing laps here is better. Going in and out of the territories. Tampas. Maybe I stay in this territory and then go back up again. No, I'm just getting fucking mananas again. Man. I just cannot catch a break. Do I gotta like restart my game or something? 
I've had it before in VC where certain cars just like never spawn. And the only way to fix it is to like restart your game. I'll give it another few minutes and then I'll go and restart my game if I don't get anything. Yeah, I'm just getting nothing. It'll be around here a lot during import export, true. I want to do one lap of the northern road that Momo is referring to just in case. Assuming that he just means like up here. Like maybe I'll find something. Bought the map. I assume what you mean by Northern Road is like this. It stands for that pizza store to Jizzy. Uh, that's quite a big uh, range. I'll drive up and come back. We're getting tempers again. So we're definitely in the right area, I think. What is that? This is a buccaneer? Let's fucking go, dude. Let's go. Woo! I, I was getting a bit concerned about that one. Let's go. Alright, we'll, we'll deliver this. And then we'll go and do some airport stuff as well. Because I think it's a maverick that I can get. Go and do that. And then we'll keep doing missions, I guess. Yeah, I think from what I've been told, the Maverick is the only thing I can get at the airport right now. We'll have to come back later for more stuff. But mission progress is now the priority. We definitely won't finish San Fierro today. Because I didn't expect to get memed. Lose half an hour of progress on one monster truck and then take half an hour to get a Buccaneer. It is what it is. The important thing is that I got them. It doesn't matter how long it took me. That's my coping anyway. Very happy about that one. Very, very happy. Alright, to the airport. Hardly any normal cars left now, yeah. No save. No need to. I, I had a save with the car in San Fierro, so even if I crash now... I only lose like a minute driving back. Doesn't matter. If I didn't have a save in with the car in the garage, I would have saved. Bro, can I please get up? Patriot? I want to get Patriot during Outrider, right? Because then I don't have a wanted level when I go there. I thought that was the big strat. We could maybe get to Outrider and do those missions. Does it spawn outside San Fierro? It probably does, but I don't know of a better location. So. And I need to go to the naval base anyway to get a launch, right? So. I could have done the jump all the way into the uh, thing, actually. Into the airport. That would have saved a lot of time. Also, for the, some reason, you don't even have to jump over this one. You can just punch the gate and it opens, which is super weird. I don't know why that's a thing. It's the Maverick, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why that works, that you punch the gate and it opens. The other ones, that doesn't work, I think. I think that's just the San Fierro one. Alright, where am I going? Go in here. Oh, I also wanted a Coast Guard as well. So I'm remind me to get a Coast Guard when I drive by. I'm pretty sure they spawn around the airport. Also. I just remember there's a Maverick spawning Bayside itself. Oh, fuck it. Whatever. This is, com this is fast enough. This delivery takes like 30 seconds. Oh, I still need to do a lung capacity as well, by the way. I forgot about that. I should I should swim back towards the docks. Every now and again. I think the trigger's massive for that delivery thing. I've never missed it. Don't push me. Someday you'll dump an aircraft in the water doing that, I swear. 
when that day happens, you can all laugh at me. Until then, it looks cool and it's fast, so I'm doing it. Alright, let's go see if we can find a Coast Guard. You won't even see it because I'll turn the stream off so quick that, like, Twitch won't be able to, like, transmit the data quick enough to your screens. And just have a hotkey bound the second it hits the water. Just stream already offline. So good luck clipping that, you losers. Yeah, whoops, the game crashed, yeah. So unlucky. You can buy zero and try a hand again in the park with them. Oh, true. Let me grab a Coast Guard because it's, otherwise I'll forget about it. We'll have a look for one. And if I see one, I'll take it. If not, we'll do zero. Any, any Coast Guards? I don't know if they'll spawn until I get a bit closer. I guess we can go into the airport. No, I'll have a look. Let's do a sick jump over there. You guys want to see something fucking mint? Check this. Clean. Oh, fuck. That was a bit too close. Alright. Any Coast Guarders? I think they'll spawn at these, like, jetties down here. Yeah, there we go. That's one, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh. C day just fucking snap tear, tear both of his ACLs right there. Worth it. How the fuck do I get out of here? Ah, oh, that's not a bad route actually. We just go east and then south. Should be winnable. Oh yeah, there are ladders at the J's. Yeah, the ladders that you can't climb. So it's just like a big middle finger. It's like, oh yes, good. There's a ladder there. And then you realize that you can't climb them and you gotta swim all the way around. Just a huge middle finger. At least they fixed that in GTA 4, Clueless. Yeah, I hadn't actually thought about that. It's even more weird because there's literally an introduction to climbing in San Andreas. Like, oh yeah, you can climb walls and shit, by the way, but you can't climb ladders. Which is way easier than, like, bolting entire walls. Yeah, I'd never thought about that. That's that's pretty silly. They should patch SA to allow you to climb those ladders. Back to swimming. Alright, cool. Did they make them climbable in definitive? Did they fuck? Alright, what was I doing again if I couldn't find the Coast Guard? I've already forgotten, but someone suggested something and I said it was a good idea. And I've already forgotten what it was. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I've already forgotten. Forgot about what? I don't know, man. I forgot. Fuck. It was something in San Fierro. Outrider? No, it wasn't that, I don't think. Patriot? No. Let me scroll. Oh, yeah, zero emissions. There you go. That was it. It was to get the Berkeley's van. There probably are other boat spawns that I could get, but I don't know them, so fuck it. They're all over the edges of San Viron in Bayside. Yeah, I don't really want to go around, like, looking for them, though. Like, all around the fucking sea. Let me slow. Is there any other super wacky car spawns in this game? I guess that would depend on what car spawns you already know. Right. There's a super wacky armor spawn right here. If that helps. In Jetty's Ben, not in the sea. Yeah, I'm aware. I didn't think they would just randomly spawn in the middle of the sea. Come on, bro. Give me some credit. 
So just to confirm with Zero, I have to beat all three of his missions, right? And then I unlock another mission that spawns in the vans. Is that right? Uh, that's not good, because I need to go and check to make sure my save markers aren't fucked. And I need another call from him anyway. You can make a replay out of the second Zero mission. Okay, so... Supply lines, yeah? Th those are RC vans that I can make a replay of. Okay. My save markers are there, thankfully. Watch Mojo second hardest mission after demolition man supply lines. Yeah. They are RC vans? Okay. It was glitched on the PS2. It wasn't glitched, it was just nerfed on PC. To my knowledge, this is insanity. you just have doubled the, the amount of fuel fire. on PC. CJ, but I think I think the PS2 version was intended. It was just too hard. Great, kid. Don't that plus me. controller flying just sucked. Like this mission is actually quite difficult on PS2, but on PC it's a complete joke because you have a mouse. Like you can just kill these things as they come in and like AFK for half of it. Do that, fail the mission, go to areas like Easter Base in Ocean Docks. Okay. I'll just go to the place where the Buccaneer was, I guess. I'll just go to Easter Base in. That's fine. Also, I always thought it was Eastern Basin, because it's on the east. Is it Easter Basin? Today I learned. Now, I'm pretty sure I can like AFK now and not give a fuck about the mission and still pass it. Alright, let's make a replay of these things. Berkeley has his sycophantic lackeys do all his delivery. That's a Berkeley's van, yeah. Launch the Red Baron. This thing. Did it say Berkeley's on it? Yeah, Berkeley's RC. Alright. Yeah. I'll wait here for a bit actually. Cause yeah. Oh, I just spawned in. Oh, my game crashed. Awesome. <laughs> Why are replays so fucked in this fucking piece of shit game? That's like, what, like the sick time that a replay has just crashed my game? Bad mod. I don't know, man. I'm not convinced it's the mod. Attack. This is insanity. All batteries commence fire. It's not He's like going for my transmitters. replays never crash in essay without the mod. Like I've had many attack. runs die to replays crashing. No problem, man. Just in random toys. places. They're not toys. They're just smaller. CJ, bogey's at twelve. So zero five instead. What is zero five? I thought there were only three zero missions and then that extra bonus one. Is that not zero four? Zero three is the cut one. Oh, okay. All right, we can try that then. Why not? Because it doesn't involve replays. So. Won't crash my game with any luck. Fun Berkeley's van today in LS Docks. Had no idea it spawns there. It does, but I've just been told it's very rare. You can just get very lucky. Will this mission help with Berkeley's van? Um, it would if replays didn't constantly crash my game. Instead, 
it's um it's gonna help with progressing to a mission which will give me a Berkeley's RC van with any luck. Isn't this mission just like enthralling guys? So fucking fun. Epic and fun. Bro, this guy's backing into me. I love holding W and occasionally pressing my arrow keys for five minutes. I'd rather shit in my hands and clap than play this game with a controller. That's a lot of vehicles left. You should have seen how many I had left when I started. I, I'm thinking of it the opposite way. It, it's not a lot left because of how many I've done. Yeah. Uh, Mental Metal, I had uh, I had a ton of issues getting that fucking mod to work. And uh, Dinosaur Bites ended up just sending me his working version. And that was like the only thing that worked for me. I think you need Cleo to get Trails to work. So maybe give that a go. But if not, if you shoot me a message on Discord or Twitter or something, I can send you my like fully working version over that Rob sent me. Isn't it annoying? No, controller is way worse than keyboard and mouse. But GTA. Keyboard is very easy to play on. Yeah, the... The Definitive Edition controls for flying helicopters and planes and stuff are by far the worst controls I've ever seen in any video game ever. Not to be dramatic. It's literally the worst thing I've ever seen. It is fucking awful. Bro, pick this thing up. Carl, don't be an idiot. Use the goblin to move that- Oh, I have to press a button to pick it up. Lol. I thought it would just automatically hook on. I don't remember if you need to get a bomb or a plank first. I think it's a plank. I know that you can use the barrels to drop on these guys, by the way, but just doing it the intended way. A Berkeley's van's missable now. Because you can just drive to um like the industrial part of LS at any point and just pick it up. Oh wow, wow, what the fuck? The bandit just went from like 80 health to this. 5% health, just like that. Well, I guess that's a mission fail. I don't know why he's doing that much damage. What the fuck? Oh, I get several. Okay, that's fine. I thought I only had uh, one. No, I was like, what the fuck? I hate this one. This mission is annoying. It's just slow and boring. But it's a cool concept for a mission, I think. It's just very monotonous when you've done it once. Like, the gimmick wears off after the first time, you know? So I literally just start the minigame, end it, and then walk outside, right? I never actually... I didn't know this even existed. Many is lucky delivery bands within the timeline. Oh, it's just, it's just supply lines over and over again. Right, how do I leave? I... Self-destruct. It said press left, ma left mouse button to self-destruct. It's actually right control. Let's go. Huge. Easy. That's a great strategy. Slower than just getting lucky, but that's pretty, pretty damn good. I don't flip it, don't worry, I'm gonna store it, don't worry. Just to be extra safe, I'm gonna store it. No, the only other vehicle that I need to deliver bush is the slum van. The tow truck is there because I might need to tow some vehicles later that are locked. But they're just easy to deal with if you have a tow truck. And then the Infernus is just because it was a fast car that I've just put in there in case I need it for something. But I already have delivered an Infernus before. You just have to come around to bringing it to the, to the lighthouse. I'm deliberately not taking it to the lighthouse. Because 
if I take it to the lighthouse now, yeah, I've delivered the slam van, but then when I get to import export, which I need to do for the Euros anyway, when I need the slam van for import export, I just don't have one, right? So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the one in San Fierro for the import export in San Fierro. And then once I'm on that import list, a new slam van will spawn in Los Santos, which I can then take to the lighthouse in Los Santos and deliver that as part of the, um, as part of the, what's it called? SSSA mod. See ya. Maybe get the hot dog. If you remind me where it is, I'll get it. Because I keep getting messages about it. And fine, I'll get it. Don't you also need a cheetah for import export? Yeah, I think so. But I don't think I'll struggle to get an, a cheetah. In hindsight, I could have got one um, on 555, but oh. Well. I was thinking you were going to use that random spawn at Los Venturas for the Euros. I am. That only spawns during import export when it's on the list. And it's the only spawn in the entire game for the Euros. So right now, as it stands, there's no Euros on the map. I need to do import-export to get it. Go to Banla's highway and drive all the way south. You'll find a pit stop at the turn. What is the Badlands Highway, this thing, I guess? Alright. Rockstar really added a car that only exists in import-export. They didn't intend to, believe it or not. They intended for it to spawn in traffic, but there's some glitch. I don't remember exactly how it works, but... Basically, there's, like, certain groups of cars that spawn. And they have, like, you know, certain cars that can spawn in that group. And Euros is, let's say, five on in that group. And only cars one to four can spawn in that group. So the Euros just never gets selected to spawn. That's not exactly how it works, but you get the idea. Like, the game just never picks its, like, ID or whatever to spawn it in. But it was supposed to be just a traffic car, but it's not. Because Rockstar. So, pit stop at the turn, not this one. This one? No. Good thing that was fixed in D, right? Right? Wait, there isn't another pit stop here. Oh, it should be that red one. Oh. Well, it wasn't there. <laughs> oh, there it is. Did I just fucking miss that the first time? I swear I'm not that blind. But you can actually buy a hot dog. That's sick. Doink. It's stuck in the wall. This guy not coming with me? No. Was it fixed like something in Silent Patch? I don't think Silent Patch changes any mechanics like that. Because even though technically it's a bug, it would like change drastically how the game functions. So, yeah. Always spawn stuck in the wall. Epic. Never thought the Euros is so rare. Yeah, I mean, until you do an optional side mission, it's literally not on the map and not possible to spawn. The only way, other way you can get it is by spamming Vigilante and you've got like a 1 in 150 chance of it spawning. Which is obviously just stupid. Would you like some epic strats for FBI Rancher? Um, sure, but that'll probably be an extreme at this point. 149. We officially just have one single line of cars left. Let's go. Go into Easter Basin, go to Dorothy, wait for an FBR engine to spawn. Well, even without a wanted level, it just spawns. Didn't I do that a bunch of times before and didn't see any? 
Oh, you mean the naval base for five stars? Okay. Uh, I mean, sure, I can try that. Does the FBI rancher not spawn unless you're in a certain location? Or what? There's an easy way to get it. All right, fair enough. I can give it a try. So go naval base, then go Doherty. And then just grab an FBI rancher. Aren't the FBI going to fuck me up anyway? Because I have five stars. Like, regardless of what zone I'm in. Am I not going to get wrecked anyway? Or am I, like, doing it so quick that they don't have chance to spawn in and fuck me up? No way. <laughs> oh, fuck. Shit. Oh, God. The fucking pain. You know how we were talking before about if I, if I ended up in the water? And it'd be like, ha ha ha, look, I can't climb the fucking ladder. And now I'm just stuck here because the Coast Guard didn't fucking spawn. Wouldn't that be so awful? Yeah. For fuck's sake, man. Time to reload the save. It unironically might be faster to just load the save and go back. But I need lung capacity. Yeah, I, I've never ended up, like, getting perfectly thrown all the way through the fucking window. That's so unlucky. Drown? I'm not losing all my weapons for that, dude. It's not worth it. I've got rockets and satchels and all sorts. I'm not fucking losing them. Oh wait, I have Katie actually, right? So I would keep my weapons, I think. Oh, well, fuck it. Yeah, I forgot I had Katie. Oh, well, that gives me five stars. That's not good. I didn't think I was that close. Um, hmm. That's kind of a problem. Well, we can get an NRG at least. Oh, you were there for that? Okay, well. There's your answer, I suppose. Hey, look. There's a... Um... FBI rancher. Hi, guys. Ow. Well, that didn't really work. I don't have any automatic weapons. I just have a pistol, shotgun, and rifle. That's useless for killing big sets of guys. I need, like, a fucking machine gun or something, man, to actually pop some heads. I can't kill four guys with automatic rifles with this shit weaponry. My only big weapons would also destroy the car. Yeah, if only I had money, right? Where the fuck is ammunition? Miles away. The accuracy was crazy. And that was on a bike, too. That wasn't even bugged accuracy. That was just their intended accuracy. And they still fucking lit me up. It was save, save icon at Dorothy Garage out in the open. If you save the game, does it despawn cars? Like, can I just get one to spawn and just save the game and immediately get rid of the one at level? And it'll still be there? Is that possible? You can do that. Okay, good. Right, whereabouts is my thing out in the open in Dorothy? Here, right? Oh, yeah, because of the garage. So I need to go to the thing, spawn it, and then drive to Dorothy. That's fine, I can do that. So, base. No! Fuck. Bro, I pressed F so many times, but I was holding S out of fucking instinct. Fuck! Luckily, we're right here. So. That, that wasn't nearly as bad as the other one. I just got, like, fucking PTSD from it. Right. What's with the water today? I don't know, man. Where's the fucking entrance to this place? Right. It's 
give this a try. Bro, the last thing I need is for fucking random pets to be spinning me out right, right now. You still need a Patriot which spawned in the area? I'm aware. I have a plan to get that later. Bro, this Sabre is legit fucking dicking me more than the FBI guys are. Look at this. Well, this is a reload. Literally five stars are less of a threat than a random fucking saber that just decides to run me down. Unbelievable. What is this mess? It's what happens when San Andreas traffic happens. No, dude, I need this. Are you serious? <laughs> no way, dude. I'm stuck. I'm stuck and this guy's killing me. I can't move. <laughs> What is wrong with this game, man? I was- I was out, I was home free. And the only way that that guy could possibly make me not get away with it was to fling his car into the fucking way so I couldn't shut the door and get me stuck. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen with the garage. Knowing my luck, both those FBI ranchers will stay. And my slam van will be gone. Knowing my luck. That's what I think is going to happen. So these guys have not only fucking got me killed, but they have also got rid of my slam van. Because that is the absolute worst case scenario. If that's happened. That's a good consolation prize, just in case. Let's see what we have. No, I just despawned one of the ranches. Okay, that's fine. Ah, I don't need to keep this up one. Thank fucking god. Um, I guess I'll save with this. Yeah, I guess I could keep this slam van and store it elsewhere. And then use it as well. Save me going to LS at any point. Or I could just deliver it now, yeah. I guess. You're right. I'll deliver this, and I'll deliver the FBI rancher. Oh dear, what a fucking mess that was. Yeah, and the funniest part about this whole thing is I actually already had a slam ban. All the way at the start of this challenge, my fucking game crashed and I lost it. 150, baby. Let's go. I wonder if you'll ever use the other lighthouse. You think I'm gonna go all the way from like Western LV all the way down to Los Santos instead of just going to Bayside for LV spawns? Are you out of your mind? What a waste of time that would be. And ironically, LV to LS is closer than LV to base Bayside, really? All right, well, fuck Bayside then. No, there'll still be use for, uses for Bayside, like certain boats and helicopters and stuff, I think. But, um, the main one will be LS, obviously. Deliver, like, over three quarters of the vehicles there already. Before even look unlocking Bayside. So. All my homies hate Bayside. It's weird. I actually really like Bayside. It's one of my favorite areas in the game. It's just sad that it doesn't get any use. 
It's not used at all in the game, aside from, like, fucking boat school, which is just useless crap. Yeah, I imagine they did have bigger plans for Bayside, but then gave up on it and cut stuff out. It makes sense. SA has that in a lot of places. A lot of content I wanted to be added. Content gets cut, and then the actual location is left in, and it's just a fucking wasteland. Loads of different places that got that treatment, from what I know. Here's a bit of trivia for you that I didn't know until I started spinning this game. Did you know that if you start Vigilante in a vehicle, like a cop bike or this cop rancher, if you just start Vigilante and then end it, the tires on this uh, car are now completely unpoppable. Like, even though I'm not on Vigilante anymore, simply starting it just sets the tires to not be able to be popped. Works for any cop vehicle. Fun little fact for you. Pop tire is the worst mechanic. Agreed. I fucking hate it. I need 19 more Saturdays until Christmas. Real shit. My mum texted me today asking me what I'd like for my birthday. It's not really relevant to Christmas, but it kind of is. It's like, you know, gift giving slash accepting. And uh, she was like, oh, what do you want for your birthday? Because my birthday is in 10 days on the 25th. And I'm always really bad with that kind of stuff. Because, like, I don't know, man. Like, not to flex, but I'm an adult. I have an income. I have a job. Like, I can just buy anything that I want. Whereas when, when I was a kid, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I want all these new cool games. Because I can't get them otherwise, you know? For the ugly-ass AK skin in CSGO. <laughs> That was a good gift. I had the same birthday as Ben. Do you actually? 25th of August? Real shit. Well, happy early birthday in case I don't see you. That's cool, though. Yeah. I hate it when people ask me. I don't hate it because it's, it's not their fault. But I just mean, like, I'm so bad at receiving gifts. Like, people ask me what I want, and I'm just like, I don't fucking know, man. What do you have for Christmas? I don't know. Like, I don't have, like, a list or anything. I'm useless at that kind of stuff. Doesn't a chopper spawn on this beach later on in the game? Ask for one of the vehicles I have to collect. Yeah. Should have asked for a set of stairs. Solid progress today, chaps. Yo, what's up? I heckin' love SA. Me too. Can't live without SA. That's me. Alright, uh, plan for today is what is the fucking plan for today uh do missions up until outrider we'll do outrider we're gonna deliver a bunch of cars on outrider and then we're going to what else are we gonna do oh you know what? i should keep this in furnace for import export actually yeah maybe get out of san Fiero. so i want to do i want to do up to outrider then we can get some some cars sorted. And then I want to do up until hijack and then do wang cars as well. Hey look, a buccaneer. First car I see on the street, a buccaneer that avoided me for so long before. Oh, this is a boat that I need. I don't know if there's like a convenient spawn for this or not. A squallow. I could just go and take this and... Yeah, it's not actually that far away. I'm gonna go and deliver this now. And then I can just drive back to Caesar. There's one at Bayside? Oh, okay. Then I won't bother. If there's one literally right at Bayside, then fuck it. Have I unlocked Bayside, by the way? <coughs> I don't know if anyone mentioned... Or maybe told me and I forgot. Is it Boom Boom that, I, that unlocks it? I assume. I assume I need to complete SF for that. Area lock, but you can use the lighthouse. Okay. Good to know. Here's a cool little random niche fact for you. Did you know that if you press F really far away from this car, Caesar will get in the back seat instead of the uh instead of the passenger seat? Well now you did. I have no idea why that's a thing, but it's a thing. How did you know that? I think like Petrus told me or someone when I was just doing runs like years ago. It's just like a random thing. 
That saves a little bit of time in speedruns. If you can do it right. No idea why it works though. It's the worst possible vantage point they could have used, yeah. It ain't no exchange and nothing. <laughs> May as well stand on the sidewalk. True. Everything about this mission is fucking stupid. It shouldn't exist. Garbage. A journey would be nice to keep for import. Because I'll need this later on. It's going to be a slow drive back, but... <laughs> Near camper as well, but that spawns in Tanfiro. Journey is list three. I mean, if I see a better car, like a list one car, then that's particularly rare and difficult to get, then I'll swap it out, but... This, the only spawns that I know are in either Badlands or LS, so... I'd rather get this while I can. The point you being you'll get your Euros when you unlock list three. Oh, true, so I don't actually need to complete list three. Right. That's a great point. Um, okay, new question for you. What else is on list three that I don't need to care about? Is this thing on list three? I don't think it is, right? Camper is this one. Okay, I'll take this then. I don't actually know the... I, I know, like, what cars are on the import list at some point, but I don't know which is, like, oh, one, two, and 3, you know? And Camper isn't a big deal, because I know there's a fixed spawn somewhere for it. You get what mission even unlocks Outrider. I want to say completing Jizzy, I think. Unlocks Outrider. But I don't quite remember. Why did I do zero missions? To get Berkeley's RC van. Because a certain zero mission makes them spawn all the time. Is the spawn rate affected by vehicle being on the list? No, but when something is wanted for export, like the Euros, it then has a fixed spawn that doesn't exist otherwise. You need to do all the GG missions. Okay, that's fine. We can we can do them all like back to back then. Get the first one out of the way, because this is a shit mission. But opportunity into Jizzy is such a shit, like fucking two absolute snoozer missions. Some fear I have so many awful missions looking back, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, SF is where like the mission like quality drops quite a lot. Like LS and Badlands is pretty good. SF is uh, uh how the fuck do I get down here? And then LV it picks up again, and then RTLS just goes right down the toilet. Do I still have rockets? No, I don't. Uh, shit. The devil comes to claim his own Godspeed driver. Godspeed. No! No way! No fucking way, dude! Oh. This is why this mission fucking sucks, dude. Now I've got to do it all over again, like five minutes. All because that guy just decides to absolutely fucking own me. So fun, man. No, I don't have the RPG anymore. I don't remember what happened to it, but I lost it. But that wouldn't matter. I just didn't expect that guy to flip my fucking car when I wasn't even in it. Oh no! Okay. Thank fucking god. <laughs> As I said, if I failed again, I was gonna cry. Bro, let me kill this guy. Woo! <laughs> that was. That was, uh. That was risky. What on earth are you doing? Bro, your thing is that, well, like, wasn't a really good play. I did the rocket strategy without the rockets. What do you mean, what am I doing? What do you What do you want me to do? Fucking chase him down all the way across the map when I could just do that? I'm touching that bike, bro. 
That was a sick play. It was risky, but it was a sick play. And I will stand by that until the day I fucking die. I, I haven't bought this safe house in this. I guess I'll buy it just to get rid of the cops. Headshot the driver of the limo. Where's the fun in that? It's fucking boring. Mine was way more interesting. Yeah, more fails is more content. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Alright, I will probably save an FCR replay on this. Because from what I've experienced, the replays only crash my game when using this mod. If they're long replays that I then cancel with F1, I think. But short replay seems to work fine. So I'll make a short FCR replay. We should be good. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I have eight shots. That's enough. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a gamer squint right there. I guess I could always save this FC FCR as well, maybe. Uh, it's not really worth it. I have a replay. It's not worth saving it because I'm so far away from any safe house. And I can't use it for the next mission as well. So. Not worth before I play the replay, I'll make sure I save my game just in case. Because it wouldn't be the first time it's crashed my game in this playthrough. Replay can be useful after the delivering stuff. One SCR is around the intersection from the White House. True. Although I'm pretty sure there's one, there's a point where like, when I start delivering stuff to... Oh, am I even... I think I was supposed to just take the road like all the way around for this. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a point where, like, assuming this works like I think it does in my head, that I'll probably just end up, like, delivering cars to Bayside and then, like, death warping back to Katie's house and then just, like, hopefully getting a fast car and, you know, rinse and repeat. Save, like, driving back and forth constantly. Still used for a for SCR spawn at Katie. That's what I mean, yeah. I just mean it's probably worth it to death warp compared to um, compared to like driving back with the FCR. I missed one guy. I'll pick up this ammo. Although I don't really need it. Yeah. Better to death warp to Katie and get a bike than go all the way drive from Bayside, you know. That was my thought. Some really good stuff in here. Like planes and stuff. The speeder close to Jizzy on the west side. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe worth it to grab after like Ice Cold Killer or something. If you remind me then. Or after this. Oh yeah, true, because we're at Jizzy's anyway, right? Yeah. I forgot this mission just ended you at Jizzy's anyway. So it's to the west of Jizzy. This thing? I guess delivering this to Bayside makes sense. I guess probably most of the deliveries from now on will make sense, taking them to thingy. How do I still not have a fucking stat point in lung capacity, by the way? I've done so much fucking swimming. Robots is this thing. It's like right here, right? What is that thing? Like a Marquis? I'm pretty sure a Marquis spawns at Bayside as well, right? Do you restart the game in between the swimming sessions? Probably, yeah. Uh, which probably means it's reset. Like my progress. Because I assume it only stores like... Oh, it's right here. It's even closer. I assume it only stores like your actual level, not your progress towards the level. Yeah. 
That's annoying. Let's see if there's anything interesting over here, I guess. Because there's like a dock over here. Rare. Look at this. Base side already unlocked? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I need to be SF. But we'll see. Got to grind the XP at once, yeah. Shit game. I don't know. Have I unlocked base side? Yeah, I feel like I should be getting stars by now, right? A big chunk of base side is a no no, but some of it is fine. Okay. Good to know. Let's do a lot of swimming and we'll do some boats. I think there's also some on like a marina somewhere, I think. I want to say it's like around the corner here. Maybe? Sounds like an enforcer opportunity. I mean, true, yeah. I don't have the list up. I was like looking at the list and it's not even fucking there. Yeah, could be an enforcer. Usually you don't get stars if you're swimming, really. Also, do I need to do boat school? What does, what does boat school give me? Do I need to care about it? Nothing important. That's what I'm also assuming, yeah. Marquee, Squallow, Jet Max. Well, then I already have everything, right? Because I have... Well, I don't have a Squallow, but that spawns elsewhere. Marquis and Jet Max I have. Yeah, so no point. Uh, I may as well swim while I've got full breath. Keep swimming. There we go. Now I got one capacity. Just a photo op boat, yeah. Jet Max I already got from LV, right? At the end of Badlands B. So that one's fine. There's a Squallow around here. On the south side. Oh, a Maverick. Squallow around here, you say. Closest to the bridge. This way, I assume, then. It's under the bridge. Okay. So, like, far southwestern, I assume. Why did you see J fat? I needed to get fat to be able to date Michelle. So her monster truck would spawn because it's a unique vehicle. Yeah, I ate 12 burgers. Uh, that's a reefer. Let's take a risk. Let's go and have a swim. Michelle has monster. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Michelle, wasn't it? The one in the driving school. And you need at least 50% fat to be able to date her. I don't think it's spawned. Oh. Well, where is it supposed to spawn? It is here, it just didn't spawn. All right, I'll I'll drive and come back then. I don't know how it possibly didn't spawn because I didn't exactly drive through the spawn trigger. I was I was swimming. I was going really slow. Maybe you just can't approach it from the east. It's one of those dumb fucking things. Yep, there it is. Nice, dude. Very epic. All right, that's a very convenient spawn. I don't have much health, but I can go for an enforcer. I can give it a try. Should be a skimmer on the east side. Okay. Uh, I guess I should get to land first. Rather than swimming all the way around. What's skimmer? Skimmer is like the seaplane. Where are we talking? Oh, there it is. A bit of a swim ahead of us, but let's go. I need to lose weight anyway, so that's fine. Nice, we got second lung capacity. Nice. Before game crash, yeah. Would be crash number, what, six of the playthrough? Something fucking daft like that. Can maybe go for the enforcer now? The question is... Do I- is there like a safe spot somewhere? No, there's no, there's no, like, safe house or anything. So we just kind of got to wing it. There's an enforcer. And I'm just getting fucking lit up immediately from, like, three cops. No, dude. Well, no, I'm dead. <laughs> I could have stole this if they didn't then ram another enforcer right in front of me. Yeah, I'm fucked. Yep. Awesome. I could have stolen that first enforcer so easily, but then the second enforcer just completely blocked me off from stealing it. And if I'd have stolen the enforcer, I would have got armor and it would have been fine, but... 
of course, the game just has to fuck me over again. <sighs> well, at least we got a cheater for import, I guess. I can store this somewhere. It's so annoying, man. The amount of times that, like, strategies would work out if I didn't just get astronomically unlucky and the cops don't fuck me over. And they just do everything in their power to make it not work. It's so annoying. Nothing in comparison to the stairs. True. Alright, does my replay crash the game? No. See, short replays are fine. So I guess we'll just do an enforcer attempt every time I deliver a car. <laughs> and eventually it will, will be good. Is that an FCR? If it is, I'm going to grab it and store it. Yeah, I think it is. Yunk. Alright, um... Back to missions, I suppose. I guess we can do Outrider now. Why not? We can get the naval base stuff out the way. Just now that we don't have to swim, I'm literally just gonna blow up the barricades and then just go and deliver shit. I think that's the that's the move. Gonna say no to the free kills if they run right there. How am I doing? Doing pretty good. So I'm still having fun 15 and a half hours into San Andreas, so can't be bad, right? These guys are shooting at me very early for some reason. Nice spin. Shoot the only place that doesn't kill those guys. Oh, there's a fucking third guy up here. I forgot about that. Record for the slowest outrider. Let's go. To the naval base. Me trying to remember where the naval base is. Somewhere to the east. Yeah, this is the, the sole reason why I did everything this way. Was so I can get a Patriot and the launch, which is the boat here. With no wanted level. Although I have no clue where the launch is. I assume it's out in there somewhere. So this I'm going to store. Because I also need this for... Um, for import-export as well, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to store this... Do I even have a nearby garage that I can put it in? Maybe here? Yeah, here's pretty good, I think. Yeah, so we'll store this, and then we need to go and get the launch as well. And we'll actually deliver that, because we don't need the launch for anything else. Why am I storing this? I need this for import-export, don't I? Isn't this like a list one car, I'm pretty sure? So I can grab two while I have no wanted level. Store one for import and export, and then deliver the other one. The import export spawn is also close, close to the docks. Oh, whatever. This is a much cooler idea. Then the import export spawn is at the oil refinery, which is shit. I don't know where that is, to be honest. Uh, quick question: Can I drive up to Bayside? I assume not, because it's locked, right? So I need to drive all the way to LS. I can't. Okay. In that case, I'll just store this for later as well. Uh, kind of running out of garage space there. <laughs> Isn't there a safe house? I can't even buy another safe house. Um, hmm. I could always just go here and just store another one. Oh yeah, I could scrap the tow truck, that's true, because it's kind of in an in it's a convenient place. I can always grab another one when I need it. Uh, this makes far more sense. Oh shit, I, uh, CJ? Alright. Um, hmm, let me think about this. Okay, I thought I pushed the tow truck in the right place so I could, uh, get into, but, but. Why do I have a camper? Because it's a list one spawn, and it was convenient to get. 
because I got it on the way back from photo opportunity, so I had to drive back anyway. Can Bowser fix spawn in Semphira anyway? Oh, right, yeah, in the car park. Okay, I can get rid of it then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then fuck it. We'll keep the tow truck. Now we've got shorter vehicles as well. We can actually park them in, like, places where we can actually get into them. Well, I say that, and now I'm just stuck. Don't know what I'm stuck on there, but okay. There we go. Now we can actually enter the cars. Now, someone tell me where that fucking launch boat is. Middle of the three lanes. Okay. Uh, look at swim. Middle of the lanes, you say? Are you sure? Or did I just not spawn it in because lol? Is that not a boat? Am I being griefed again? Yeah, I got trolled. Ah, oh dear. Fucking troll, man. Oh, wait, I can't deliver this thing on mission one. Fuck. Wait, this whole thing doesn't work. <laughs> I can't even store this. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, yeah, I still need to get the barracks as well. Shit. Well, I guess we can get this whenever. Because we can just drive through the naval base and not really give a fuck. They make this a mission vehicle? No, I just can't deliver things on mission one on this, I think. Because there's no way this is a mission vehicle, right? I think I just can't deliver things on mission one. So. New plan. We'll just grab it after the mission. We'll grab the barracks now. But even in the barracks, where am I going to store that? <laughs> store that instead of the tow truck, I guess? But that's not going to fit in the garage, right? It's huge. Get rid of Inferno of the tow truck. But will it fit, is what I'm saying. Isn't it like a massive military vehicle? It fits. And is it in the naval base as well? Where is it? All failed the mission. Oh yeah, here it is. This is pretty big. I don't know if this thing will fit, man. <clears throat> uh, I'm I'm doubting. I'm a doubter. L let me do a bit of rejigging. Ah, uh, that's winnable, I think. Is the Infernus needed? It's not needed, no, but it's just a convenient spawn. Um, if I put the slam van in, I think I can then park the Patriots sideways. Boom. Insane. No more tow truck. I don't think I need it for anything. All right. That was a long ass, uh, long ass mission, but we made it through. Uh, sure, we can do snail tow. No crashes on Outrider. Crazy, right? Yeah, we've got, we've got to spam missions if we're going to get through to hijack today. SF is a long ass segment when you're uh, when you're not duping stuff. Say something with you since you're going to the lighthouse anyway. Oh yeah, true. We can take like the barracks. Oh, we'll take the Patriot. I don't want to fail. Oh, I've got time actually. Actually, no, I kind of can't get anything out of here. Let's take the Patriot. Well, it depends. How am I going to get out the tunnel? What tunnel? Isn't this like not at all worth it? Like, doesn't this take forever? If you follow it the intentional way? Doesn't this take like fucking five minutes or something? You don't have to be close. Oh, fuck. I'm reading chat. No! Bro! What a fucking time to look away. Well, I guess we're going back. Oh, there we go. It finally pushed me away. Fucking hell. Yeah, it doesn't even give a shit if I'm near the train or not. So I can just go to the train station the other way. Yeah, don't don't uh, read chat and drive while you're... While you're driving into oncoming train traffic. Alright, we can just chase in the, uh... 
We can just chase in the Patriot, and then once we finish the mission, we can just hand it in for free. It's a good idea. Like, yeah, this drive was fairly slow, but we're kind of doing it anyway, so we didn't lose that much time. Because you'd have to drive there eventually anyway, so... Alright. Fuck off, Caesar. Probably actually do some woozy missions, because... Just completely neglected them so far. I'll do a uh, ice cold killer first, and then once we're up there, we'll go and do woozy stuff. I guess if I do see a really good second slam van, I could just store it anyway, just so now I don't have to mess about with replays and potentially crash my game. <coughs> it's a random thought. How many times do I shoot this? Six? I think six. Well, I mean replays. So my current plan is to keep that one slam van that I have in my garage in Doherty and use it to basically spawn in a second one. So I'm going to make a replay of me driving it while I hand it in for import-export. And then I can use that replay to reload in the model so then I'm going to get it at the lighthouse is my plan. But it's not really that consistent doing that. I already delivered it. Oh, right, yeah, I got a good spawn. All right, I'm trolling, ignore me. <laughs> it's hard to remember, okay? Nice tram. I just fucking clipped right through it in the cutscene. Nice. Another very enthralling mission. Drive all the way to the airport, then drive all the way back. You can get a tropic after this. Whereabouts? I assume up north somewhere. Oh, oh, up jetty. Oh, is it the one that spawns next to, um, there's like the squallow and then the other boat like right next to it? Is that the one that you mean? Yeah, yeah, I can get that. We can have another crack at the Enforcer as well. I'd like to heal before it though. I'd like full armor and health to try, if possible. I guess I'm, I can like eat. Tropic is a big meme, why? You have to go an extremely long way if you want to deliver it to LS. Nah, I'd rather deliver it to Bayside, right? All right, we'll eat to get some health back, and then... Oh, yeah. yeah, Bayside's better. For most boats from now on, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go to Bayside anyway. I guess I can do PS69 while I'm here. Doesn't this mission disable wanted levels? Again, I don't really have a use for disabling my wanted level, though. I don't really care. If you're talking about the launch, like... Really isn't that big of a deal to just go and grab it, I think. Because again, if I go during a mission, I can't deliver it anyway, so. What difference does it make? Oh, he's still there. I couldn't see him. Because his marker disappeared. I got really confused. Well, that guy's like half my health. <laughs> Even with bike aim, they just fucked me up. And they pop my back tire. Unfucking believable, man. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, I guess we don't get armor for this. Wait, do I not? Do I not already have this? No. The thing just didn't pop up the first time for some reason. With any luck, I'll get an enforcer as well. But it's kind of tricky because I got to deal with four stars. But even if they kill me, at least it's a free teleport back, I suppose. And we'll just keep trying. Every time we deliver something, we'll just keep trying. Alright, we'll try again, I guess. Same thing. 
Enforcer, please. Absolutely no enforcers, even though I have four stars. Like, why, man? Why are they just not spawning? I got one immediately last time. I got two, in fact. I got two when I only wanted one. And now I'm getting zero. Like, why am I just getting fucking rangers? There's one. Alright, come here. And I'm just getting lit up immediately before the- Are they gonna get out, or? already smoking, it's on fire. <laughs> nothing I can do. Absolutely nothing I could have done. For some reason, instead of just getting out, they decided to do like three laps of the lighthouse, which then just made their cars get so damaged before I could do anything about it. Again, just getting completely trolled by the cops. They have no reason to be doing laps around me like that. They should just be getting out and trying to attack me. But they're just not doing what they're supposed to for some fucking stupid reason. It's just so boring, man. Just gonna do the same thing over and over again and hope I get lucky. What did I miss? Just me getting trolled by the cops. I'm trying to get an enforcer. So every time I go to Bayside to drop something off, I'm deliberately giving myself four stars. So now I can try and quickly deliver an Enforcer. But every single time I'm getting four stars, the Enforcers are taking like ages to spawn, not stopping in the places that they're supposed to, blowing themselves up, blocking each other so I can't steal them, and just all sorts of dumb shit that basically just make it completely impossible for me to deliver one. Remember when I mentioned that there was a really cool mission before that was just driving across the map? Now this next mission is the exact same thing, but you're in a slower car. Actually, it's probably about the same speed, but you've got to go double the distance. Isn't that so fun, guys? What a great game San Andreas is. The mission design is just impeccable. I love holding W for five minutes, then starting the next mission and holding W for another five minutes. Do you have to deliver this rancher? I'm gonna I'm gonna deliberately keep this rancher because it's for import export, I'm pretty sure all you need a rancher for it. So I will keep it, but not to deliver to the lighthouse, because I've already delivered one. Fun mission. Just in, just incredible gameplay. I guess this can replace the Patriot in the uh, dirty garage for now. How's it going? It's going alright. We're going towards the end of uh, San Fierro. Hey, Woolsey, what's the bin? Just a few missions left to go. So then we can almost start import export and clean up some uh clean up some stuff. I still need to get the launch at some point. We could do it like right after this mission, literally. Because we're like right there. Oh, my FCR now. Uh, let's see if I get leathered, because I'm on, like, no health, so... Let's see if I get killed or not. Surely can't, cops can't spawn in here, right? Oh, one one did and drowned. Trying to come after me, I think. Hey, they can. Go! They fucking can spawn right there. Uh oh. Wait, don't I want this? No, I didn't want to... Bro, I didn't want to fucking... I'm dead. Yeah. Fuck's sake. I pressed F to then be stood on the boat so that I could shoot the fucking driver of that predator and steal it. But it just launched me off the fucking boat for no reason. Fuck's sake. Can any fucking mechanic work like it's supposed to? So I can actually progress in this fucking shit game, please? I guess I'll slow down. 
I'll try and snipe them out. I'll like go out here into the open. And then I'll slow right down. Look, it just clips you through the fucking boat. Look at that. There we go. Bro, let me the fuck in the fucking boat. The physics in this game is so fucked. Give me this. Surely I can deliver this at least. It literally just clips you through the fucking bottom of the boat. That's so dumb. So dumb, man. But yeah, I'm gonna get destroyed if I try and bring the launch here, I think. Because this, I can just outrun the cops. So. Bro, let me out! Oh my god, let me out! Fucking hell. Try the route to LS Lighthouse. I feel like that's not gonna save me. Look at that damage. And I'm gonna get nothing but FBI ranchers, so I won't get any enforcers, I don't think. Yeah, I'm just gonna get FBI stuff. I'll try and hang around and get, get an enforcer, but... Very unlikely I'm gonna get one, and even if I do get one, it's gonna kill me anyway, because I'm on such low hell. Yeah, it's just FBI guys. Yeah. Just kill me. And uh, if I reckon I, I reckon if I bang my head up the wall enough, I can deliver this launch. I'll give it a couple of tries at least. I think it's worth just a few tries. I might even be able to do some camera bullshittery to like despawn the predators as they come. I don't know. We'll see. Like, they already did a lot of damage there. Just as they are. Yeah, I was gonna avoid these guys as much as I can, but... But they just completely outrun me, so... Bro! Fucking roll. I can't see where the driver is. I can't tell if I shot him or not. This, this might be the only way. Just doing this every now and again. I don't know. If they drive that slow, I'll be fine. They're driving really slowly behind me for some reason. And I got four stars, which is good, because then I might be able to get an enforcer. This guy's gonna be a problem, though. I'm just gonna stay behind them, because they can only shoot in front of me. Oh, no, they just set me on fire immediately. Awesome. Literally from like not spoking to immediately just. I mean, I'm as well just fucking blow myself up. Yeah, maybe not. Because, yeah, they just hunted to zero me so fast, it's just impossible to do anything. Yeah, the only thing I can, other thing I can try is what Momo suggested, which is just try and deliver it to LS instead, even though it's way longer. Maybe being in those like short rivers might help. Can I get it? Go to shore, pain spray, get back to the boat. Yes, in theory, but again, it's just dealing with five stars, right? Like that's that's like. It sounds easy in theory. But yeah, like, you might either despawn the boat, or you might get to land and just get fucking railed by FBI guys, you know? Like, that's equally as risky as just driving it to Bayside and hoping you get lucky enough to not get killed. We can try driving south to LS. There's a the death squad. Yeah, if they spawn behind me, it's fine. Because I'm faster than them when I'm full speed. Yeah, there's a chance they might just not spawn in these smaller, less open waters, but I don't know.
Nope, spawns right in front of me. Well, now I'm fucked. Now I am fucked. Yeah, they just spawn here. Is there any safe house nearby? No. I'm better off just going to the lighthouse and hoping I get away with it. Yeah, swerve and pray. That unironically seems like the strat. There's two right here. Well, maybe I can try and kill them. Not the best weapon for the situation, I must admit. Nope, he shot me. Yeah. Not a lot I can do when two of them spawn right there. Literally right in front of me on the last corner. Two boats. Just fucking bullshit, man. It's just such luck-based crap. Yeah, I don't know what to do, man. Because it's literally, there's just no consistent way to get this thing out at all. It's just pure luck. Did you know you can despawn all boat traffic? How? That sounds something that might be pretty damn useful to me right now. Look the camera down and up. I tried to despawn some of the traffic, but it doesn't always work if they're close to you, right? How about getting minigun and blowing them up? Again, the issue is that when you press F to get out the boat, it clips you through the boat. But I don't know if I can do that, man. I can try, like, as soon as they spawn, I can just try and, like, flick them out, I don't know. Yeah, I could just do zero star and I'd be fine, but... I want to avoid heavy glitching where possible. I want to do this as quote-unquote legit as possible. You good, buddy? Yo, you guys can't come down here. It's blocked off. Alright, let's go full camera manipulation. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Keep your eyes peeled. Seven. Where's number eight? Give it to me. Come on. I saw it. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Damn, pardon it, you're a genius. Just get away. Let's go. I saw the fucking drone. Wait, I can go for an enforcer. If I can get an, an enforcer now delivered, I'll be fucking buzzing as an enforcer. Hey, Rue, what's up? Bro, it's just stuck. Get your ass over here. No, I don't want five stars. Well, just fucking YOLO it, I guess. Get out! No, don't block it! You dickhead! Get in! Oh my god. Nah, it's fucked. As if! That is such fucking bullshit, man! A random fucking Washington just blocks my fucking door. It's just unbelievable. Every single fucking time I try and get a fucking enforcer, just some random fucking shit just happens every time and gets me killed. Like, I could have driven away so easily there if I had just got in straight away. But, again. Nope. The car takes like 80% of its health away while I'm trying to get in it because of fucking... 
that one dickhead pedestrian. One pedestrian just completely blocks me. It's so insane how unlucky I'm getting with these fucking pieces of shit enforcers. I should have delivered this half an hour ago. Yeah, Momo. I'm aware that I can easily get the enforcer by just camping a safe house and getting four stars. But this is by far the faster and more efficient solution that would work if I didn't get insanely unlucky every time I try it. Like, I'm aware that I can just do other things. But, like, surely this thing's gonna fucking work eventually, right? Like, it's more likely to work than it than not work. It's not like this is, like, a really rare instance where the cops just have to behave. Or random pedestrians don't block me. Like, if you, if you do that strat, it should work more than half the time. I would estimate. With just average luck. Did you just kill all four guys in the Enforcer? Yeah, but that time I didn't have a choice. I was on one HP because of how long I was getting shot and stuff out in the open. But yeah, you, usually I'd have more time. Bro. Bro, what is, why is his head ducking? I'm like aiming at his head and then he just like ducks. Under my under my fucking shots. Man, he must have drowned by now. I guess it's when they like go to stab, they duck down, I guess. Oh my god. Ah yes. Infinite stun lock. Yeah. Great mechanic. One random guy can just unlock you. Why is my dinghy driving by itself? Alright, that works, I guess. Live a dinghy. At the end of Denang Thang, you get placed in a dinghy right next to Bayside for free. So it would just be a waste of time to deliver it now. There's no reason to. Bro, what a place for that gun to spawn. Get a bit of ammo for the. Dealing with the enforcer later. Yeah, see, it gives you a dinghy right here. And Bayside is literally just over here. I have like no health for this now that I lost all my health. Smashing through the mission. Not ideal. And try it anyway, we're here, so may as well try. But I feel like I'm gonna get wrecked so fucking fast. This would a uh, bike would be great. Bike aim will make this probably way easier. Not easy, but easier. Yep, nice ped spinning me up. Enforcer, please. Three ranches. Add some armor to make it easier. Remind me where the armor is again. You said like near the beach or something, right? Where's the beach? Here? Oh, I've just lost my force I wanted level somehow, so that's great. Right okay. oh, yeah. That's a cool little spawn. Hmm, yeah, stand right on top of it. Don't pick it up somehow. God, I would love for an enforcer to spawn at four stars where they're supposed to spawn. God, I would love an enforcer to spawn. It would just be so good if an enforcer spawned right now. It would just be so awesome. You see, because I have four stars, enforcers are supposed to spawn, right? So that's why it would be so awesome, because I've got four stars, so one should spawn. So I would just very much like it if the game were, you know, acting like it should. Because it should be spawning in forces. There's one. I'm going to get shot too much, I think. 
get the hell out. Despawn the cops that are there. Are we good? Thank fucking god. Alright, kill me. And now when I don't want them to kill me, they're so slow. Oh, god, what a fucking nightmare. Alright, let's finish San Fierro. Just go save. I'm going to. Don't worry. Alright. All done. Full map unlocked. Let's go. Alright, we'll do Monster and Hijack, and then we got some Wang Car stuff to do. Some import stuff to do as well. Alright, time for uh, thingy missions. Wang Cars. Let's go. Do I have to do? I think I have to go to the. I'm pretty sure I have to follow the trail. Yeah. You might just be able to go straight to the location. I don't know. I don't do these missions enough to know. So I'll just do it the intended way. I pit maneuvered them. Nice, they stop and then immediately start again the second I get out of my car. Oh my fucking god, I'm just getting so trolled by this fucking girl. God damn. I was gonna ask what this car was because I had no idea. Yeah, nice one. It's fucking locked? What? How do I get her out then? I already pit maneuvered like the game told me to. You're intended to pit maneuver it? I did. That's the first thing I did. I pit maneuvered it and she just drove off. Oh, man. Ah, oh, yes, but that's obviously a pit maneuver. I just hit her. And that apparently counts, but... Yeah. My bad, guys. My bad. So, just to confirm, right? I don't need this Uranus because one spawns in the showroom later, correct? Like, after I beat this mission or whatever. Yeah, this will spawn in one card after the mission, okay. I remember the last time I did this mission, I think it was on D, all achievements. I'm pretty sure I, uh, like, flipped right at the end of it on a dumb ramp. was not very epic. Caesar with the most unnatural handling in, resist in existence, yeah. Whatever they show scripted stuff like this in SA, it always looks fucking so weird. Look at that, it just looks so bad. Yeah, it was on this ramp I flipped on it. Literally seconds away from the end. Almost 10 years since last GTA, yeah. Next month, when it's uh, 10 years since GTA 5 came out, they're planning, uh, the GTA 5 speedrunning guys are planning like a big any percent classic race. And I don't think I'll join that race specifically because I'll probably be helping like restream and stuff if they need any help. But definitely around there, I'll definitely do... Uh, a run. I'll definitely do uh, a GTA 5 classic like a run to celebrate. Uh, so I don't need to do this mission, right? I don't need to care about that. Because I was literally just doing these missions to unlock thingy anyway. Unless I get a certain car, but I don't think I do. Uh, let's go and deliver this to Bayside. I'm pretty sure Bayside is more worth it at this point. Because it's a lot more direct. It's still kind of a lot, lot far away, but we can death warp back as well, which saves us quite a lot of time. Are there any other cool Bayside spawns that I can get now? Isn't there like a Sea Sparrow or something that spawns at Bayside as well? Or am I, am I mixing that up with the Maverick? 
I'm pretty sure there's a sea sparrow here. Somewhere. There's like one at the docks and one somewhere here, I'm pretty sure. It's after flight score, okay. Maybe what I was thinking of. Is there anything else that I can get around Bayside? Oh yeah, the, the Junker Saddler, yeah. In El Cabredos. Over here somewhere. Sure, we can go get that. Oh, look, a pizza boy. I'm too skinny. Unlucky. Let's go for the other location. Sure, hit me with it. North from the airstrip? Well, then I should wait until, like, flight school, right? In that case. Where do I go if I death walk from here, I wonder? Oh, is there a hospital? Oh. Fuck. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to teleport back somewhere. Unlucky. Let's buy some guns while we're here. There's another sad shit spawn close. Close to the safe house that's close to Torino. Okay. Small house, close to the safe house, close to that. I want to say this. Let's go there. Ooh, a Sanchez. UK aim. My first guess is that little white dot on the map, because that implies that it's like a building of some kind. I can export this over the docks. Cool. Yeah. Pod bike. And then this is just into another city, right? Is it like in the city somewhere? Well, in this little town? North, I guess. I don't see a house north of here. There's like a gas station with a cooking bell. Oh! Uh huh. Nice. Settler is also at the end of interdiction. I guess I could have got it at the end of interdiction then, but whatever. We've got it now. I feel like we're probably better off just death warping now, to be honest. Even though I just got, um, what's it called? Even though I just got, uh, armor. And we'll start exporting shit. I got rid of my Infernus earlier, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Now I can get it back again. Oh, I can even export it straight away. Oh shit. Alright, we can start looking to export some stuff now. Alright. What is on what it, what else is on the first list? Apart from the Sanchez. Buffalo, Patriot, Sanchez, Stretch, Feltzer, Remington, Camper, Admiral, Sentinel, Buffalo. That's easy. I know where a lot of those are. Right. Barracks time. Yeah, right. Let's go and get let's go and deliver this and go and get our Sentinel as well. Tractor and farm trailer went. I do need to do that at some point. Now I've unlocked the map. I will do that today. I just don't know exactly when. I want to get import export stuff figured out first. And then we can go from there. If you if you let me know where the stuff is, then I can uh then I can put like a marker there to get an idea. And I can go to it whenever. Alright, one six four. Alright, we'll we'll save and then we'll go and have a look at this sentinel. I think it spawns locked X, X percent of the time in the film studios. So we'll go and have a look there. And if not, then I'll Google it. Please don't drive away. Thank you. Well, this makes my job significantly easier. <laughs> don't have to remember where it is, because I just get one here instead. Yunk. Bomb trailer is Supposedly near a bridge in Tierra Rabada. Near where you took the Saddler shit. So that's like up near Torino's place, right? So I need to get a tractor from all the way down here. And then drive all the way up here with it. 
and get the plow. Is that correct? Or are there tractors that spawn over here as well? Surely there's a place I can get a tractor that's closer, right? Surely. Tractor is in the western portion of Blueberry Acres. Where in the fuck is Blueberry Acres? Is that over here? I'll figure it out. Blueberry Farms. Isn't Blueberry Farms is in Badlands though? Yeah. Surely there has to be one in the desert somewhere, right? There has to be a farm in the desert somewhere. I'm not driving the fucking tractor all the way across the map. There isn't. They can't even spawn like on the road or anything. That's fucked. So I'm going to have to drive all the way from Badlands to Tierra Rabada in a fucking tractor. Oh, God. Uh, can I get those baggage boxes and baggage wagons and stuff yet? Or is that an LV airport thing? They're in San Fierro Airport. Okay, I want to do those as well then. Oh, the bag boxes can tow each other. But I'll still need like a baggage or something for it, I assume, right? Yeah, so I'll have like the baggage and then I'll grab everything in like a sequence. Yeah. Cool. Stallion. That'll save me a bit of time. Trailers, lighthouse, trucking for tanker seems like a good idea. Oh, when you mean trailers, you mean like the baggage stuff, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Could go to trucking on the way back and bring the tanker back with me. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. When you said trailers, I thought you meant like trucking trailers. I was like, I've already got all those, I think. It's a great plan. Let's do it. You just have to go and find a handler in the airport. Loads of baggage to spawn in the airport. Well, good. If there was anywhere I thought they would spawn. I'm glad it's in the airport in a convenient place. I, I wasn't sure if there would be like just one fixed spawn or if they would like drive around, you know? Um, right. Baggage handler. Oh, there's, there's a bunch of planes as well here. What is this plane called? Oh, these are all locked, I guess. Maybe I until after flight school, I'll come back for these. There's a bunch of different stuff. Uh, maybe the other side for a baggage handler. I need to find the actual boxes too. Oh, I forgot these existed. Okay. Aha. Now, next question, where are the boxes? <laughs> oh, there is a tug here. This is a tug, right? Is this better? Is it like faster or something? I feel slower. I feel like I don't want that. Okay, it's faster. All right, I'll I'll take it. Feels slower, but I'll take your word for it. I'm both in front of the two big hangars. As well. Uh, cool. I guess. I guess I'll try and come back. Maybe. I might have despawned them looking around. I don't know. Do I need to like do flight school and come back? Well, that's one of them. How does one tug on? Well, yeah, I think I need a baggage. Other side. They fucking despawned again. Unless they were this side. No, they fucking despawned again. Are you serious? The spawns on these things are fucked. Random utility. Like, the spawns are just random. Like, now there's two utility cars here that were never there before. Like, what the fuck? It's just random. There's one. Now I need the other one to spawn in again. Incredible. How you're ever supposed to find that casually is beyond me. Literally like 1 in 75 times it'll spawn. So dumb. There we go. Let's go. What a fucking nightmare, man. 
Oh, fuck. No. Slow down. Woo. Chill, Ben. Chill. We're almost there. Don't fuck this now. No! Dickhead. Oh, well, now it's fucked. Because this guy's just going to ram them infinitely. Yeah. And this guy. Of course, they both aggro towards me. Yeah. I have to kill this guy. Look at him. What a fucking idiot. Go away. Just get away from me, man. Just go away. Okay. Bonk one bike the tiniest bit, and of course they all fucking immediately aggro on me. This is not going to be the easiest thing I've ever done. What the fuck is those physics? What the fuck? I, I was reversing and it just launched me forward for some reason. Okay, just go, man. Ah, yes. What a place to park. What a place to park, genius. Nice one. Oh my god, it's like in the worst fucking place ever. Go. And it just... Like, it's just fucked on this fucking angle. You try and turn. And it just fucking, like, gives you a hundred speed for no reason. It's so fucking daft. The physics is so broken. Like, you turn a little bit too much. And instead of, like, jackknifing as normal, it just, like, doubles your speed and just launches you in a certain direction. And it just makes it, like, impossible to control, man. So weird. Alright. We're here. In before a bunch of ballers spawn and fucking shoot me. And kill me before I get to the end. Yep, there they are. Yep. Alright. I should be two collected. We've already got the baggage. Yeah. Let's go. That is a big pickup. Good shit. Now we go back to trucking, get the tanker and complete list too. Tanker. Right. Deliberately jackknife myself immediately. <laughs> or not. Oh, there we go. That kind of worked. There we go. That, that was a weird way of doing it, but it worked. And now get this thing back to San Fierro. Could have just reversed. Kid of me. Shut up. The way I did it was so much cooler than that. By the by the way, the farm plow explodes just like the ladders if you flip it. Oh the stairs you mean? Oh, brilliant. Good. Very much looking forward to that then. Wait, can I even get this up here? I have to lift this, I think, right? I have to lift it with the crane. Wait, fuck, I did it the wrong way. Am I good? No! How do I let go of it? How do I let go? What's the button? Oh, control. Alright. Cool. Right, cool. So what we've just unlocked... Blade Freeway Mesa ZR, Euros we've unlocked, BF Huntley, Journey Super GT... Okay, so nothing nothing matters. All that matters is getting that Euros. That's all that matters. Awesome. And we got $2 million. As opposed to $1 million. $2 million is always better. Who's with me? Alright, are you guys excited for the farm plow now? Let's go and get ourselves a tractor. Get the Sand King? Where is the Sand King? Is it the big year, the satellite in the desert? Why would I not just deliver that to Bayside if it's in the desert? 
Why would I go all the way to grab it and then go all the way to Bayside? Oh, sorry, all the way to LS. It's closer to LS. The satellite in the desert doesn't give me anything. I don't know where the satellite is. That swirly road southwest from area 69. This thing? Alright, um... What's the quickest way to get there? So whereabouts does it spawn? Like, up here? There's some cars. Under the satellite itself. Is that it? Oh, yeah, I see it. Huh. This is a fucking weird spawn. Is this the only spawn for it? Seems like a really weird spawn. The only spawn? Wow, okay. I would have had to probably Google that one then. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so I need to grab a tractor now, right? I'll just grab this one, I suppose. Right, so now we've got the long, arduous process of taking this tractor all the way up to wherever the farm plow is, which is like... Did you say it was like near here? That's going to be such a long fucking drive. So we're going to go north of trucking and go up this road, I think. It's the best way. What do you get a tractor on the desert? Apparently there are none. I thought I was going to do the same thing, but apparently you can't. I could have sworn there are tractors in the desert somewhere, but... I'm, I'm trusting... I'm trusting my uh, my loyal chatters here. Is that the farm plow? It is, right? Need to get the other side, maybe. Oh no, wait, I do it on the front, right? No? How do I connect this thing? Is it this way? On the front? No? How the fuck do I connect this thing? Oh, I need to lower... Right. There we go. I forgot. Do you have to do that? There we go. Alright. Does the plow explode? Yes, it does. It has a health bar like everything else. Okay, so surely delivering it to Bayside makes sense, right? Surely. Lift it up. Okay, lift it up. Okay, so now we go to Bayside. Let's go. 169, baby. Both of them counted, yeah? Yeah. Big. Are you going to be doing gold flight score? That's another good question. Do I need to do that for the hunter? Or can I get it easily elsewhere? Because if... if if the hunt is a pain in the ass to get, I'll just do gold flight score. I don't mind doing that. I don't think it's too difficult. Oh, you can get it from the air races. Right. Yeah, so there's no point in doing golds. It's just slower. But then you have to, yeah, you have to fly it to the airport hangar and stuff anyway. Hmm. Gold is the faster option. Okay, what I'll do is I'll go for the golds. And if the if there's a gold that I, like, you know, get stuck on or something... Then I just won't, and I'll do it the other way. Okay. What about the stunt plane and stuff? Because you get that from doing silvers, right? Stunt plane? Stunt plane is also in an air race? Okay. What about Romero? Isn't there a convenient Romero spawn that I don't need to care about girlfriend stuff? I'm pretty sure someone mentioned... Yeah, Fort Carson Hospital. Whereabouts is Fort Carson? South Desert here. Okay. I mean, we could get this then while we're on the way to interdiction and stuff. Okay. Let's go there then. Are there any other vehicles that I can, similar to the Romero, that I can just pick up now in the desert? Or is it all LV stuff? It's like police car LV. A lot of it is flight school. Hunter, stuff like that. Euros is all LV. Is there anything that's just spawned in a desert that I can grab? That anyone can think of? Sea Sparrow. I mean, yeah, I can do that later. 
There it is. Just a directional meme, I think. All right, two. Uh, we're better off going on this road, actually. Bayside. Oh, did we just hit 20 hours? We did. We hit the big 20 hours played. Huge. All right, let's go. All the way to interdiction, and we'll we'll keep going to flight school. We've only got a few missions to do. And we'll try and gold flight school. That's the next current plan. All right, let's go. All the way to interdiction. And we'll we'll keep going to flight school. We've only got a few missions to do. And we'll try and gold flight school. That's the next current plan. So AT400 is like that big plane, right? That's like in the airfield or something somewhere. I don't know what the beagle is. The beagle is cargo bob. I also assume is in the airfield somewhere. Dumper is like quarry, I guess. Dune is LV Stadium. Euros we know about. Hunter. Beagle is the medium-sized tourist plane. Oh, it's also a, it's also a plane. Okay, I thought it was a car. Euros we know about. Hunter is flight school. Hydra is obvious. Cart is after cutthroat business. Leviathan, no idea. Nevada, no idea. News Chopper, God knows how I'm gonna get that thing. Phoenix, we know. Police Maverick, I think spawns later on in LS somewhere. LB, police car is easy. Rain dance is easy. Rhino is probably in Area 69 somewhere. Rustler is a plane. SWAT, we know about. Sea Sparrow is in Bayside. Regular Sparrow, don't know. Oh wait, no, the Sea Sparrow spawns near the dam, I think, and then the Sparrow... Or maybe the other one's a Sea Sparrow, I don't know. Stunt Plane, tight flight school. Turismo, no idea, hopefully an LV somewhere. Vortex also, cutthroat business. Cargo Bob is in Area 69, okay. We'll probably have to get some stuff. You want the dumper from explosive situation? Do I? Can I not just get it from, uh... Can I not just get it from Quarry afterwards? Because you get a dumper. I know you get a dozer for the first one, right? Dumper you get, like, much later on. Yeah. Turismo is an LV race. Yeah, I'd have to do Mission 3 Quarry. Okay, so I'll steal it from Explosive Situation, and that's fine. Explosive Situation locks the gate. Oh, yeah. Well, I can just do quarry if needed. I'd just rather not. Wait, doesn't the gate only lock when you, uh... Yeah, it, it only locks when they close it off, I think. Yeah. I was just about to say the same thing. I'm pretty sure the gate is open until you collect all four dynamite, and then you're fine. Sparrow's on Mad Dog's rooftop. Okay. Which is the one that spawns in Bayside? Is that a sea sparrow or a regular sparrow? I think it's a Sea Sparrow, because it has the guns. So I don't need to care about the one in this mission, I don't think. It's a Sea Sparrow? Okay. Sea Sparrow, sparrow spawns on the water. Well, th this one... This one spawns on land, which is why I wasn't sure. Because another one in the dam spawns in the sea, hence the name Sea Sparrow. But this one doesn't spawn in the sea. So I wasn't sure if it was a Sea Sparrow or not. How many vehicles are left? 24 vehicles are left. I'm at 170 out of 194. And we'll be starting Las Venturas today, which is the second to last segment. But I've got to do flight school first. The Notorious Flight School. And with any luck, I'll also be getting all of the gold medals, which means like 100% in everything in flight school. Which... I don't think I've ever done before, so we'll see. So the only thing I have 100% in on San Andreas is debt. Yeah, it's not easy to do this. Alright, let's do it. Gold medal right here, let's go. I'm gonna get gold medals on everything, first try. Guaranteed. No doubt in my mind. I'm not gonna have to redo a single test. So easy.
This one's going to be 31 seconds, gold medal. Boom. 98! That's some fucking bullshit, dude. This is a 30 right here. Boom. Easy. I was just trolling, guys. Land the plane. Easy. Never failed this in my life. I couldn't finish GTA 5 Flight School. I don't remember how difficult or easy GTA 5 Flight School is, to be honest. I don't remember. Alright, let's get smack bang in the middle. Boom. Easy. GTA 5 Flight School is bullshit. You're flying upside down in the second lesson. Are you actually? Okay. I haven't done it in ages, so... It's legit more impressive than that time you did a front flip. It's, it's... Glad to know that I can blow people's minds with basic... Basic inputs. You can do a, a front flip, yeah. Liv keeps referencing it for everything. We were in... I think it was at a Norwich or Doncaster. In a, in a Premier Inn. And I just fucking did a front flip one day. Because I, th I just thought it'd be funny to just do, like, randomly and not, like, mention it at all. Because I'd, I'd never said to Liv that I could do a front flip before. So I just, like, front flipped onto the bed in the Premier Inn. And she hasn't shut up about it ever since. I want to learn how to do a backflip eventually. Because that's, like, the Giga Chad thing. Is backflipping. But I'm, like, too scared to do it. Like, even on trampolines and shit, I'm too scared. All right, perfect landing. That is not quite perfect, actually. Fuck. Yeah, my position fucked me. Just gotta land straight. That's the most important part. That's much better. That is perfect. Fuck. I'm going way too fast here. No, I've overshot. Fuck. Can I spin it round in time? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. Yeah, fucked. Yeah, nice and gentle. No. Yeah. Has to be it. Let's go. Alright. Helicopter should be easy. This one, this one is literally a free gold because the marker spawns behind you, so all you got to do is fly backwards and you can, like, just predict where the marker's going to be. It's, like, the freest gold ever. Because you get enough height and the marker spawns right in front of you, right here. That was the hardest lesson. All right. I'll take your word for it. Flawless. Uh, destroy targets. Okay. I'm pretty sure this gold is, is easy as long as you just land in the correct place. And as long as you use the machine gun, which is just like broken. I don't know which way I'm supposed to land. Am I supposed to land the same way, like this way? Does it matter? I don't know. I'm gonna land, like, perfectly, just to be so. Yeah, easy. Cool. This lesson's hard to go on. We'll see about that, sunshine. Blow us. So easy. About that one being hard. Wait, this one is probably surely harder, right? Never mind. <laughs> Alright. Parachute. Hard 
don't think I've ever tried to gold this one because this is one that you usually you can do it faster if you bronze it but I'll give it a try I assume I just say to land in the middle right like probably isn't that difficult was I in quickly okay Easy. Let's go. That wasn't too bad. Bayside is faster for the aircraft. Got you. My first time gold in flight school. Let's go. 100%. I'm literally the best pilot that's ever lived. It's not even close. Alright, so we'll deliver the stunt plane. We'll deliver the hunter. We'll deliver the rustler. Is there any other aircraft near the, um, near the airstrip that I should do as well? Oh yeah, I'm wanting a Sea Sparrow as well, yeah. Cargo Bob in Area 69, yeah, that's nearby, we can do that. I'm pretty sure the Sea Sparrow spawns after flight score. So we'll, we'll see. I'm going way too fast. Yeah, true. I, I can hold it for now and not necessarily deliver it right away. No, the Maverick always spawned there. Yeah, you're right. We can use the um, we can use the Sea Sparrow to fly back. You're right. Do you still get a five star wanted level at the other cargo bob spawn? We'll find out, I suppose. Yeah, we'll use this as our last thing that we want to deliver. Yeah, this this spawn changes from the Maverick, yeah. There's Beagle, Leviathan, and some other big plane in San Fierro Airport. Yeah, I, I need to go and get a load of stuff in San Fierro Airport now, because it was all locked before. The only thing that I grabbed in San Fierro Airport was the uh, Maverick. Everything else is completely untouched. So, I've got a lot to grab. And fly over there. Stunt plane next. New spawns in LS. What spawns do I have in LS? Oh, fuck. Let's bring out. Yeah, that was my plan, Nab Noob. I'm going to deliver everything to Bayside that I can now. And then I'll deliver the Sea Sparrow. And then I'll uh, Death Warp to San Fierro from Bayside. And hopefully grab a Phoenix as well. If possible. And then we'll go from there. That's the short term plan. Oh, is the police maverick there now? Okay. Can definitely look at getting that at some point as well. We can clean up like half the vehicles now. Okay. Also need the F40. What is the F40? Oh, Turismo, yeah. Yeah, Turismo is LV races, apparently, so I'll also grab that later when I actually go and do LV stuff. Turismo spawns in LV traffic. I guess I can head over to the races and see if I get one on the way, and if not, I'll just get one from the race. If I get one in a race, because if I, like, if I fail, it'll, like, teleport me out, right? It'll teleport me out the car if I fail. So how do I get it out of the race? Do I have to I have to buy a garage first and then come and store it somewhere, I guess. Oh, drive back to the race marker. That's smart. So then when it puts you out, yeah, you'll just have it right there. That is smart, actually. Much better than the garage idea. Yeah, I, I was thinking I could like buy a safe house with a garage, but yeah, driving, driving to the marker is 400 fucking IQ shit. Nice. 21 vehicles to go. How exciting. Alright, so is there anything else I want to get from around here? Or is the rest all SF Airport stuff? Okay. I can hand this in now, I think. And then we'll death warp. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go and get the Phoenix. Nice, CJ. Okay. CJ? Uh... Have I just softlocked? For fuck's sake. The last save was after flight school, so we have to do all that again, I think. Yeah, 10 minutes ago. I didn't know you could softlock like that. That's news to me. Yeah, I can't, I can't do anything. I can't interact with anything. Wait until you starve to death. I am so far away from starving to death, dude. It would it would take me ten minutes of sat here real time. Probably longer, I think. That's so annoying. The last fucking one and I soft laugh. We'll take the L. We'll go again. Alright. Luckily I saved after fucking flight school. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> well, I guess we're going to San Fierro early, guys. <laughs> it's fine. I meant to do that. It's all good. All good. I meant to do that. San Fierro Airport. Let's go. It's fine. I can get that Sea Sparrow like whenever. It's really not a big deal. Okay, so first, I want to go and get a Phoenix, actually, before I forget, because San Fierro Airport is like a big segment, so I want to go here first, and we'll drive that to Bayside, then I'll deliver the Sea Sparrow, then we'll Death Warp again, then we'll go to the airport. <laughs> okay, which one has the fucking thing in it? I think this one's the bullet one, and this one's the Phoenix? No, that's the Alpha. Fuck, I got the wrong way around. Hills. Boom. Okay, so now we drive back to the start of the race. Okay, we'll put it like here. Pimp the Phoenix before delivering it. Alright, we can do that. I never actually used this pimping thing before, I don't think. Boom. Look at that. Phoenix. Alright, let's go. Let's go. What a stunning vehicle this is. This is what I aim to uh, drive in real life when I when I eventually get a license when I'm like 50. Fucking pink and white sports car with a huge spoiler on it and fucking bass boost car stereo and shit. Absolute fucking giga chad. All right, everyone say goodbye to the Phoenix. It's done as well. Right, let's go and see if the fucking thing's there. Sea Sparrow. All right, let's deliver this thing. I'll, I'll land it, though. I won't actually deliver it the other way. I'll just land it. And then we'll death walk back and we'll do San Fierro Airport. <laughs> Huge. All right, to the airport. Let's go. All right, so what do we need from the airport? We need Beagle, Leviathan. Is that everything? Or is there more? Is a Nevada a plane? Nevada as well, okay. Uh, I remember planes spawning around, there was one in here. Dodo, I've already done. That's a Rustler. We did the Shamal. This is something that I can deliver, I assume. Hey, Amran, what's up? This is Nevada, okay. Uh, I'm gonna need this marker back so I know where the hell I'm going. Uh, let's just death walk. Alright, next up. So we got that big fucker. And there was some over here as well. There was one, like, here that kept spawning. That's another of Nevada, though, isn't it? I think. Yeah. 
And that's a shamal. This is, uh... What is this? Is this the Leviathan? It's the Leviathan. That is a rain dance there, yeah, but it's not worth getting because it spawns at the beach. I think. So whereabouts is the beagle? That's the one that I haven't seen. More west at the start of the runway. Okay. Alright, right, last one, beagle. And then we'll go and get the cargo bob as well, I suppose, while we're doing aircraft stuff. You didn't continue with air races for news chopper. Where are air races? Are they in LV? Or are they in San Fierro? Are they just all in the one place here at the airport? Oh no, there's two different ones. The one in the app. this is air races, I think. And then this is the regular races. So we can get the Turismo as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot there was two different locations. Alright, you said the thing was west at the start of the runway. Aha. Uh -huh. This thing? Yeah. Free. Alright. Actually, do I even need to die if I want to do cargo bob? Yeah, I probably shouldn't die. I want to go to LV. That's just going to take me away from LV. <laughs> Alright, we'll fly over to LV. Actually, no. We'll, we'll fly over to the airstrip. We'll do NOE. And we'll do stowaway first. And then we'll go to LV to save coming back. And then once we're properly in LV, then we'll do air races and stuff, I think. Uh, let's, let's do NOE. Very epic mission. Never failed that mission in my life. But again, upside down, you know. Why did it face me this way? Whatever. Alright, so let's go... Uh... Let's go to... Air races, I suppose. We'll, we'll get to LV, we'll save, and then I'll, uh... And then I'll go and have a food break. How am I gonna get the Andromeda now? I'm not. That's how. I'm not gonna do it. Any taxis? Where's my fucking parachute? I, I pulled it. What the fuck? What is happening? What is that? What the fuck is wrong with this game, man? It took me all the way fucking back here. God's sake. Bro, I've encountered so many bugs in this playthrough that I've never seen in all my hours playing this game. Never seen them before, and I'm just encountering them all at once. It's so weird. So. Plan. Get this LV cop car. Hand it in. Then go to air races. Grab myself a new helicopter. Then. Go to regular races in LV. Get myself a Turismo. Then go to Northeast LV and get myself a, what's it called, Cargo Bob. I can also get the Euros as well. True. Although I don't quite remember where that is. It's in like a ho- it's near a hotel suite somewhere. Maybe here. The Camel's Toe. Nice, dude. It, it's in one of these purchasable properties, I think. Can I get the uh, Maverick while I'm here? In LS? The police one? You kinda need a heli for it? Oh. Oh, the rain down. Can I not get onto the roof without a helicopter of my own? Wait, I can just use this. I'll just use this. Let's do it. 
Where boss is the police station? Yeah. Epic. I suppose I didn't fucking die there. We're almost at the final ten. How exciting. Hundred and eighty one. I'm gonna go and get the uh, news heli from the air races now. And then I'll do Turismo, then I'll do Cargo Bob. Is Cargo Bob shit because it's so slow, I guess? Oh yeah, Euros as well, yeah. I'll actually do the Euros first because I keep forgetting about it. So if I just do it now and get it out of the way, then I won't forget. So we'll go here first. Hey look, it's the rarest car in the game. How rare is the Euros? It is so rare that that place where I just picked it up is the only place where it spawns in the game. And it only appears when you do a specific optional part of the game that you wouldn't usually do to get it to spawn. Otherwise it spawns nowhere. When we're in San Fierro, that entire hour-long detour to do import, export, and wang cars was to get this car to spawn. It's the only way, besides spamming, yeah, vigilante. But that is extremely inconsistent and stupid. How do I even get a vortex? Is that just does that just like spawn somewhere after cutthroat business? The same way the go-kart spawns in LS. I assume it does, because how else would you get it? Yeah, it just cut our business, I thought so. Because otherwise there wouldn't really be another place you can get it unless you smuggle it out of the mission. But... One is in Bayside, in other words, where you swim in snail trail. Okay, so I guess Bayside makes the most sense. Alright, let's grab ourselves a news helicopter. So for the news helicopter, should I put it in the airport hangar? Or should I just come and land it here? Yeah, I guess it makes sense to land it back there. It's closer anyway to this flight across. Okay. Send news. Oops. Cool. When we played uh, v VCMP, Damien, we found like a deathmatch lobby that had a fucking Hydra that you could steal and it was just so busted. As you can imagine, like, the VC map is so small. So using that to fly around, you could just go from one side of the map to the other in 20 seconds flat. It was cracked. I don't know when VCMP became so advanced. Back in my day, the server scripts used to run on IRC servers. The good old days. I say that having never played Vice City multiplayer, nor Samp, nor MTA growing up. Just something that I didn't play. I wish I had though, because it seemed like a lot of fun. Alright, we're one away from the final ten. Do we get a Turismo, or do we get the Cargo Bob? Let's go Turismo. It's closer. Right, which race has the, uh... Has a Turismo, anyone know? LV Ring Road. Oh. Cool. Oh, and it's right here as well, so we can even just go straight back and... Alright, Turismo. Gonna put us in the top 10. Alright. Top 10 to go. 8400. Cargo Bob, Dumper, June, Hydra, Cart, Rhino, SWAT, Sparrow, and Vortex. Alright. Where the fuck is this Cargo Bob? You said it was up like northeast, right? Like over here somewhere? 
Need a heli. Why would you let me drive all the fucking way here and then say that? Oh, by the way, Ben. I drove past the fucking airport. Needs to do a big ramp. What, can I ramp into it? Like off here or something? At the containers is a ramp. Oh, like here? Ah, oh, fuck, that's close. Fuck, that's so close, dude. I can do this. It's just not, it's just not quite enough. Let's see if we can just pack a walk up there. All right, what's the lowest part? I think it's all the same. Yeah, that isn't nearly high enough. Unless I then, like, drove another car on top. Another reasonably tall car. Like, another packer. <laughs> Real shit. Eh? Don't fall down, CJ. You dickhead, CJ. I hate you. Fucking hell. I was trying to, like, angle it so I could get out and stay on top of the packer ramp. But it's... CJ just doesn't want to fucking do it. Oh, yeah, maybe if I was verse on, actually. Hold on, you're onto it. I might be making this way more complicated than it needs to be. Wait. CJ, you're a fucking prick and I hate you. Right, fuck the mule off. New vehicle. Let's get something else. Uh, let me reverse it on. This isn't the cargo bob action I was expecting. Well, this is the cargo bob action you're getting, buddy. Oh, I'm fucking miles away from the thing. Hold on. Is that even going to be enough? Yeah, let's go! Alright, now where is this fucking thing? Let's go. Yeah, now where the fuck does it spawn? I leave at the very top. Okay. Do I need to go through the warehouse? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think I did. Let's go! Big. For God's sake, don't crash it. <laughs> I'll do whatever I want. Alright. Uh, God. I guess LS is still closer. Hey! Hey! Nine vehicles to go. Let's go and check Mad Dog's Mansion. If we don't get anything, we'll head up to LV and we'll check for kickstart. Yeah, we'll go and check the Sparrow now. We actually unironically got a really good vehicle as well because this will climb the hill really easily compared to like a car or a motorbike. Because you can just like scale entire vertical surfaces with these fucking bikes. They're nuts. They're called mountain bikes because you use them to scale mountains. True. Uh, I don't see it. I assume it's supposed to be up there, right? After a home in the hills. Oh, is it after a home in the hills? So it's not there anymore? Well, I can always come back to it then. Uh, right. Next thing. Something I was going to do in LV that I forgot. Oh, yeah. Kickstart. Yeah, I was looking for the Sparrow, but apparently it doesn't spawn until after a home in the hills, so... 
I don't think I can get it yet. At least in a convenient location. Alright, kickstart call. Jin? Where does it spawn? Oi, mate, where me fucking June at? Did my bikes block it? Lol. <laughs> nice, man. I, I blocked it with my fucking bike by mistake. Whoopsie. Rhino. Oh, yeah, I still need to do the, do the Rhino. You're right. Before I do missions. All right, we can do the Rhino next. You, if you tell me where to get it, I'll go and get it. Eight vehicles left. Area 69. Anything more specific, or am I just going to go and have a look around? Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get fucked up, I think. Get armor and bike accuracy. Do you not think it'd be better to just, like, fly in and just try and get it that way? You need to break through a fence on the southeast corner. So I need to go, like, here. And the tank's in one of these. Okay. Um... I guess the best thing to do would we go to the airstrip and I'll save. Right? And then I'll get armor on the way from here. And then we'll get the PCJ for bike accuracy. South of the horizontal gray line is the fence. Wait, the gray line? You mean this? It's like here somewhere, you mean? Oh, airstrip has armor as well. Of course it does, yeah. Okay, let's go here. Right, someone remind me where this armor is again. It's in like... It's on like a plane wing or something, isn't it? Like, in the middle of a hangar somewhere. Or in the middle of like a plane bit. In one of these things, I'm pretty sure. Somewhere. There it is. We'll save it and we'll give it a try. How close can I get without the stars? Now look on the right. I see it. I see it. We're about to we break it. Ah, here it is. Let's go. Go. Okay, cargo bomb. Go. In. Let's go! Go! Oh! Let's go. Sick. Can you believe you're 186 out of 194 done? You still need to do a quarter of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Still gotta do gang territories, which is like the most depressing bit by far. I don't care about anything else. Is there much still to do progress rise? I mean, unlocking vehicle spawns? I mean, yeah, I've still got to get to end of the line one. I've still got to do all of Las Venturas and all of Return to Los Santos, plus gang territories to unlock the SWAT van. That's the biggest one. Everything else will come with that at this point. All right. Seven vehicles left. Euros and SWAT tank really bring down SA Lighthouse or as yeah, I agree. It would be like 10 hours shorter if it wasn't for those two fucking cars. It's crap. Right, are we doing missions now? Up until, well, we're, do we're doing two whole missions and then delivering the dumper afterwards. Well, we're not even doing two missions. We're doing one mission, then delivering another car. One whole mission. Alright. Finally fuck in here. After all that. Alright. Time to smuggle another vehicle. Leave it as soon as you take it. Yeah, I know. Don't lock the gates behind me otherwise. You don't have clearance for this area. Get our ass straight back up. What is that? What did I hit? 
What? I just collided with nothing. Great, man. Thanks. Very epic, dude. Alright, let's go. Alright. Six vehicles to go. Right, now we actually do missions all the way up until free fall, I guess. So where's the rest of the oh, band, fuck. <laughs> where's the rest of the band, guys? <laughs> as I say, as I fucking just do a front flip. When you can you get the AT400? Basically whenever. I'm just deliberately only doing it when I'm at the airport, because I'm going to need to go to the airport a few times in the LV missions anyway, so... I may as well do it when I'm at the, already at the airport, rather than going out of my way, which is just slow. Am I too far ahead? Yeah, riveting gameplay indeed. Where the boss spawns in your crosshair, and you just hold left click and kill him. Incredible. Yeah, I ain't going down without a fight goes down before he can even finish the sentence. I ain't going down without a fa- Right, everyone ping Nabnoob because I'm going to do AT400 now. How do I get in this thing? I have to go this way. So as soon as I leave this area, I now can't re-enter this thing, can I? it's too big I can't get up there to fucking enter the thing alright yeah the door's too high I mean I guess I take it to LS right need to get this thing off the fucking ground first turning circle is incredible look at how slow it is <laughs> ooh jesus Thing is colossal. All right, here we go. Let's try and get this thing off the ground first. Yeah, good. Now to turn it around. God, look at it. There we go. My plan for this is to just launch it at the lighthouse and hope to God that I managed to hit the thing. Alright, here we go. What? It blew up before it even got in the fucking zone. What the fuck, man? So if, if it's too big that it doesn't go in the, in the radius, then how do I even deliver it? Because it's not like I can land it in the radius, it's too big. Do I try Bayside instead? Yeah, I guess like, guess we'll try Bayside. Land in the water? If you land it in the water, it counts as destroyed. I'm pretty sure that it won't count either. Doesn't it feel like it because it's so big, but this thing is fucking zoomy if you look at the map. It's quick. Isn't flying over the military base dangerous? Eh. Fuck! That was so high up, too. Bro, how the fuck do I do this? Shit's impossible. Just park it? Where, man? The thing is so big. There's no way that I can just, like, land it somewhere and fucking taxi it onto the... into the zone. There's no way. It's so fucking huge. Land it on the beach, but then what? How do I get it to the actual lighthouse?
Like, I land it on the beach, and then it's just stuck on the beach. I don't need it, it on the beach. I need it where the lighthouse is, but it won't fix. It's too big. Maybe by 48 hours, we'll have handed in this fucking plane. Alright, let's try and slow this massive fucking thing down. Yeah, I'm going way too fast. There's no way. Yeah. There's no way. I, I, I started slowing down here. And I was, I was still going 600 miles an hour. Straight over here. And it just blows up anyway. How in the fuck am I supposed to do this, man? Tow truck from the airport is the best option. Yeah, absolutely. Let me just t tow this thing that's twice the size of a lighthouse. Yeah, it just doesn't work. You, you, you can't hit the... Like, even if you fly it over the lighthouse... I don't get it. Like, it, it's so... It's so big... But you have to get it in a zone that's like the, the ATU 400 is like bigger than the fucking radius for the lighthouse. So I, I don't understand how you're supposed to do this. Bro, I didn't think I was in. Didn't think I was in radius. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure I can take two shots anyway. Yeah. Thank God. Woo! Let's go. Thank the fucking Lord, man. Alright, the next thing is just literally just RTLS. Let's go and save. Save at the earliest possible location. Because fuck doing that again. Alright. Locked in that progress. Let's go. Five vehicles left. How exciting. I feel like I say that for every number now. Time to hold W for two minutes and do nothing. Let's go. And then do a little shootout and then hold W for two minutes on the way back. Very epic. Flying skill. Did you know that if you fly upside down, you actually get flying skill twice as fast? That's true. I like to see you land the plane upside down. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm telling someone anyway. I am spreading misinformation intentionally. My source is that I made it up. Yeah, LV almost done. One more. One more mission. And then we might be able to get the Sparrow as well. Alright. Time to do this fucking shit mission. Hey look, a Phoenix. My Phoenix is way better than his Phoenix. Alright. Done with LV. Let's go. <clears throat> uh, let's see if the thingy's there. Can I see it from up here? Oh, I didn't mean to start the. No, I don't want to start this fucking mission. Well, no invite to the house. Oh, fuck off. Forgot the fucking marker isn't there, but the mission still is. Right, I need to go around to the roof. Sparrow? No. Uh, I guess I'll drive and come back. Hundred and ninety. 
And that is where I'm going to end it for today. A good seven hour session. Hello. How's it going? Four vehicles left. All right, let's start the timer and finish this thing off, yeah? Yes, yeah, so we have four vehicles left. We got the Hydra, which we'll get after this next mission, Vertical Bird. We have the Go Kart, which we'll get on Cutthroat Business. The Vortex, which we will also get on Cutthroat Business. And then the SWAT Fan, which we'll get on the end of the line one. That's the, that's the big one today to help us finish off. We'll do these next three vehicles in the next couple of minutes. Actually, we might not because we'll do gang territories in between, I think. But we'll definitely get the Hydra pretty soon. So when you have three left. Vortex deliverable without mission fail? Yeah, I think it starts spawning in certain places after... Cutthroat business. But my current plan is to get the Vortex from the mission. Because the, the mission is close to LS Lighthouse. And then... Failing the mission doesn't really lose that much time because you can trip skip back if you fail it. So you can essentially teleport right back to where you were. So I might end up just delivering both the vortex and the cart from failing the mission rather than trying to wait for spawns afterwards, you know? See, so yeah, I don't know if any of the spawns are worth it. So I might just end up going for mission fails and delivering them. Because the trip skip makes that worth it, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Let's go. Get a Torino miniguns. I do plan to, but I, I was going to get them after delivering this. Should be good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go and get the minigun now. Alright, I don't know how much minigun I'm going to get, but I'm just going to get a lot. I'm just going to grab like 10,000. And then... Can't really go wrong. Actually, 10,000 is probably a bit too much. Maybe like 6,000. The cop bike in Grove Street about to get some use after several in-game months of unusability. Assuming I still have it. <laughs> I don't remember what I even have. Look at this ultimate speed strut. Go to baseline, grab the Maverick, use it for RTLS. Real shit. Perfect. Flawlessly executed. Now I can be quite liberal with my shots as well, which is nice. Do I have a spare bike? I have lots. Nice. Favorite part of the game. Yeah. You know it. Sweet, get on or don't. Choose. I'm not going to be in time for this now. Bro! Yeah, just fucking run right in front of me, man. See if I can. Dickhead. How many runs do you think Sweet has ruined running into the, the front of people like that? Too many for it to be a good thing. I, I, I've failed that mission quite a few times. Just myself from him fucking dicking around and getting himself killed like that. So I, I can't imagine like total across every place or he's probably shafted so many fucking people. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Sweet being a fucking liability, getting himself run over. Good job, man. This time I'm fucking leaving him at Grove Street. Yeah. It was technically my fault because I didn't need to take him at all. So me taking him there, you know, he wouldn't have died. Well, he might have done, but his chances of dying are much lower if I don't fucking take him with me. So technically my bad. All right. Let's go and do some gang territories on the way back up north. Great damage. And there goes my bike. Well, I guess we're definitely ending it now. I don't know how the fuck I managed to get three stars, man. It's 
why I fucking hate gang territories. It's so stupid. Even without the riot mode, it just becomes chaos because the police are such fucking trolls. How many territories did I get before I got griefed? 12? Not bad. We could actually just go straight to let's cut through our business now. We've got enough to consider this first half like somewhat completed. Good enough. Alright, let's get the uh, the cart in the vortex. We can go for the jump and uh, regardless of whether I fail or pass it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so it's nice that there's no pressure on actually doing it correctly. It's not the easiest thing. Even if I fail it, I need to fail the mission anyway, so my dog can drown for all I care. Easy every time. Alright, let's go and deliver this. I guess I'll take it in the water, actually, I guess. Here we go. One nine two. You even get a trip skip back. Yeah, I remember the trip skip, which is why this was worth it. I think the trip skip is what makes it worth it. Because you can skip the whole drive and then do it again, skip the drive again. Then it's the same as the worth it for the cart. I don't think so. Where does the cart spawn after Cutthroat Business? Does it spawn like on the pier where you usually get it? Because if so, then no, it's not worth it. But I don't know where it spawns. How far away does it spawn? Because that obviously depends on how far away it is. Mad Dog? Uh, that's kind of far away. No, uh, is it? No, so what I'll do is I'll complete the mission. Then I'll go from there to Mad Dogs. I'll get the... Um, I'll get the car. Then I'll deliver it. Then I'll go to Grove Street, get the other cop bike. And then do Gang Territories back to Riot. I think that's a fairly... Decent way of doing it. Hey, look, a hot dog van. You washed up, both of you. You. F All right. Oop. Sorry about that. Go cart time. All right, where's my golf cart? At? Not my golf cart, my. No, not time for riot mode yet. I've still got more gang territories to do, but I need to find this fucking go-kart. I can't climb this. Bro, why can you not fucking climb this? I thought this was supposed to be a good game where you can climb and shit. Other entrance. Okay. Aha. Yoink. Take a little shortcut. Ooh. <laughs> Perfect. Excuse me, guys. Hey, don't fucking blow this thing up, whatever you do. All right. Hey, you guys want to fight, huh? Dickheads. Fuck it, we'll do a gang wall while we're here. Better check the territory percentage. 13, 20%. That's fine. So we've only got a couple more to go. Wait, this territory is fucking massive. Right. Yep, there goes my entire bike. From 100 health to basically fucking zero. Awesome. Pretty sure they popped my tire too. Yep, just fucking slum into my bike, why don't you? Yep, just run me over, why don't you? Yep, yep, yep. 23%, that's way more than enough, actually. We are done. 
Do I have Molotovs? No. Why would I have Molotovs? I, I want to go the safe way. The way that, the way that I know. For the SWAT van? Why do I need Molotovs for the SWAT van? My plan was to just buy like 10 satchel charges, put it in the garage and just nuke it, assuming it's not explosion proof, which I don't think it is. Riot mode is such a good fucking mechanic, dude. It's so cool to just get insta-killed randomly and there's nothing that you can do to avoid it. So awesome, dude. Fucking love it. Such an awesome mechanic. They were like, hey, we're about to make like the best GTA ever. What should we put right at the end? Uh, we should put a mechanic where you just randomly die for no reason. Yeah, great idea. And all the SA lovers are like, oh, it's the best game of all time ever made. I love insta-kill mechanics that are random. They're so cool. Hey, look, I did the same thing twice. And I've, I've failed once and I've passed once. I'm going to check out the city and see what I can see. You be careful out there, CJ. Great mechanic. Game in a decade, by the way. Yeah, I assume the thing's bulletproof, so I can't just minigun it down. So I assume that I need to, um... What's that fucking thing's blowing up? I assume I'm gonna have to go and buy some guns. Yeah, bulletproof, fireproof. Just drive it into the water. Oh yeah, I could just beach it. Yeah, you're right. That would be a lot quicker as well. You're not gonna be able to push it out? Who said anything about pushing it out? That you just drive it in a little bit until you fail and then reverse it out? Whatever, I'll just do the one that I was planning to do anyway. Easier. Everything you need uh, throne, remote, I'll just get like 10, because I don't know how much health it has. It's annoying that you're going to buy one at a time. Alright, we actually need to make, make some room for the swap tank in this case. I didn't do anything, what the fuck? Why does this guy have a problem with me? Nice random cop car blocking my way. Very cool, dude. Very cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Final vehicle. 26 hours. Off of this. Here it is. The BMX. No, I'm kidding. I got you all. It's not actually the BMX. It's this thing right here. This lovely little swap tank. Okay, this swap tank and blow up Sweet's car. I'm pretty sure Sweet's car isn't even there anymore. I don't know how many satchels it's going to need, so we'll just leather it. Use all ten. There we go. There we go. Is it gonna respawn? There it is. Put something in the garage and die? Why would I do that when I can just do this? I maybe should have saved in case I lose it because of riot mode bullshit, but... This thing has a lot of health, so surely I can take a few explosions, right? Surely. How are you going to get in Big Smoke's Crack Fortress now? That's a great question. Type A Zachman on your keyboard? Why, what does that do? Alright, here we go. Done. Let's go. 2602-ish.
because it's not really uh not really a proper estimate because you know very rough estimate but about 26 hours oh god you are under arrest oh i'm busted oh, i should have typed days like my dude oh course you get beaten up yeah it's it's my reward get my ass beaten up all right that was uh that was a fucking journey goodness me <laughs> That was actually really fun though. I I really really enjoyed that. That was that was definitely the most fun. It was definitely the most fun challenge just cuz of like how much I learned about the game and like how much it was like a group project with everyone helping me which I really appreciate by the way cuz it would have been way longer and way more tedious if um I didn't have a bunch of you here to help me. But yeah, this will be the last one for now, at least short term, because as I say, this is the only one that has a tracker besides v VCN3, which I've done. So yeah, I don't know if there will be any more SSSA stuff anytime soon, but if there is, I'll definitely let you know.